I'm the Pope. Cooper, take off the Pope hat.
Yay. Chatto, it's Thursday, and coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens in Malta, we are back once again in the Europa League group stage. We're probably going to get absolutely battered from pillar to post, but if we can get just one win or maybe two, it'll all be worth it with that little bit of cash. In other news, we have the it's league. It is back. We'll be instant resulting some games today in to try and get through things a little bit faster. All that and more coming up today on Building a Nation with Sirens in Malta. We're fucking dancing. It's become the norm. It's just become the norm. Ah, oh, it's just, it's impossible. I just still got it. That's we're 18 days into January and not single one's been fucked up. Ah, oh, look at me go. Yeah, I keep the notes up there. I keep everything. It's a mirrored ceiling. You see, got to You got to have mirrored ceiling. Every other wall that you can't see is also mirrored, as is the floor. Fasten to the point. Exactly. How's it going, everybody? Let me just turn that down a little, little bit there. Also got some stuff to catch up on in there as well. Um, thank you so much. I saw a, a converted sub, and it doesn't show up on my feed. Coma Undercover, thank you very much for converting the Prime to a tier sub. one. That's super kind Did of you, Did you know friend. that the Metro UK posted that the UK will be double-fisted by snow and ice? I didn't, but I do now. I look forward to it. I do. Pog loves a bit of snow, so that'd be nice for her. Why is that not showing up on my face? Oh, there it is. The Wandering Scarlet, thank you very much for the three months. DJ Evil Midnight, thank you very much for the 20 months in there, too. I think there were some follows in there as well. Why is he thank you for the follow during the intro? Uh, as our solo guy, thank you for the follow. Jagsman, thank you very much for the raid. And United Aussie, thank you very much for the follow. And Aaron, 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 thank you very much for the five bits. And we're up to date. Look at us go. Ah, shit, that sucks, Dom. I hope you're feeling okay. Um... I heard when people say, oh, I've got COVID, you're like, oh, yeah, I forgot about that. But like some of us still get fucking dis decimated by it. I know that when I had it in 2022, I was, <laughs> I was in bed for a week is what happened. <laughs> but I was very fat. So, you know, bit, little column A, little column B. Ah, oh, dear. Ooh, two months of what? Shit in Christ. That's an insane. Two months. Is that what they call the long COVID? Or is that longer? I actually don't know. Um, 20 centimeters. Christ. That's insane. Where was that? How much cheese was in? Well, not much in bed because I could. To be fair, Pog and I both have it at the same time. Had it at the same time because I caught it off of her because she got it from someone at work, and she lost her sense of taste completely. I very thankfully didn't. However, I did get the other side effect of sounding exactly like Barry White. Like my voice was a full octave lower, and there was now I can do about it. It was really, really strange talking. And my voice was like like this, but like not actually trying to sound like that. It was very strange. How you, it, that's true. It did. Mainly because I could barely move. <laughs> 
45 yeah and that's norway in it norway expects it they actually have infrastructure that could support these sorts of things whereas us it's like hey what's that a single centimeter of snow better shut down every airport runway road in the entire country basically particularly when we don't know it's coming i remember one time i left my house to go to, to get my hair cut and on the way there the snow got so bad that it took me three hours to drive like 25 minutes it was appalling ah <sighs> Well, yeah, I mean, that that's the thing. Although Pog does have a bit of a preponderance for losing her sense of smell and taste whenever she gets some kind of cold or chest infection as well. So I suspect that she was already somewhat predisposed when she had that cold slash chest infection. I think it's actually a throat infection. Oh, at the moment, a couple of weeks ago, she also lost her sense of taste as well. But they told her it wasn't COVID and she didn't have any positive stuff on that. So I don't know. Yes, the airport. Oh, really? Holy shit. So bad even for Norway then. Not having it set up like... Well, I mean, how did you have it set up? Um, Puffed up. Because... This, like bear in mind when i did ireland we didn't have any, we didn't do anything special we just used the default well the only change we made to the database and this is going to sound silly was to add a second kit to the team we were managing because for some reason the base database didn't have an away kit for them because i guess you know fuck ireland apparently very strange right let's get off my face oh oh right yeah we'll play many night today possibly which is going to be an absolute just destruction european leagues only some oh yeah that's going to be slow um the database setup i feel like with a save like this is super important basically because oh really irish emerald do go on um we had some issues though so i wonder if you're running into the same issues we did and if you are i wonder if that's just because they didn't fix the things that were broken when we were trying to do that save because there was definitely some weird shit going on in that save wholesome i wouldn't say wholesome let me say fuck a few times to ruin it <laughs> see my region in the discord i didn't actually which channel was that in I tend not to monitor the Discord too heavily unless I'm, like, tagged specifically and stuff sometimes. Just because there's so many damn channels. Uh, so, San Felix. Oh, by the way, chat, I've set up 200 team reports. I decided because our scouting are kind of ground to a bit of a halt, Cooper, that it would make sense to just get a bit of a head start on the team reports. Even if we're not signing the guys from them, it to get made sense to do that, basically. So, we've got 200. I haven't gone for most of the big ones. I've gone for, like, nations where I feel like it would be realistic that we can actually sign these guys because there's no point in us scouting teams like i don't know french sides or something like that because we wouldn't be able to afford the players anyway and they wouldn't come right well i mean bear in mind the fact that they're in the europa league at all united aussie suggests that they're clearly not at their very best right <laughs> there's that uh Schumburg, thank you very much for the follow money because it's been the ucl twice representing 2.5 stars okay so i start this stuff so early for the for a specific reason have they got any players at all no <laughs> gg sam felix the, the key thing when you get to that stage and i always start off like this but i realize some people kind of build and then have to sort of redo it is you just need to start trying to find young players that you, your squad's not going to get any stronger with like you can't probably sign that many players that are going to strengthen your team as it is because the players that you want to sign won't join you and you can't afford them and they're probably as good if not better than the ones you already have that's why you have to go to a sort of youth development system of basically going right i'm going to buy 17 and 18 year old players and i'm going to develop them and hope that they become the players that take me to the next level and i basically treat every save like that from the very beginning which is why by like about four seasons into this our oldest player was dick when he was like 24 at the time because i wanted to prioritize the younger players so that that way in a few years time when they get better our squad's gonna get better without us even doing anything basically uh, yes it is um puffed up if you do x much malta in the chat you'll get the new database also someone asked me for the old database just because they want to have some fun with it turns out it's actually listed in the changelog file in the discord so if you go to the changelog file in the discord uh, in the malta section uh Hadrian's actually put both databases in there so you can have a little bit of a choice oh this is the new guy nice let's go south africa yeah i did scout a few south african clubs i've done a bit of team reports and stuff like whoa that you're only a year behind me he's actually world no, not world class but like he's he's legit basically where's the weakness i guess the fact that he maybe lacks a bit of jumping reach but who cares right if he's that good give a shit right because he'll be bombing him behind, so it doesn't actually matter at that point. He's insane. Fair play. We like that. We like that a lot. Right. I think there's another lookup in there, too. I had a little look at the lookups things, and all I can do is put a cooldown on them, which doesn't really work that well, because then I just I don't really want to put a cooldown on the lookups, because then what if we need to do something really specific, right? Strength of voice. Yeah, I suppose, but he's young. That's the sort of stuff that will come in time, right? 
About turn 30. How dare you have a 30 year old in your squad? We have one as well, and he's leaving because it's Regan Booty at the end of the season. I'm hoping he might go to another Maltese side, but time will tell. So, plan today, we're actually going to try and sim league games. If it starts to go a bit pear shaped, then obviously we can pull that back. We won't do hammer. A small course, announcement. Just play that one. I feel I may be kicked off Twitch for being overage as I turn 50 it's tomorrow. True. Not sure how that happened. I still feel 25. Obligatory get off my lawn. All this was Fields. What's a TikTok, etc. Fields birthday man. Birthday man! Sad Fields birthday man. What a wonderful thing for Stream Nana to read out. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Pagpus. Hope you're well. How's the uh, how's the exercise journey going? We were discussing this on last stream. Uh, well, and, uh, and Twigs at least did go for the run in the end, which is good. It's level 50. Yeah. You've got like, you just leveled up. Also, H H H H H B B B B B. Notorious, thank you very much for the prime. A super kind of you, my friend. Uh, what are you looking for, Puffed Up? Are you looking for the database setup that I use? Because that's under exclamation mark database, basically. Um, which I guess makes sense, I suppose. So yeah, we're going to try and sim some league games today to get more progress and get some of these games done. Obviously, if we start to struggle a little bit because it just doesn't work, um, then we'll do that. Right. Let's go. We've got Aruka today. Probably our only winnable game, which means we're going to lose it. Can I just point that out? We are probably going to lose this. It just feels like that setup. I haven't actually set the team up properly, although I think it's probably just the same. Alex is not playing. Imagine <laughs> just randomly dumping Alex into this game. Surely we've got another option at right back. Please tell me I've got an option at right back. Yeah, we got Vidazinia. I don't know what the issue is. Like, he's finally, st he's learned the role now properly. So he's at least got um, accomplished on that, which is fine. Because now the game won't really punish him too much for being in there, which is the key thing. So I think he should start to improve performance-wise now, in theory. Paolo Eduardo, thank you for the 95 bits. And so on. Well, Alex is about to leave anyway, because he is under a bid from a, I believe, Bosnian club. So he probably will be gone soon anyway. I think maybe in another world it could have worked out for him, but he doesn't get that chance now. So at least Lusic is sort of back. Do you know what? Oh, yeah, it's going to have to be Lusic because Rodriguez is way worse on match, his actual OPC, whereas Lusic has got better OPC but way less match sharpness. We'll have to play around with the two of them, figure out where to go. Kassar will come onto the bench, obviously. Uh... Right, cool. That'll do. I'd say that's probably our best lineup right now with Heinz to come in, Ramos to come in if we need him. The bench is looking tasty. Experiment when Europe's finished. Um, It's not really about when Europe's finished. Uh, exclamation mark skin, Notorious. And you'll get it. It's really good. It's more about whether we've got the space to experiment. So I'm hoping this year that Hamroon are simply not going to be able to do what they've done again. They've got a new manager. They're now third favourite in the league because of Luta. So I'm hoping that there's going to be much more space for us to build a gap. And then we will hopefully be able to crack on with a new tactic after Christmas because I want to try out this back five idea with our two once Palacio joins us obviously so we probably should wait till January anyway just for that alone who trust me we're not going to lack for butchers without him <laughs> there is plenty of butchers in this team we just need to get the candlestick makers and bakers involved then maybe we've got a chance hello Mike bad good news and bad news do you know what always hit me with the bad news first I'm a po I like the bad news up front. That way we can start to build. And then the good news is the first step towards being happy again. That's right. <laughs> you heard. A <laughs> little bit of philosophy for you there. Ah, uh, Zay Pedro. Hang on a minute. I swear we signed him with um, Uniao. It just... I feel like we had a Zay Pedro or he used to score against us. Like This is the match. Not that we should win, but it's the most winnable one. Um, In the, the match, pre-match odds have them as favourites still. So, yeah, they're still very decent. Really going from challenging. That's happened to so many people, Doc. Um, in fact, on Owen, one of the um, mods, his save is like the reversal of this one. So he's managing Dingley, and he's got Sirens as his like affiliate side, but they're in the third tier. And in this save, it's the exact opposite of that. The back well. well, that's what I'm thinking, Dylan, because we're going to have, once we get Palacio in January, we're going to have two unbelievable wingbacks. They're going to be a little bit low in the tackling, but they're so good going forward that it's going to hopefully not make up for it. Hopefully not make up for it? Hopefully make up for it. They've got Charisma on the bed. Is it the Charisma? Do you know what? I wouldn't put it past them. Yeah, I mean, it, it is the Charisma in the sense that his name is Charisma, I suppose, but it's not Ricardo Charisma. Imagine that. He just rocks up here. Oh, dear. Passer is now low level in most shops. 
That makes sense. Last night I got sacked with Sosha. Damn it. Building a nation. Yes. Do it. It's fun. You've got time. It's January. There's loads of time left in the cycle. <sighs> Not a problem. Oh, half. By the way, thanks to your wonderful work with the um, Out of Control remix, um... Yesterday I was doing some more work in Premier League, obviously, as is every day I'm not streaming, other than Saturday. And I'm obviously doing the radio show bits to make up for some of the punditry stuff that I simply cannot do. And there's a perfect section where I need a West Ham fan to complain about something. And I think you might be the perfect man for the job. <laughs> ah, it's going to be sensational. Chat, we're being refereed by unknown. Now then, as well. Apologies to the VOD, he's up front here, because a section of the VOD from Tuesday's stream got muted. Uh, on Twitch, which means it also got muted on the VOD on YouTube, unfortunately. It's a five-minute section, and I have no idea why, but the only thing I can think of is that for some reason, UEFA claimed the Champions League music at the start of our game against Rangers. None of the other games did it, and I've never had that happen to me before, but that's the reason it happened, in case you're wondering on the VODs. I did put a community post out, but, you know, they're not particularly easily visible, sadly. Hey, good luck! But yeah, that's the reason that the part was muted. I don't know what it was. Well, I've, this is the thing. I've never had that happen to me before. And as far as I'm aware, UEFA have an agreement with SI to prevent that very thing from happening. Because when they introduced the licenses, that was the very first thing we asked them <laughs> was, is this going to affect that? And they said no. So I think it must have been a glitch, but there's nothing I could do about it at the time. So hopefully it doesn't happen again. Otherwise, I will have to talk to SI about that. It's Jason with the ball in. And it's over the bar. Okay. We're at home. As I say at home. We're playing against, um, we're playing at the uh, Tal Ali. So it's not quite the same. Oh. Uh, his first TP. I'm not sure what that means, God. Like, sorry, it might be a misspelling potentially. I don't know. Kamga? Oh! Pierre, Kamga, and Lend. Sirens won. Arusa. Is that Arusa? Or Aruka? Nil. We lead. Kamga scores another one. That's his fourth goal in the Europa League. What a strike! The Kamgaru. That's it. That's it. He's the Kamgaru. Also, Bournemouth are in here against Celtic and getting absolutely clapped. This man is everything. I think if we've got any chance of success this season, the Kangaroo is the man. Oh, Christ, Chico with the ball. Oh, that's a bad piece of goalkeeping from Vizhnevsky, and we're immediately level. Yep. Oh, that's unfortunate. Aruka. Nice. Oh, Inferno, expect over the next um, week to me to send you a giant list of names I need help pronouncing. <laughs> Mostly so I can provide it to third-party comms. I think this is just on the playlist. Oh, Vidazinia's ball in. Clear was that an overhead kick clearance? Or was that just a diving header that looked really strange in the match engine there? Guerrero, Vidazinia, shallow! What a save. Okay. We actually look competitive in this game, which is a rarity for us in the in the Europa League, at least. But I suppose we kind of had to be, right? Ball in again. Cam goes in. Right, clatters it away. I'll tell you what, this feels doable for us. Is that going to go out of play? Please let that go out of play. Okay, we're good, we're good. Oh... Yeah, I mean, Burnt has made the occasional error, but that I put that down to him being a goalkeeper in FM. Rangers in the end. Oh, yeah, we lost. Um, we, we actually only lost 3-2 at Ibrox in the end, which was a definite progress. And we actually found a little, like, um, little tactical tweak that seemed to help us towards the end of the game, which we may revisit if we need to. He's a long way across his goal there. Christ. I wish I'd take a point, but I don't think I would, honestly. We kind of need to... If we've got any hope of qualifying out of this, which I really don't think we do, but this is the one really winnable game that we have, and... Bear in mind, uh, Aruka are pot four. And not the easiest of pot four, because both of our pot four teams actually come from really good nations. Uh, they're Portugal and I believe France are both of our pot four sides, which is very annoying. Dick's ball in. That's a dreadful cross. Oh my God. <laughs> that goalkeeper has balls of steel. Just let me trap that on the line for you. No biggie. Oh, go on, get in there. Okay. Oh no, Hammer and Unfortunately went out in the uh, last round. They played Panathinaikos, actually won the first leg, 1-0, but then they lost 3-0 in Greece and it was all over from them. Uh, there, but they've got much, much better. Like, to only go out in the playoff round to Panathinaikos, 3-1 on aggregate, by winning a game as well, you can definitely see the progress is being made for Hammer and now. And I think really we're about a season, in terms of progress, maybe two at most, away from them being able to, with the right draws, get through relatively regularly into the Conference League group stages, at least in the early stages. And that is going to be crucial for us. Good save, Burnt. Although, please mark up the other guy. Oh, they didn't. That's unfortunate. Yusuf Lowell makes it 2-0 to Aruka. Sorry, 2-1. They're very close. Go ahead of him, Matt. Yes, he has. He, he's actually playing right back for us today. That's uh, Vidazinha. Oh. Will still manages. Oh, is that because of the um the coaching license thing? 
20 leagues of view only slow me down. Um, I mean, it'll slow you down a little bit, but it used to slow you down more. I don't think the slowdown is as much as it used to be. I just found that it wasn't that useful for the save I was doing, and so I, I didn't do it in the end. Uh, the other reason was that we found some corruption in save files when switching leagues from view only to playable later in saves, I believe. Although I think they have fixed that now, but I haven't had that confirmed. So that's one of the reasons I also didn't do it, just out of uh, pure not uh, suspicion. Well, yeah, out of suspicion, basically. I just didn't want to risk it. Play it on the safe side. Right. Yeah, if you're not going to change them, then it shouldn't be an issue. Hey, Jack. Uh, I might do the thing we did against Rangers, turn off football in the box. And I think in Europe, that might be a play for us. Ooh. Oh, thank you, Irish Emerald. That's really kind of you, friend. That's... People have been saying that a lot lately, and that makes me very happy. Because we try to create hype. I suspect that our hype is going to be immediately quashed when we inevitably concede a third goal here. But it does show that the gap still... But remember, we only won one game in the Europa League the last time we were in it. And we were starting to get progressively better as the tournament went on, but we did lose seven in a row. And that game was against HJK, who are far worse than any team we're going to be playing this year round either. So I, even if we were to lose all eight matches, I still wouldn't consider us to be worse than last time. It's about the results in those games too. How we fare against the bigger sides as Ronnie Shallows through. He has to score and he doesn't. He's offside anyway. It's a bit of a save. Uh, well, I mean, just it's because you're adding more processing for the game to do. So if you add more processing... If you add more leagues, the game has to process more leagues. Ergo, the game is going to be slower because it takes more time to process those fixtures and the player movements, etc. Basically, it's so fun though, puffed up, isn't it? Like, this is why I've been championing, championing, I suppose you could say, the building a nation saves for such a long time now because they're just so fun. Start growing. Uh, the reputation actually starts growing quite quickly because the reputation growth, um, especially early on, you can get particularly in Malta growth from like just winning your league. Uh, now, obviously. Oh, that's a poor touch. Uh, okay. But as you start to progress further forward, it will take... You'll actually still be growing, but it'll be less noticeable because you'll have to start winning, like, stuff in Europe, qualifying for Champions League, winning a Conference League would be a good process. As Guerrero equalizes for Sirens! As if he's offside. He's not offside, don't worry. Vidazinha with another bit of... Be that was great play from Vidazinha. Get in. Holy shit. What a cross from Vidazinha. This is why we've signed him. Now that he's fully committed to this role, this is what we can expect. What a ball. And John Guerrero. My baby. What a man. I wouldn't even take a two-all, really, but we will. I don't know how he could possibly consider an offside here. He's he's not even close to offside. I'm just not used to even experiencing VAR in this save yet. Right, okay. Two-all. We can build from this. They still look like they've got chances in them. Oh, God, please. Not a, not a free kick goal. It's quite far out, but Zay Pedro does seem to have a bit about him from these free kicks, and I'm a bit worried about us conceding so many of them. Zay Pedro, saved by Vizhnevsky. Because if you recall last time we were in the Europa League, I think our two our two pop four sides were HJK, and I actually can't remember who it was. We'll have to check afterwards. And this time around, it's Aruka and Rom, which is way better. Oh, hello. Go on, John. Oh, that got me excited for a second there. Eh? Yeah, turning down. Well, to be fair, when you add a league, generally speaking, it does turn down the default uh, detail level anyway. I believe I could be wrong about that. Lucic is chasing quite heavily inside there, which is causing a bit of a problem. Oh, what a tap! No, 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 no! Come on! Oh, now there's huge gaps. That's such an annoying. If we're going to concede off this, aren't we? Fuck me! Are oh, they Portuguese? That's such an annoying goal to concede because Jorgensen wins the tackle and then he just stands there. Look, he literally, perfect interception, then just doesn't bother to chase the ball. And then we can see directly off of it. That is frustrating. Because then Tretz is in, and it's, it's a tight angle, but it's a good finish. That is frustrating. That is a bit fm -y there, yeah. I mean, we've not been the better side than them, in fairness. So it's very, like, EAFC, you're right. Yeah, we'll go with Rodriguez for a bit now. Dick struggled. Mabchur. Uh, Afifi's... Yeah, actually, I could go with Ronaldo Hines in this role because we saw what he could do in that role when he pushes forward, even as a DLP. It's it's the risk of conceding a fourth... Cool. The risk of conceding a fourth goal, but that's not good, though. Jar Jar being injured is the last thing we need. Warrior Skylight, thank you very much for the 100 bits. And Cubes, thank you very much for the five. By the way, the top three in League One, PSG and Nice Breast. <laughs> Standard. Oh, shit. Here's the fourth goal, presumably. What a save again. Vizhnevsky's very good at that. Like, he's actually had a pretty solid game. I don't think he could have done much about the second and third goal. Are we going to go down to this? Oh, hang on. Oh, that was there. Come on. Three-all draw or something. Just show that extra bit of fight. Cespedes. 
He's in, he's annoyed at me, but I'm hoping he can get over. Oh dear, not we play like that. He won't. Oh my, their goalkeeper man, is taking some risks. Good, right here we go. Mavchur, Heinz with a bit of show some of those varieties. Rodriguez, oh nice. Oh Ramos, buddy, there's no need to shoot from there. That was errant finishing. Europa League is going to be difficult, man. It is going to be tough, as we already knew, but. Come on, we've been so... Oh, we, we are so close to being good enough for a draw in this game as well. Like, we've actually created some stuff in the second period. I think we're going to go with work ball into the box. Oh, that's that's frustrating, man. I actually think we probably deserved a draw out of that. Oh, oh yeah, Conference League would have been great if we hadn't have been drawn against Yiska Niksic in the playoff round, knowing that we were almost... Then again, we did lose 6-4 to them at home in that weird game, but we won 6-1 in Montenegro, or was it Serbia? Or Bosnia. Either way... It was bad. Um, right. <sighs> that. Nah. The fact that we gave them a better game, they're still a decent side. Like, the fact that we actually took a Portuguese side all the way there is, is a good thing, but I don't know. Like, who else have we got? This doesn't get any easier. And now it's made even worse as Jar Jar, who was genuinely shaping up brilliantly in this team once again, is now going to be out for three to four months. The Gasman! Jay Thank you Stansfield for the is a blue. He hates Villa. Jay Stansfield. How is Jay Stansfield getting on? I'm curious because I just want him to do well. Uh, Hammer and I are no longer in Europe. No, they lost in the uh, playoff round in the end, but they got there and they actually won one of the legs. So they definitely Bring helped us. Him, and they're, I think they're one season and some good signings away from being actually able to do it with the right draws. That will hinder him, yes. Uh, he's almost John Acora himself there. Luckily, we have Cespedes and uh, the Assassin. So they're actually going to get a chance to play a little bit more now. Who, Martinez? Wait, what? Portugal boss Roberto Martinez was at that game, keeping an eye on Paulo Vidazinha. Imagine if he got a Portugal call-up while playing for Sirens. Hmm. <laughs> right. I I'm guessing it's more so that he was actually there to watch Raul Valido, and because Paulo was in there as well, that's the reason it did it. Right, what are our, actually, what are our games against? So we've got Farrell Costanza next who arguably I would say are a worse side than Arusa, uh, Aruka, but they're just higher pot because they play in Europe more. Rom away from home is an absolute no brainer uh, Travis and Spore are great. Man United at home, although the gate receipts from that, I think we did international clause in, but even if we did, it's not going to be too much. Or did we? I don't know. Have a look. Slovan and Bratislava at home, you never know. Braga away and then FC Copenhagen. Like, we are going to get slaughtered, but I just want to see us show a little bit. Plus, I think next season, if we do get a chance to build this new tactic, we might be able to make one that's a bit more defensively stable. Like, a little bit less gung-ho in certain areas, but still effective. Yeah, it's yellow. We are we are in for a bit of a bit of a one at this point. Right. Score goals. Nice. So, forward likes cutting in. I th yeah, I think... I mean, I think Fulham see him as a future number nine, but we've got a lot of players like that that are just on the cusp of being sort of ready for our first team, like Stansfield. There's um, Luke Harris, Ollie O'Neill... There's a lot of these guys that just need that little bit of extra football. I'm so glad they're actually getting it. Uh, this is why we love Exeter City. Might get five to six points. I think if we lose to... I think if we're going to... If I'm being realistic here, I think we have a chance to win that game. But... Maybe. If we... Blue Sky Scenario. Um, to quote another yellow song. We win there. Don't think we will, but you never know, right? Blue Sky... Best case scenario, we win there... We maybe can have a chance to beat Slovan Bratislava, but they're bloody good. And maybe we can nick a point against FC Copenhagen. That would take us to seven. But really, now that I've seen how we played against Aruka, I'm not sure. We have 6,000 people in the stadium, which is not bad. Chris Mollis and Ben Leonard, thank you very much for the follows. Looking at Broha. Oh, uh, yeah, there's no way we're paying £50 million for Broha. Like, I actually quite like, I like Broha as a player, and I would like, I would have liked to have seen him at Fulham, but not for that price. That's absolutely wild. Um... Over to the semi final. I, I mean, if we did, that would be unbelievable, but oh, I just yes, don't see it happening sure. somehow. Liverpool don't yeah, concede many goals. And, you know, <laughs> the Great Spoon. What a great name. Thank you for the follow. Can I just loan him? Well, mate, I, I think on loan he would actually be fantastic. Although, I, I think we just need to get through to the end of the season, honestly, and then reassess him there, because I think that we're just simply. We've got enough points on the board currently that even if we were to trickle home at like one point a game for the rest of the year, we'd probably be absolutely fine. He is young, yes, but you, if you're a club like Fulham, you can't afford to, you can't afford to spend fifty million pounds on a player purely on potential. We're simply not that kind of club that can do that. There's two spoons now, Spoonman. Hate to break it to you, Alex is gone, and it was a blessed day. 
Right. Uh... Oh, I totally forgot about you. Oh, buddy. Well, I'm not going to promise you anything. That one, that pathway actually seems to work. So, target. They say no. You click middle option. That's the second time in a row that I've done that. Huh. Homegrown. What, Broha? Um, possibly, yeah. Well, that does... I mean, as you know, that, that the, what we call English tax, it does... Wait, hang on, what? Oh, those are actual transfer offers. And no. As much, that's great to see that he's valued that highly, but no. Right. And it begins. The player... Oh, hang on. I know what I'm going to do. This will annoy me at some point, but it's going to be so useful now we're doing team reports. Uh, we... Oh, what is it? What's the option called? The one that... The landing... There we go. Landing page. Uh, no. Team landing page. Squad. That's what I want. It just makes it so much easier when you're doing team report scouting if you go straight to the squad. Mm. Ah, that's better. So what I've done with the team reports is I've queued up about 200 of them with the idea being that we're just going to target nations where we could realistically sign players from. That being the idea in general, anyway. It's the boy, Mikey. Thank you very much for the eight months. It's one off a of Twitch, Bobby. Hello, Matto. Hello, Chato. Slavia really? Prague recently signed Mohamed Ayataran. Will he revive his career? I remember having a Hataran at... Chat will be able to back me up on this. Was it either... It was either Atalanta or Leon during the last time we did an Outcast to Icon save. What is Team Report Scouting? Oh, my friend, you are in for a treat. Team Report Scouting for me is the most effective way to hoover up worldwide young talent without really doing a great deal of work. So basically what you do is every club's profile, so in this case, Jabba, right? You can go to it. Bear in mind, this only really works once you've got worldwide scouting budget, right? Can it work for any nation? Yes. Although you'll have to remember that your own transfer like stuff will still affect it in the sense that if you can't sign players because of work permits that's not because of the method that's because the nation you're managing in so all you do just get team reports uh, sorry go to get team report and then get team reports on under 19 squads right every single day you'll get one in like we just did here with dynamo city click it any player from and using this national team scouting field that i use it allows you to see this then i just go after any player on this that looks half decent now these ones aren't but we will find some guys that are and that way it saves you scouting youth intakes and you could that way you're only scouting the very best players that come from these teams so you don't waste your scouts time scouting players that are going to be e and f rated for the most part because what we used to do was scout national team squads like under 19 squads and it was great but you'd find that you'd be scouting 2,000 players over a season and 95 to 97 percent of them would be absolute garbage and it's a waste of your time this doesn't allow that to happen uh but yeah watch the video it's it, i promise you the, almost no matter who you're managing if you've got worldwide scouting and an okay budget and a bit of rep you can do it that's why we're moving over to it now oh it is so overpowered um for me but the only sort of downside i say downside is that you can only get one per day wow fuess rabat have just come in for 2.1 million pounds on the assassin and i'm going to be saying no because i'm going to turn him around like he's got Two years left on his contract. He's unhappy at the moment, but he's going to get a lot more game time now that Jar Jar's injured. So I want to turn this situation around with Alasis. Because I, I think that we don't need that kind of... We do need that kind of cash right now. But uh, let's see. Ask Lord. Who the fuck is this? Oh, it's a, it's a coach. Right. That's always useful, isn't it? Um, we'll just say the finances weren't right. I mean, yeah. Now we're getting silly. If they were to come in with like a £5 million bid, maybe we'd consider it. All right, four point five. I just don't see a, a a Moroccan side being able to drop four and a half million pounds on him. I mean, maybe they would, but that's way higher than his value. Oh, Goodyear. Yeah. Okay, we do like a bit of Goodyear. They're back in the top flight in this save. Also, I had a little look earlier, chat, to see if I could figure out where we ranked as far as our youth intake, so I could see if we were actually getting the best players. Yeah, team report on under nineteen squads. If you want to know how to find the squads that you want to look after, the best way to do it, or the way I use in that method anyway, is to just say, for example, South America. Go in here, then go to like, I think it's the under 19 squad. Sort this by club. Any club that has like multiple players in here, this menu allows you to, to right click and get the team reports from one screen. So that's where I usually do it from. That's where I queue these guys up, basically. Right. Uh, oh, yeah. Sorry. So basically, we have the fifth best academy at the moment, uh, according to the game, because I had a little look and you can see the order of drafting on the youth intakes. 
And you can see here that Mostar are actually getting priority bookings. So what I've done is I've actually scouted all of these players that have gone into the youth intakes that are above us. But if we can improve our youth recruitment by one more notch, we will take top spot. Because we're at 17. All these guys are at 18 at the moment. Only check senior squad. Because uh, Dino only have a senior squad. Some clubs only have one squad. So if that's the case, just do the entire team. Buyback clauses. I've never tried to do it, honestly. So I wouldn't really know. It's not something I've even really paid attention to. Normally in these sort of saves, I'd very rarely want to buy a player back once they've gone. Because usually if I'm selling them, it's to another multi side or... Uh, ooh, contract. He does have an international clause. It's 3,000 a week, which wouldn't interfere with the um, with the Nwusu clause that's on uh, Kamgaroo. So we're all right. Team report the four clubs. I probably could have done, but I actually wanted to get like individual reports on these players because... I didn't want it to get confused with the other players that are in those. I don't know. It's, you're right. I probably could have done, but I was just on that screen. I figured I'd just highlight and select. They'll work through them in like two weeks anyway. Right. Okay. So we need to be... I think given it's early in the season, we can afford to play a pretty much full strength side for this game too. Well, that's convenient. I'm very curious to see how loot I do on in the top flight this year, given how highly rated they are coming into this season. Uh, I asked the board for all the things as well, just to see if we could get anything. Players a second. Now nah, he's out. I've done it once. Nice. Right. Good. That's going to that's gonna do it. And usually, Ryan's a pretty good lad about these things. Oh, hello. Oh, no. This is the one we want. Come on, Ryan, please. Yes. Right. That's going to do it. Come on. Come on. Okay. That's weird. Okay, weird. They're not going to go on that one, but... Hmm. Okay, so we've not managed to do junior coaching budget, but most importantly, we've got the youth recruitment up, which is now going to put us... Well, when it actually ticks over, I think, onto 18, which is awesome. And they've let me uh, spend 1.6 million on more youth facilities. So we're, we're continuing to build this, because if it's there, I'm going to select it, because you never know when it's going to disappear, right? Booty wants different... Ah, it's unfortunate, Regan. I'm sorry, bud. So let's try this again, shall we? Proposed target. Oh, shit. Wait, did I already give him this target? Oh, no, it was the um, Champions League, wasn't it? Right, let's try it again. That one seems to work nicely, actually. Build actually with India. Oh, fair play. Yeah, Iron and Owl's method is really good. There you go. They got it. They got the win on the up there. It's actually really, really good. And I, I wish that... The only problem is the constant having to turn it off and on again thing for me. That's... When it was before, where we just had it running in the background ongoing, which I may well reset up again... That's that was when it was working really well, but the fact that you had to keep turning it on and off again made it sort of different. How many loanies started? Let's go and have a little look. Uh, so, Zrao did. Marcus Roberto. So that's one. Zrao's a loanie. Marcus Roberto's a loanie. Sturm's a loanie. On the bench, they also had De Jong, who came on, as did Matezo. So five of our loanies played in this game. Uh, if you do exclamation mark RF... Immediately after it again. Yes. So when the other thing about the team report thing is when the report comes through ask for it again that way we'll put it to the back of the list oh yeah cool we could just look at the tactics page can't we yeah good point so yeah you can see three loanies in the starting 11 two on the bench they also have um four three more in the up on in there as well mick the brick thank you very much for the two months my friend hope you're well oh yeah so they've got an okay and they've also signed some people like, remember undow isn't a loan signing but he's a guy we wanted to sign and then he's just signed for them on basically no money when he wanted like 2k a week to join us Coefficients, um, it's coming along. So, this year we've got three points on the board, which actually, if you look, shoves us right the way up here. So we're gonna get, we're getting close to the top thirty. So full up, yeah, he actually joined them permanently, and I didn't even notice that, which is awesome. Coefficient, nah, not yet. Start so team reports. It's not really about reputation; it's about your capabilities. So, for example, do if you've got worldwide scouting and a reasonable transfer budget, then I'd say it's worth a go. But tr base the clubs that you're team reporting on whether you think the players from those clubs would realistically sign for you so don't go looking at players from like psg for example if you're managing against malta yet anyway fm analysis thank you for the six months how was your thursday my friend so here we go this is the latest one tirana under 19 oh this anyone is in it no. My car. no one that's worth looking for us but then while we're in here just go back in here i don't really care which scout i assign it to because it's just i'm gonna like i could just assign it to the best one but it's a and it takes way longer to do that so we're gonna do that Nah, Hammer and Sadly went out. They lost their second leg. But they did win the first leg, at least. George Nunn, thank you very much for the follow. I signed you with my save a couple of years ago. I assume it's not the same person, but still. Nevertheless, I did. And he was, and he were great. Get the team reports on. So, 
it will vary from safe to safe because as much as a lot of clubs will be good clubs you can't guarantee they're going to be producing youth intakes in your save so that is why i do the thing where i look at the national teams because that can guarantee if i'm looking at a national team of say uh i don't know greece right it's a bad example because it's you'll not, they'll almost always do it but in say africa and south america it's going to vary that's why i look at like under 19 squads because then you can see which clubs are producing youth intakes that you can then have a look at their youth intakes basically it shows that there's recent players in those intakes so that's why i go through these squads to find the clubs generally speaking yeah we have the george nanimo right zabara away from home we're going to try and insta it and see if we can start building that up a little bit this season we will start ramos today because we can Khalifa can come in. I might just go with what my assistant wants for this game, honestly. And hope that it's enough. Keep us fresh for the uh, Europa League in the midweek. Oh, I love that they still got John Batue in that team. It does make me happy to see him there. Right. Zabar are predicted probably, I would say, about 7th. Oh, 5th. Okay. Still 50 to 1, though. Oh, it was, it was during my Treaty United save, George. Um, in Ireland, we managed to get George Nunn from I actually can't remember who it was as part of our side um our strike force with Enoch Asante and sort of it was a brilliant pairing so good I mean you owned a moat thing with cancer basically um we found that it was stopping to, it was stopping reporting getting reports unless you cancelled and restarted them and the problem is it's quite tedious and takes a lot of like legwork to keep that up and it's not something i can really do on stream all the time because it's just a pain so that's why i might just set them up on the ongoing one and just take what we can get kind of thing it's got the hot prospect yeah it, true yeah but then you still have to know which teams a lot of the time and then this just makes it a little bit easier eventually we end up with like 800 to a thousand teams on the scouting list anyway so you're basically covering everybody but at the moment we've gone for 200 and i'm going to build it up over time so every time we look at a team we go okay we'll just add them to the list now uh c lamborn thank you for the follow i remember you Right, let's try this. That sucks, Julius. Hopefully you feel better soon, man. Let's go. Come on. Watch us lose our first league game of the season after having literally gone the entirety of last year unbeaten. That would be so very us, wouldn't it? And also less... Yeah, the more scouts you have, the better. Nice, that's more like it. But also bear in mind that the number of scouts you have won't affect the number of reports you can get. It's always one a day. But what it will affect is the amount of the, the players that you can get through from those reports, basically. What sort of countries basically i went through europe targeting any nation that isn't like one of the big established nations i went through africa and kind of looked at everybody and south america i went through and looked at everybody i haven't done asia i did a bit of north america as well targeting like your costa ricas and your honduras's i haven't touched asia yet or um, oceania we'll come back around to that yeah not the best game from vizhnevsky but we did win cespedes two goals from ramos shallow jorgensen scores as well and we get off to the best possible start which is what we want had a confirmed player you managed to come in chat. I don't believe... So. Well, other than Andrea Cassar, of course. Club legend Andrea Cassar, who was in chat towards the start of the save. First two or three seasons. Oh, easy. Uh, well, no. Actually, I say that. Um, first couple of seasons, agent offers are absolutely key. Just getting their agents to bring you players is, is the dream. Once you hit season three, amateurs. The amateur scouting method is unbelievably overpowered. That's basically what we used. What we've been using pretty much every single year up until this season. And even then, we still found a guy with it. To give you an idea, right? This guy here I'm about to show you, we found him as an amateur in Colombia, and he's joining us in January. This is the kind of quality of player that you can expect. Well, not this is probably on the high end of that. This guy here. Right? He's free and is joining us in January. He's 17 years old and is going to join us on a free transfer in January. Unflappable media handling style, which means he has high professionalism as well, or at least reasonably high professionalism. He's six foot tall, good on both feet, left back, wing back. It's just, yeah, insane. Yeah, you can do them, because if they're there, you'll find them. That's the beauty of it. You'll get a chance to get ahead on players as well that might not even get in those squads. We're not seeing rolling the league, Stan. Really. But I thought that we could get away with trying it out for a bit. And if it starts to, like, if we need to start um, babysitting the team a little bit more, then we can take back over again. But it'll allow us to make a bit more progress. But yeah, if you want to know about the amateur thing, then uh, check out the video on it. I have a scouting video I made at the start of this game cycle that has all of this stuff in it as well, with some updated bits. Minsk not quite possibly but we'll send it around again and the best thing is you look at these and go okay none of those guys are for me that's fine then you'd have to touch them but it means when you do find a club with a few players send them straight to your scouts they get straight on there yeah it's like 55 minutes long uh that's the report for the match we're about to play yeah the, to me they're always belgian yeah it's about an hour long it depends stan 
because I feel like sometimes if your tactic is a little bit squiffy, like mine sometimes tend to be, although I must admit this tactic is quite basic in terms of its, um, not basic, sorry, conventional. So I feel like the game probably won't throw weird shit. So back when we used to use a right backless tactic, um, we couldn't instant result matches because we had to do some very specific babysitting in game to keep ourselves the shape right. It was just impossible. Oh, ah, it, it comes with time, Alpuff. And the way that you play is going to be different for everybody. Like I have probably about 12k hours in it and there's still shit loads of stuff that I don't know. And I'm constantly learning stuff from chat and others all the time. And it's great. Okay. All right. So here we go. Dinamo Zagreb. I guarantee you in this one, there's going to be a load of five star guys. And there they are. The issue is, right? Most of these guys won't talk to us, but we're going to find out just in case, because imagine if one of them did. This is what I mean about clubs like Dinamo Zagreb. Th this is why we do this. These types of players are the ones you want to go after. So when you find them, right click, team report. Sorry, yeah, report, get scout report. And then your scouts will actually start working on those now. Most normal thing. Well, to us, it kind of was the most normal thing in the world. Also, speaking of Namibia and right backless, up up the brave warriors. Namibia went and fucking beat Tunisia in AFCON. Absolutely amazing. Uh, Rarino, thank you very much for the follow. Love that for them. I was so happy with them. In fact, you know what? In honour of their success, we'll give them one of these. They deserve it. Now my music stopped. There's been quite a few sort of upset kind of results this time around as well. Send it back around. I Oh, yo. Thank you. Yes, I didn't, did I? I need to remember to do that first and then look at the players because I get excited and then go from there. Right. Uh, age. Okay. Oh, sorry. sometimes it was well. Your scouts will just throw them into your inbox reports already because they think they're good enough too. Uh, but him, the wage demands are insane. 22 as well. So we'll get rid of, not get rid of, but like, few guys have just fallen off the bottom of the list there including some of the dinamo zagreb guys as it goes but those weren't guys that we just scouted those are different players right cool that allows to narrow it down a little bit i like being at the early stage of a save where we can pretty much ignore anyone who isn't got hasn't five star potential or something because there's just so many players that will find other guys right these guys are already being scouted in fact all those dinamo zagreb guys they're actually really extensive to be fair this guy would actually talk to us this guy here is 19, admittedly. But he would actually talk to us. Hmm. His 19-ness is what kind of... Cooper, do not hate me. Yeah. I am familiar with over 600 so dance moves and I am programmed uh, to get freaky. Yeah, unfortunately, I just don't know, uh, Rubino. I've never played fm on a macbook or and i find that the steam cloud storage stuff is proper gash back in the day i used to not use it i would literally take my save file on a on a google drive and then download it from there instead because it was so bad d martins thank you for the follow and he's called blaz yeah what is the long-term injury actually oh yeah and bear in mind just because it doesn't say that here some of these guys might still talk to us particularly i mean this guy would be way more expensive god he's good but it's always worth a little Nah, which is fair. Might be, that one potentially could be his age. Him, I'm not sure. I mean, I don't hate him, but the jet ski's annoying there. Hey, DLP. Do you know we like a DLP around these parts? He's very sort of well-rounded. But again, I assume it's going to be a similar issue. Yeah. But if you don't ask, you don't know, right? Most of these guys are not going to talk to us. Ah, yeah. Inter's Lyon, or, or Lignon, is still here. And I'm pretty certain he's a player I want to pick up. Because I think he was... What's his injury? That's fine. Zahora? That's an interesting... Oh, he's a real player. Yeah, we're not interested in him because he's a real player. Thomas Bakovic probably is also a real player. Yeah. I thought about it, but I figured that I don't think we really needed him right now. Yeah, no problem. So if you go to any club, basically, team report, team report, bang, like that. Under 19s. Well, some nations, if it's really small nations, it'll only be one team and just get that scout as well. Some nations as well and some clubs, I will sometimes get reports on every squad just because. But I'm, for the moment, I'm not asked in doing that because there's so many uh Josip Maverick oh. oh god he's so good and he's a natural libero good on both feet he's the dream he's the guy I want anchoring that new defense that we're going to be building he's literally he is him ah uh, did I really shit I hate the fact that they're all grayed out Jim that's what it is I normally go by color a lot of the time now I think he's a he's a shortlist for later 
kind of player. I'm not done with him yet. Uh, he was a bit too expensive, or was he? Did I actually look at him? Yeah, I did. He's very, very fucking good. Oh, he would be worth the investment, honestly. Right, let's have a look at Inters then. Yeah, he's a no-brainer. Absolute no-brainer. 16 tackling, great positioning marking. His heading is a little weak, but with aerial training, with 19 jumping reach and 6 foot 4, he's not the quickest, but that's fine. He's an absolute beast. Will he talk to us, though? Start the majority of matches. And do you know what? He probably would. His wage is actually okay. I want to see if I can get his, his majority of matches. Oh, yeah, star player. Wait. Oh, no, they, they think of him as a star player. Um... There we go. That's what I wanted. Quickness track. Yeah, I think I'd put him on aerial first, though, because that's, I would say, more important to him. Plus, I've also noticed that quickness training is just not... It is effective, but it's not as effective... I, don't, I haven't noticed it to be as effective as the other individual focuses. I feel like it doesn't improve as much, which makes sense, because it's a physical attribute. There's only so quick a person can get, right? Squad player, language course is fine. We want that anyway. And I can get his base wage down. In fact, I think what I might do, instead of giving him the extension clause... Just give him one of those and get the base wage down to like 1.3. You can't transfer. Well, I mean, in FM you can a little bit. I think it must be down to like... Um... Also, by the way, the, the board randomly, without me even asking them, gave us another coach and a scout, which I've already got. And in addition, um, by doing that, our training is now much better. Um, so we should see an improvement in the training response too, because you'll notice that now it's average workload across the board. This was very high before we brought in um, Adam Lawrence. And you can sort of understand why I wanted to sign him. Uh, because I think he's very, very good. Most importantly, he's got great defensive and attacking coaching. His mental coaching is fantastic too. Uh, his level of discipline is not the greatest, but he's got good knowledge as well. And he's got good set piece coaching too. So I figured he'd be the perfect guy to bring in and help us out with that. And as for the scout that I brought in, uh, it's this guy here, Jeremy Laid. He's a 13 18. Uh, we're paying him £1,400 a week. He doesn't have a lot of knowledge and only of England, but I thought that we could do with just a really good scout to add to the current setup with the way that we're scouting at the moment. Oh, no, Rory's puffed up. It's going good, Gover. I mean, say going good. We've lost our first European game. They do get pissed off. I think part of that can sometimes come down to... Sometimes the game will say that the players are unhappy with training, and I think sometimes what the game is saying is that you have... Uh, your coaches are overworked and the players are not getting enough attention. So I want to see if we can improve that by having more coaches in general. Also, we're about as favourite for this game as we were for the uh, um, Aruka game. So, intriguing. Yeah, it's close again. But away from home, could be tough. See what type of team we can actually put out in this game. That's not ideal, but I am kind of glad that we rested uh, Guerrero for the last game, though. Otherwise, we'd be in real trouble here. Uh, right, traditionally, Mostar. Interesting. They obviously haven't had a youth intake for a little while. They will get one, though, because it's because of who they are. So I'll add that back around again. Move on. But you see how quick it is to just do that each time. It takes The first setup will take you about half an hour to go through all the clubs. But once you've got them set up, just repeating it each time, so much easier. Which have to ha I have to hope that HJK don't start winning matches or something. Because they are... Are they in this round or are they in the car? They're in the Conference League, aren't they? Yeah. I have a horrible feeling Finland might get back above us this year because HJK are going to just lead the line. Bruno's got that. Cool. Oh, now we're talking. Now we're talking. Here we go. Thank you, Bulgaria. Always so kind. Bulgaria can be weird because either... Let me just try and find the best coach. It's uh, actually probably Jeremy Laid now. Either their players are stupidly cheap or they're ridiculously expensive. Seriously, what? There's nothing in between. A new signings club on the rotation. Hang on. New signings club on the rotation. Uh, I'm not sure what you mean. As in, like, you mean Luter? Which means, yeah, means, that's what I mean. It's a fresh youth intake as well. Like, it's a brand new one. Uh, wow. Oh, that's fine. It was a rotated squad. Parfait. You love it. Try to summary. Summary will be an immense challenge, without a doubt. Actually, that lineup is very solid. If I move Safer back across, Jorgensen back across, and then bring my boy Vitazinia back in. It's weird that they still don't really rate him there. Hey, Xander. And then Dick's there. Vizhnevsky, good. And then Andre on the bench. Anyone I'm missing here? now? this is mostly... Uh, let me just get rid of this, actually. There we go. 
Anyway, I desperately need... We got Uri Lucky, so I feel a bit bad for Uri Lucky, honestly. Afaja. Oh, no, yeah. Sorry, great point, Thomas. Yeah. Um, remind me when we sign... When we get the confirmation through, because then it'll pop up on the screen, and I'll, I'll forget otherwise. Actually, fuck it. I'll just find the news article. I'm being lazy again. It's this one here, isn't it? Before we actually do that, I want to check their team. Yeah, see, look. They've got a load of players that are in this sort of age bracket. Oh! <laughs> Would you look at that? Your boy already did it. <laughs> Turns out when I was going through um, Cote d'Ivoire, I already did them. The French system? Uh, not to my knowledge, no. I think the Samaranese teams would play in the Italian system, would they not? And even then, I don't believe... I th actually, no, I think there is an Italian a Samaranese team in the Italian system, isn't there? In the same way that FC Andorra are in the Spanish system, maybe. Right, moment of truth, let's go. God, look at us, we're on to... We've, we've done less than an hour, and we're already onto our second Europa League game of the stream. I'm a new man, chat. I'm a new man. Okay. Underdogs, that's fine. I think we're going to be underdog no matter who we play, really. But that doesn't mean we're bad. Siri D, there you go, yeah. Oh, that looked a little bit glitchy. What are we saying, FM? Are we going to glitch out for it? Please don't. That would be bad. Cool. Let's go. Away from home is... I would have much... If we'd have faced them at home, I'd have felt really confident about our chances. Also, if we're struggling to create again after, say... Ooh, that is looking a little shaky. Let me just have a little look at my boy. How's it going, Tarski? What are we saying? Hello, oh, no, Tarski seems fine. Oh, it's fine now. That was weird. Just a momentary glitch. Good interception. Right. I think if we're struggling again to create anything, I'll, I'll make the same switch I was making before to see if that will allow us a bit more openness. Oh, that's a pass. Ronnie Shallow. Great. No, Ronnie, come on. These. This is the problem with us in Europe. We miss our chances as well. And I don't really understand why. They're not any different to the league chances. And it's not like they're being saved. We're just outright missing them and it's costing us. Ah. Oh. This is some nice football as well. Ball across. Plenty of bodies in the way, at least. Don't foul him. Oh, God. Oh. Yeah, it feels like they're all channeling the energy of Tommy Randrup. And not the one we signed in the summer. The original. The OG. They've got a lot of the ball. This was like the type of game where actually us having a getting a little bit more possession might not be the, the worst thing in the world try and make use of it when we do get it though ronnie come on find that pass or just go alone ronnie's going all the way through and it's over the bar again we're finding gaps at least which is something i suppose also ronnie has already got um i think he's got six goals and five assists this season which is and that's not including those that league game we just played so i don't know about that i don't think he started that did he so either way he's had a fantastically good creative start to the season that's all oh, nice 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 we need another big game from the Kangaroo, basically. And he's already started on a 5.9. Oh, hang on. Where's the pass? There he is. Oh, imagine if he scores another one. Kangaroo! This man is unbelievable. Pierre Kamgar and Lend makes it Farrell Costanza nil. Sirene's what? What a run. What a run from the Mez. That was beautiful. Look at this run. He spots this pass here. Makes the beautiful run behind Guerrero. And then bang. Look at... Oh, that was filth. That's his... He's got five goals in Europe for us already this season. Oh, he's literally been our best striker this season since he's joined us. Wow. I'm so happy that we went back in for him after he said no initially. Uh, but then once we got through a couple of rounds of qualification of the Champions League, he changed his mind. £100,000 he cost. He could be here for a while, I suspect. Come on, Kamgaru again. Cespedes is very narrow here, and that's poor from him. That could cost us. That was very poor. Got to keep the pressure on them. Oh, I think... Oh, nice again from Kamga. And now he can just make that little run again. He's back inside for the pass from Cespedes. Surely. Maybe. Eventually. He's right there. Oh, hang on. Shallow at the back post. Over the bar again. Uh, so you can do X-Men Shot Team Report in chat. It's also in my large scouting video from this year as well. Um, but the, the Team Report video is from last April when I actually originally sort of felt the need to dis not discover it, but like felt the need to finally finalize the method into a video. Jorgensen again. Lucic, that's poor again. I have a horrible feeling this is going to be one of these games where the chances are all there for us, but we'll still just randomly concede two goals. Zanko, thank you very much for the rage. You come at a very important time. We're finally winning a Europa League match. Cespedes. Kamga again. Over the bar. Good God. The ch the, 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 we are having moments in this match. And I'm so worried about us not taking them. Because these guys don't look like they are not going to create chances against us. They will. And that's my concern. 
They will get through us at some point in this game, and we have to be aware of that. Oh, that's nice. Ronnie again. That's a great pass. Guerrero's in. He has to at least finish this one. Come on, 2-0. Oh, no. As if. We've battered them for the first 36 minutes of this game, and we're only a goal up because we cannot take our chances. If that was Kamga, I reckon we score. A Fifi again. Great pass. Lusic. Shallow. We're dominating them. Dick. That's so poor. Now we could get caught out. Dick's coming back at least. Oh, wow. Oh, he's pulled up injured. There's a chance for us here. Cespedes. Kamga's made the run again. Can he go for the assist this time? Pulls it back across. Guerrero blocked again. That guy's still down on the ground. <laughs> We're being a bit harsh on them here, I suspect. The fact that we've not scored a second goal in this first half is destroying my brain right now. We've absolutely hammered them. Ah. <sighs> Wow. Like, 10 first half shots for a total of 2.02 XG away from home in the Europa League. Come on! I am worried, though. There were moments there. We have to take advantage of it. See, in English football, um, we reckon probably upper League One maybe at a very big push with some of these new guys, maybe a lower championship side. Uh, well, I'm going to praise the team because they've played superbly well. Like, everything's been great. The link-up's been fantastic. The intensity on the press. Everything. Really, all that's been lacking is that final finish from someone like John or Shallow, basically. Because not every chance can fall to Pierre Kamga. That's the problem. If every chance could fall to him, we'd be fine. Because <laughs> he'd score every time. I, I think he has the perfect PPMs and attributes for the role we wanted to play as well, which makes a huge difference. And with Afifi in the side next to him, he's not got to worry too much about... Oh, hang on. Here he is again. That's going to be offside against Guerrero, isn't it? At least he scored this time. But that is going to be offside. It's not offside! It's 2-0. How was that not offside? Well, Hammer, um, Shallow's actually played very well in the link-up. It's 2-0. And it's an assist for Kamga as well. Oh, the right their, their left back was super deep. Guerrero does make it 2-0 now. Kamga's got a goal and an assist. And the fact that he's doing it in these big games, does he have really high consistency as well? Let me just check. Oh, I've got to check his actual profile. I think he does, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. He's extremely consistent. List of must-have players? No. Um, all I know is that I'm thinking back five at the moment with a libero in the middle. Possibly a halfback in the midfield to drop in to replace the libero when we're in possession. And then act as a cover when we're not in possession. But other than that, and I want to keep two strikers just because we're so stacked in that area. But I don't know what roles within that. I want to kind of make use of more of the possession, positional play stuff. Right, 2-0. Don't screw this up, lads. How is he? As if. How can you turn this offside or not? So when the goal is given, if it goes to VAR, if you look on this and it shows an assist, then the goal's going to be given. Uh, obviously, there isn't an assist, then there's not much you can do about that. That's really unfortunate. It looked like Seyfert just made the tackle, and then... Uh, yeah, that was just annoying. Just, just annoying, isn't it? He's just a ghost, yeah. This has got 2-2 two -two written all over it, doesn't it? We have, one thing we haven't done in this game is hit the target enough. I'm going to put Diaz on there. And Mabtua for a bit more defensive stability. And we'll go with the Assassin for a little bit. One thing I might try actually is just drop the tempo slightly. I feel like we're rushing our chances a little bit. And it'll just allow us to sort of sit on the ball a little bit more. And hopefully if we do get into those positions, not rush things as much. Right, kamga has got it again though. And here he comes, driving for... He's just going to go the whole way, isn't he? No, he doesn't. He would never. He's too patient for that. Mabture. He's still got it. He's still got it. Lads, could you get back? We don't have the ball. Oh, God. Mabture's not going to get back here. He's not going to track his runner. Popescu's into the box now. There's some players inside. This is going to be too all. I can feel it. This is what happens when you don't take your chances. Oh, well played. Kamga's back doing the defensive duty. What a guy. And now he's going to win it again. Look at him go. He's offside there, but Alassas isn't. He gets forward. He gets back. He does it everything. Lose it. He's gone too wide to create a shot, but he could still lose the ball. Okay. That was unfortunate. Ah, oh, This is going proper end to end now, and it's annoying. Oh, they've just left him for dead. He's pulled it across. It's an open goal, and he's scored. So fucking typical, isn't it, when you just don't take your chances. One thing I do find a bit annoying in the match engine is when your player makes a tackle in the final third, and they win the ball, but they're clearly not in possession of it. The 
your attacking players will act as if you're still in possession. And it means that they don't then get back in expecting the counter-attack. And it's very annoying. Not that that's happened on this move here, but we just got completely caught up field. And that is frustrating because we've, we've not deserved that. We've been the better side here. Oh. Kanga can't do it by himself. How Lucic loses the ball in that position is very frustrating. I might just turn the tempo back up again. We've kind of got worse since I turned that down. Right. Oh, no. Where are the defenders? That's offside, at least. And it's been saved, but it is offside. Very deep when you're on the half line. I don't think we do, no. Uh, no, we're playing a, a higher... No, we're actually on step up more. <laughs> Yeah, they had a lot of shots in the second half. Ah, uh, two-all draw is going to be a proper shitter there. We deserved better. Uh, we were the better side in that game and deserved to win. That's just one of those things, unfortunately. I think Mabchur really did poorly when he came off the bench. I think he just lacks the physical ability to get back and I shouldn't have taken Dick off. Um, Vitazini, on the other hand, there's really no excuse for him because he's fast. He should be getting back. That is a frustrating result. It's, it's a point, but we should have won that. We were the better side. Uh, but Kamga was fantastic. Yeah, that was weird. They just seemed to lose any defensive stability in the second half. Or to leave already. Damn. I mean, hey, once that you get the money, right? Very annoying. Because those are the two winnable-ish matches. We got some money for it, of course, but... And Kamga looks absolutely unbelievable. I mean, what's his record so far? Seven games, five goals, two assists. And he's not even played a league match yet. This has all been in European competitions. He's very good. Is Vasta going back? Yeah. Well, we had to bring someone off for Dick because he was just tired, but I feel like maybe I should have just kept Dick on, honestly. Because at least Dick can get back. Centre back. back. Uh, I don't have him training centre back, do I? Also, bear in mind, he is a centre back, so that was the reason he was training centre back, but he's no longer training centre back, or he wasn't. I'm pretty certain I took him off of it literally before stream today. Yeah. As in, he is a centre back. He's six foot one. He's not fast enough and he can't cross particularly well. I mean, he can cross okay. He's got, he's a very good centre back. Maybe the dribbling's a little, but like for me, he's a great centre back. That's the reason because that's where I want to play him. He doesn't have the speed to be a fullback for me. But I was training to play centre back until he got accomplished, but now I've taken it off. Right, cool. Ehrlich does have a decent left foot. Yeah, he probably could have been an option there, honestly. And he was on the, or was he on the bench? No, I don't think he was. I think Uelaki was the one on the bench that time. But you never learn. Right, okay, so we're getting um, Lignol. Right. Lesky Sophia? Yeah. Naturally, they've got a couple. One's a 20-year-old, admittedly. In fact, I'll probably just uh, ignore him because he's going to cost a load of money. And also, he's 20 years old, which means he wouldn't be homegrown or anything. Doesn't make a difference. Um... Basically, what I've noticed is that if you look at the game... I find that I often use the game stars for this. Once they become accomplished, the game doesn't seem to punish them for not being able to play in that position. And it takes so long to become accomplished that you're wasting so much scout... Wasting so much training time by doing that. So once I've got them accomplished, the game will also start playing them there in the tactics and stuff. They won't get a huge punishment for it. So I'm all right with that. And then just by playing them there, they're going to get better at it anyway. Right. Diaz drops that unfairly. Good, that's good. One down. About 50 to go. Vishnevsky showing please in progress. Wow, it's weird that he's only three and a half stars now, considering he's still amazing. Kassar's injured. The last thing we needed. Oh, that's unfortunate. Was there a team report this day? No, I think it comes later in the day. They usually they come after lunch. At least they get a little rest after this game. Hammer and do win. So they are still two for two. And Luta are not playing until the Sunday. Okay, oh, here we go. Ludogorets. Well, yes. Oh, we actually have... We already know about a guy from Ludogorets. Fair enough. Yeah, these guys are... Um, I mean, not that Ludogorets guys are going to join us, but you never know. You only have to... Because some of these guys might not even be amazing, but they might be good enough for us. Pressure for beating on top. Ah, he'll get game time. He'll be fine. I just want him or Alice. Him or Cespedes just needs to stake a claim. Right. Uh, see how Luta get on against Hiber Hibernian. Some of them are already extensive, which is great. But I like to scout them. Wow, okay. Maybe Luta are not it. Hibernian with a 5-2 victory and a hat-trick for Pafong. A Cameroonian striker they've picked up uh, last season, apparently. All right. Birkikara. Let's see. 
Platinum Garret. What are we doing? Oh, yeah, we've got no choice. Do nah, fuck it. We've got an international break after this. I want to go as full strength as I can, really, because it's international break afterwards. A lot of these guys won't be playing national team matches, so we'll give them a rest. Ooh, we're lucky he can come in. We'll change the back line up a little bit here. Cool. Right. See. Instant result again. See if the uh, the pattern holds. Be nice to give uh, Khalifa a bit of an experience. Come on. I'm still taking this sort of as they come at the moment. We will have to play the game against Hamroon, though, because, well, it's a massive game. I'm telling you, he's the guy. He is him. Look at the XG. 4-0 against Birkikara, and Pierre scored two more goals. He's got seven goals in eight matches for us from central midfield. This guy is going to be an absolute beast. What was it I was saying? Oh, he might get 15 goals this season. He's got seven in eight, for crying out loud. The amount of penalties doesn't seem to give away. Um, I've noticed that in European matches, Dunian, depending on who you're managing, obviously, if you're a much worse reputation team... I still believe that the game will make your players make those kinds of decisions in those games as a way of balancing out the mechanics to make the better team just win more often. It's unfortunate, but I've also noticed that it's one of the things that used to be horrendous last year was when you play against the big side and your passing would just suddenly go to shit. No matter who you were, your passing would just go to shit. Not that they were intercepting the passes, that you'd be passing the ball directly to them. Now, nerves can come into that as well, I suppose. But when you've got players who've got the right mentality, it shouldn't matter. But yeah, that's one factor I've noticed. In the same reason that you notice how we get loads of red cards in Europe that we don't get in the league very often. Particularly in that first, our first proper season of Europe, we got like five red cards, straight reds as well out of nowhere, which we weren't getting in league matches. And yeah, <laughs> I'm not saying it's a conspiracy chat, but my hat is definitely looking somewhat tinfoil. Uh, oh, wow, really? Oh, hang on. This is one of these weird ones where I have to put the matches on the Sunday. It is. It's strange. Um, we'll play against Lua. A little friendly. And uh, against Balsan Youth. Why not? There we go. But also remember, if you're playing in Europe and you're a smaller side, you're generally speaking going to have less of the ball. So you're most likely going to be on the defense a lot more, which means there's going to be more opportunities for you to concede a penalty as well. We believe we call it being rep rolled when it happens because, yeah, we believe there's like a rep check goes on in the background. Happens a lot with um, the way that AI matches. But that's why it's important when you've got Europe, when you get to the last stages of your European games um, with the building a nation save make sure that you turn the conference league and the europa league onto full detail because otherwise the game uses way less criteria to decide who wins the matches so you want to make sure that it's actually using your, the players that are on loan there rather than other factors because we met that made a huge difference to the mtk save once we switched that on uh ooh, another one in there there's a couple in there in fact oh carlos javier diaz at osiek don't mind a bit of that i did have a little bit of a deeper go with uh well, i was losing your, yeah that'd be it <laughs> It, the fact is, you know, obviously, you can't expect to be beating a lot of these big sides at first. Um, but it's just the way that the game represents those matches sometimes can look a bit odd, I suppose. Uh, next match, we'll give them 25 minutes or 45 or whatever. And then we'll have to... That, that menu's always a bit glitchy. What, what I mean by this is that it used to, on this screen, it would automatically update this thing for you. And now it has done. But before, it seems to be really slow at doing that this year. Hey, Johnson. Uh, a bit of Applewell. Ooh! An Applewell. Six foot two. Can head a ball for once. Wow, look at that. We found a centre back that can head a football. Can tackle. P positioning and marking are bad, but that's the easiest thing to improve. I really like Thrasos Dimitriou. He plays for Applewell, though, which is annoying. Start scouting. Yeah, we're doing some team report scouting now just to get preparations in for next season. The main transfers. Uh, the biggest one, probably. Actually, there's, there's only one answer to that question. And that is Mr. Kamga. Uh, these will be all the Maltese players I scout. I want to... There's a Kassar in there. I'll show you in a sec. The, he's been unbelievable. 20 determination too, yeah. Yeah, defensive positioning is the one. And the thing is, I've noticed that defensive positioning is probably one of... Is the most effective individual focus when it comes to defensive players. It just seems to boost their their attributes in those roles so fast in the same way that attacking positioning and final third seem to do for the attacking side of things uh, these guys are already being scouted which means we will see the reports from them again so i will just leave those for the moment we'll, they'll come back around again in a minute uh and you as well i know they're already extensively scouted but it's just easier this way because i know that the reports will come back uh right you guys though some of them actually have demands there full fatty mashovic it's fast. 20 years old, though. 
He's the thing that lets that him down, really, for me. In fact, they're all kind of older, aren't they? In fact, I'm suspecting some of these guys might be players that got put into the reports, not wrongfully, but because your scouts would just dump them in there. Obviously, if they're still goated, I'll have a look, but I suspect these guys probably wouldn't sign for us. Yeah, he's a real player. 21 must be the fresh, which means he has to be a real player as well. Good player, very good player, but yeah. Oh, it's, it's great, Stan. I was out there this morning and it was like, I brought out the running log leggings again. It was minus five, but it was windy, man. But it was like blue skies. And once you got the sun on your face, like you say, it's so nice. But it was like lung-hurtingly cold. Uh, oh, dear. Aris not doing the business this time around. Move from Mapchur again. Nah, I'm not sending him to Mapchur. Oh, you're doing Couch 5K. Nice. How's it going? How far? What, I'm trying to think what you do in week two of Couch 5K. I actually run a bit less this morning. I only did like two miles this morning because... um. I got up a little bit late and I was like, I really have to get back. But I went just faster to make up for it. Hey, bae. How's it going, man? Oh, we're actually... Oh, it's a friendly. Interest of Bordeaux. I'm not from... That's kind of sick. I mean, not saying I'd want to do in this save, but that... Actually, I suppose not currently I wouldn't, but there's going to come a moment potentially where that would work. One thing I have noticed in this save, we've had no issues with offloading players. Thus far, anyway. It's been very easy for us to just offload the guys oh local running club that's dope i've always thought about joining a local running club but i've just every time i, I always go through these patches of not running yeah, lucitania for start yo another more money out of that one jablonets yes and those guys are all 18 or under if we prioritize those guys then it actually what i normally do actually is oh no yes yeah, if i use a secondary sort that will count those guys separately so i want to keep that as it is uh, I'm going to try and send it to Chargo, but you never know. It does feel like it's easy to sell, which I think is going to be massive later in the save when we've got those annoying players that just will not leave. Just pick whatever team we, ne we need here. A couple of injuries there, which is less than ideal. Cut off a PA. Can you just yeah. Basically, if they've got anything in the five-star bit, I will usually consider that like good enough to have a closer look at because I'm I'm sort of relying on the fact that my scouts particularly at this level are not uh, particularly good and so I want to make sure there's a bit of wiggle room in there. Can we also talk about Peter Chappie? Uh, a Liberian here who's actually not awful that plays for um, Sigma and his name is Peter Chappie and I just really enjoy that about him and he's not even bad. Oh. On your FM, uh, I don't know if San Marino is a base game league or not. I just assumed you were going to use like a database for it or something, potentially. I think we actually have a building a nation Samarini San Marino database in the Discord, maybe. But he's getting scouted. Like, for me, a good name adds like at least a half a point to a full point of attribute on every single one of them. Yeah, we don't want it to, we need a happy chappy. Uh Slovan Liberates, they've usually got a couple. Ooh, okay. Bit of a down year from them, potentially. Send those guys around again. Cool. You see a chap, he could be. I smashed you. Really? I did not think I did. I figured that the majority of the viewership for both videos, but especially the streams, was obviously, you know, uh, predominantly English speaking countries, Scandinavia, Netherlands, Belgium, and a little bit Germany as well, and then some in Asia as well. But that's about. I actually didn't think there was a much uh, audience for my content for sort of Spanish, French, and even German, honestly, speakers, because there are big streamers and content creators that are prevalent in those spaces in the FM community as well. And I've met some of them, and they're fucking lovely people. Least amount of different last names you can make an eleven out of at the moment. We've got a, co a couple of Rodriguez's. Rodriguez, Hello, so to speak. I noticed on yesterday's vid chat talked about first sick memories. I first remember Pompey as top Jeez. four contenders being inexplicably spanked by QPR. Apparently, Nana's went enough. Hope everyone is having a great day. That was an, a deep cut, J Star. A, a big old deep cut. What's Pog message? Thank you for the 14 months as well. What's Pog saying? Uh, what's up? Anyway, Pog's still not feeling particularly great. Uh, right, get that out of the way. As Kate Winslet plays us along here. Uh, 
represent the entire region. It's true, yeah. Got Aussie Winger, who's got potential. He's a web. Ah, yes. RBI failed language course one. Is he worth keeping around? Let's have a look. Honestly, yeah, he is. Ah, you see, there's your problem. Mercenary personality. <laughs> that, that, that is your issue right there. Thing is, though, right? He's actually training really well. Oddly. I mean, he might start training poorly, but he's... I just think that if you can honestly... I would just say keep him around for a little bit. He'll eventually get over it. It, it really does come down to that. Uh, also, I think we had a video comment. Um, So, yeah, there's just an idea about perhaps instead of doing it with the mass offer thing, trying to do it with... I could just put it bigger again, actually. Individually. And I wouldn't obviously do it every single time because that would be tedious as hell. But maybe like three times a window, perhaps try it. Just to see if it makes any difference. Slugs is still doing research on that sort of stuff as well. Um, but it's just it's insanely difficult. One more trip to Kazakhstan. Eventually, yeah. Ah, oh, Jason Donovan scored. Nice. We could definitely get a Fernandai. Well, we've not got many Fernandai, I think. We've got all the Rodrigo, though. So there's that. Matt Gauchy, thank you very much for the 400 bits. That's so kind of you. Afternoon, Habib. Oh, Mass Loans. Oh, yeah, super easy. Look. Um, You just... Hang on. Let me get my other view up so we can access... I'm not actually going to do it because there's no point. If you've got a list of players that are on the dev... What the hell? Why is it so big? You can just select them all. Oh, what the fuck? Okay. Because you just select them all, right click on them, and just go transfer, offer to transfer room for loan. And it just offers them all out for loan at the same time. That's what we were trying over the summer to try and help with us, help with some of that stuff. Uh, he's 19, so we'll ignore him. A couple of interesting ones in there, potentially. There's also a Macedonian dude in there. Wow, look at some of those. Oh, he's really expensive. I mean, they're all going to be really expensive. It's Victoria Pilsen. But it's good to know. To get an idea of some of these guys in case we do have to come in for them later. Maybe we'll get some more money next summer and such. Oh. Right. Uh, of course, we're still... Such a massive, like, break we've got here. Flora? You never know. Nah, we do know, apparently. I was kind of hoping we might get lucky and get someone from, like, an Estonian club or something. Particularly with the level we're at right now. Now, now your scout reports are going to start to look a little bit like this. Which is nice. Get rid of these guys here. Be cool if a Maltese player somehow snuck through here. I don't think they have, though, sadly. 144. I think we've got a similar amount, honestly. It's certainly up there. We've got the new guy, um, Jeremy Laid, who could potentially do that. Hello, Pogs. We were just talking about you, my love. And uh, these guys should all be... I don't know why he's in there. Yeah, he's... we'll get rid of those guys. Uh, there's a couple of reasonables at the very bottom here, which I think have actually come from something else, potentially. Anyway... Name one fact. I don't. I don't really know because I don't really know what's going on under the hood. That's the biggest issue, right? Uh, there's a few of these guys are already being scouted. So I'll send those guys around again. These are the ones that have come back to us. And some of them actually do have asking price. I mean, with this guy here, Kovacic, he's wow. He's bro. Jesus. He'd practically get in our team now, but he's so expensive, and there's no way in hell a 15 year old is going to sign for us. Yeah, he's just not easy. Scouting budget. Oh, we've got worldwide scouting, so our scouting budget's about. Well, it's whatever you need for worldwide scouting, basically. It's, well, it's not actually, it's, it's 360,000 pounds a year is what we pay for it. Daniel Dimitrov, that is a wild range of money. And he's absolutely unbelievable. So this is what I mean. These are the kind of guys you can find with this type of method. Now, they won't sign for us yet or at all at the moment, but it's always worth checking each one just in case. I mean, we can't literally couldn't afford him even if we wanted him, but he's fucking unbelievable. Look at his tackling. These guys are insane. Uh, Maverick is the guy we already, we've already we already got him shortlisted, so we keep an eye on him. Uh, Domakinov. Okay, he might be more affordable. Ooh. It's just a mass group chat. You just add them to a group, say, Oi, I've got like a, a group text with all the other clubs in the league. Then we just like put random player profiles in there and be like, Eh? Question mark? It's getting really different. Interesting. What sort of scouting budget are you working with? He's very young and he, he literally will not talk to shit anyway. Todorov? Hmm. Bro doesn't even have an agent, which is annoying. Georgiev? A bit more expensive. Does he have an agent? No. Arilitsa? 17 year old goalkeeper. Ooh, I'll tell you what. Uh, one on ones are a little. Actually, I don't care so much about one on ones this year. Reflexes, command of area. Very expensive. Won't talk to us. Okay, good to know. 
But now we know, right? Ooh, chat was paused there. That's weird. Actually, with these guys, I might just put a bid in just to see where they are. Uh, I might just do that again so I don't make the same mistake I always do on these. Crack that out. I'll just accept it because I don't actually. I just want to see if he'll even talk to us. And the same with Georgiev. Actually, I'm not sure if I'm convinced by Georgiev. He'd cost a lot more money. This guy's the one that's sort of within the price range. I'm just curious if he actually would talk to us. Nope. Okay, fair enough. Development, which means he's too young. That's fine. Give me one. I have to take some of the transfer budget. Yeah. So the best thing you can do in those situations is use your transfer budget for that exact thing. Because most of the time, you're best picking up free players anyway. So you're not going to have to worry about actually spending money on the transfers. So dump a load of it into scouting budget. And then maybe you give yourself like two months of European scouting, perhaps. That can sometimes be enough to get some of those guys in that you were maybe looking at. Uh, put non-promotion release courses in the National League as a newly promoted team. Um, I, I mean, that's true. You could just cycle through them. I've never done it myself. I do like a relegation release clause, though. Those are very fun because they will reduce the wages. Thank you for the raid, Alex. No, we are we weren't in the Champions League at all. Uh, this Well, we were in this season, but we've been in the Europa League for a little while now. We're two games deep and we have one point. And we should have... We were good. We were good value for a point in the first match, and we lost. And we were absolutely dominated the second game, and we drew. Like we should have easily won our second match, but yeah, things just did not go very well for us towards the end of the game. It's going all right. It's going all right. It depends on who we're playing next in Europe. Although I think we've got a nice little gap between now and the next European game, which is going to give us a bit of chance to prepare for that. Uh, as we play against, uh, is this that team that's pronounced Arur, who are okay, an amateur side there. Hang on, they've got a Warren as a party and Epili Bobo. They've got a Fijian. You'd love to see it. Cake Gear, thank you very much for the Prime. Oh, yeah, I mean, this, saving money at those lower levels. The other thing you can do, Chin, uh, is renegotiate contracts with the players you currently have when you get there to add in things like national team clauses. They do have a Tahitian, which is almost, which is dope. So just add it's a load of English players. Just give them like a, a, a huge wage bump if they get a national team cap, provided they don't have a second nationality. You can get another chunk off their wages that will allow you to sign like two more players probably. That's what I always do if I'm doing lower league saves. Right, so it's Balsan, then it's... That's fine. See you later, Alex. Uh, cups. They've usually got a couple of guys, but not this year. A cups of guys, if you like. What a tune. Dinamo Batumi are an interesting one because I feel like at the level we're at, there might actually be a, a workable player or two there. Ah, oh, not quite. Actually, let me just have a little gander. Nah. Just a lot of yellow there. But that's where we found that amazing guy last time around, wasn't it? Still the clever Malta. Well, yeah, obviously I'm talking about if you're doing like lower league England, right? Uh, was there a look up in there? Or was that all song requests? It's all song requests. We good. Okay, so bounce and get that out of the way. But at least the two league games that we've been able to sim today have been better. We've won both of them for a start. More good reports on Vizniewski. Okay, his natural fitness has dropped weirdly. His composure's taken a huge jump up. As is his one-on-ones. Wow. He's come on leaps and bounds as a footballer over the last three months. So that individual training focus is absolutely huge for Burnt. His, I want to look at his actual progress to see what he's done since we switched over to the RDF schedules. Yeah, one-on-ones has gone up by two already in just over a year, which is massive because that was the one weak point of his game. Like, he's got great reflexes. Aero Rich Commander very is fantastic, but his one-on-ones left a little bit to be desired for me. So the fact that he's actually improving that is amazing. Oh, Longello scored for Gabon. Gabon, my son. Nice. Yeah, it's five years for multi, which means we're going to start getting our first Maltese naturalization players, roughly, around about February, which is when Dick will become Maltese. And I'm almost certain that he's going to get a call up for the Maltese national support. Because I've seen a, he's never going to get a Brazil cap. He's still young enough to the point where he can make a difference. What well, rep are we currently? Uh, two and a half, sorry, one and a half stars, I think. Yeah. Same as Hamroon. How about Did I? Who was it? Most players have become Maltese also going internationally eligible. True, yeah. Dick Borg. Dick Borg? Dick has a party. Got those guys as well. Sirens. Hey, look, chat. Mentoring. 
this is why i fucking hate mint like we don't even have mentoring set up we, it's blank we don't touch it in this save and yet somehow we're getting mentoring reports like why is he i mean honestly that's actually okay right him having comes deep to get ball is not the end of the world because he is a deep lying playmaker so it's for once the mentoring's actually lucked out but my point is that normally we get these reports come through and it would say things like your center back now has shoots from distance you know just like what why so that could actually make him even better. And he's already very good. So for once, I'm actually fairly happy with that. Well, the squad are... Oh, the board could not be happy. I thought the squad were happy. They are, they are fairly happy, other than our ridiculous Team Dynamics hierarchy, which is still just a totem pole <laughs> with everybody else underneath. It's like a giant shovel. Mentoring the under-23s. Uh, he's not an under-23 player, though. He's a first-team squad. And no, I would not be doing any mentoring. Hickman, thank you very much for the prime. AF gets, oh, it's so annoying, isn't it? I, I remember one time I had the, per I can't remember which save it was. I had the perfect advance forward, but he had comes deep to get ball, which sometimes can be okay. But in this tactic, it was very much not okay. And worse things worse, over like a five-year spell, I could not get him to get rid of the trait because you know, sometimes they can fail it. He just wouldn't get rid of it. Playing against multinationality. Yeah, we're not really sure what we're going to do with that yet. It'll come, it'll come to us. Usually, so with hunger, it was really easy. We would just change any S's to SZ. And... In Malta, you got your Borgs. We could just add Pardy or Borg to the end of their names. Like, we could have Dicky Pardy. What's the other one? There's another... Oh, Ferrugia. That's quite a common name too, isn't it? It really is noticeable how nippy the game is in between days, though. Whereas, even with all the team reports... Oh, Debretson! Hello! Speaking of hungry, don't mind if I do. And they're both 16 as well. Is it was treated? Yeah, you're right. I think it was. Dick Pace Cox. <laughs> Dixon. Richard Dixon. That could work. That's amazing. <laughs> we'll have to base it off of the name of the player once they actually come through. Ooh. Remarkable improvements for Shallow as well. So Ronnie was doing really, really well on his um, attacking movement training. It was either, I think it was Ronnie or Guerrero. So I've now switched him to final third because he's boosted his off his other attributes so far up that I felt that we could do with working on that composure a little bit. So he just he just works. Welcomed in. Do you think that has to? Does that actually have something to do with it? That I want to say I wouldn't be surprised. This is what I mean about learning new shit every day. Imagine that. His whoever introduces him to the club suddenly becomes a mentor, and it's just Dick mentoring everybody. And you'd bet your bet your bottom dollar that Dick has comes deep to get ball. Or let me tell you. Uh, any reasonables? A couple of reasonables. Fact, quite a few. Also, South African in there from Chippy United. Lovely scenes. Anyone who's crap? One final Maltese player in there. Yeah, it looks like none of that youth intake is going to be much good. Such is life. Uh, oh, we'll get uh, Semich out as well. Don't know where he's gone. Cool. Right, who's left? Is there any... Yeah, you're already being scouted because you're the new one. You guys aren't good enough. Ah, oh, the... Hang on, wait. No, I'm not done with you yet. I want to have another look at that guy. AM has suggestions to put players on certain training. Does he really? Okay, we'll have to have a look at that. I guess that makes sense because he's just identifying weaknesses, isn't he? If this guy wasn't so ludicrously expensive, and he would actually join us. PY 19 years old. What it usually means is that the player has really low PA, or they have been exposed to first team football they gender with a really high ca and have been exposed to first team football extremely early and as a result they've been able to right develop extremely fast uh this guy here actually has a nah it's just do you know what i mean it's just nothing there unfortunately let me just have a look at swallows and see if yeah because we haven't got swallows on here wait is that two south african players in the same report interesting he ain't it for me but that's still wait what was his name i actually missed his name shit uh banov we'd already looked at and we're going to keep him on the list for the moment. Janusz Urbanski is very expensive. Just all the letters. Oh. I mean, he probably will be very good. These guys are just beyond our pricing at the moment, unless they're an absolute goat. Boromis is very good. But we can't. Oh, we already talked to him and he said no, didn't he? It's always tough to know, like, where to start that scouting setup. And actually what nations... Because I just don't know who's actually going to have players that want to join us right now. Um, these guys are obviously 16. So sometimes they will still come at 16 though. Like... Oh. Wow. 
cheers us wow <laughs> um okay five foot nine with four jumping reach center back i mean he's if he literally wasn't if he's just six foot nine six foot yeah he's literally he's tent poles and concrete shoes <laughs> he's got every single thing you'd want bravery aggression heading marking tackling positioning just the lack of jumping reach classic yeah and low self-belief too which is less than ideal yeah you're not amazing either you might be more within our price range mr yedvi media friendly determined consistent 18 wouldn't want to join. okay so i don't think we're at the level of those kind of guys just yet which is fine i oh, haven't look at but now we know but i'll still keep scouting players from those clubs on a yearly basis just in case because when they eventually are Season's on the rack, in it, yeah. At least to get that, like, what's it called? That like leg lengthening surgery, what people have been getting. Longer locum. Ah, oh, nice. Well, we'll send you another one then. I'm just. God, remember when we cared about language courses and now I'm just like handing them out like confetti. Push gas. Go on, lads. What you got for. Wow. Hello, Peter. Okay. A little bit disappointed by that, but still. Not awful. That's what you like to see. Do you know if there's a train coming? Yeah, we've just got like an enterprise oh, yeah, subscription to Duolingo at this stage. Yeah, Peter, thank gone. you very much for the follow. The gal on him. <laughs> Hides when he sees a plane. <laughs> oh, dear. Bring on the right. Peter Gabriel without the brain. <laughs> it's a cheeseless Peter Gabriel run. I don't know if there is past, I don't know why you'd want something like that, but wait, lots of these. Uh, so they're all now speaking the language proper. Dick injured, pulled knee ligaments. Good. Just what we needed. Could you have done that before the international break? Rico, thank you very much for the follow. Uh, I realise that's not... That might not actually be it. It might just be re come on your whites. But still. I'll call you Rico. Oh, this isn't working. And Wishy, thank car. you for the follow. MTK? Oh, I was hoping MTK might... I wanted the next Janos to be in there. That's all I want from them. Guerrero show... Another one. Star player for most Premier League sides. Okay, cool. What what we got him on? So he's on final third as well to get that composure up. And now that his composure's 15, honestly, I'm tempted to maybe switch him over to attacking movement to get his decisions off the ball and anticipation up in conjunction with it. Now, start to build him really slowly. Garen's injured again. That's going to be him out for a while, actually. Ooh. Okay. To ice. Wow! Now, admittedly, this is their first team squad, so that's why he's so good. Centre back that can't head, but oh, he's not even expensive either. That guy there, Victor Wilhelmsen, he is intriguing. 18 tackling. Oh, he's got six Iceland caps. There's no way we're signing him. <laughs> Bro's got six caps for Iceland. That would be an experience if we were able to sign him. But I'm curious. Holy Lord. Oh, halfback. Yeah. I am thinking halfback. Uh, so we'll hammer and play Nashar. Loot are away. Who buys Duolingo merch? Oh, I don't know. They've got quite a big social media presence, haven't they? I guess some people just like that. Plus, I guess, like, employees and stuff. Six and nine finish. I know. Useless. Oh, another Icelandic side. Bloody hell. I mean, I know that he's 20 years old because these are obviously first team squads. Wow, what the hell has he been up to there? How did he get a 4.7? What did he do in that league game? Wait, he was substituted. <laughs> No, wait. He was a substitute goalkeeper in a league game and got a 4.7. <laughs> what do you have to do as a substitute goalkeeper in a league game to get a 4.7 rating? <laughs> he only conceded one goal. Like, I'm, I am confused. We've noticed that in the past that some of the ratings on those things are all over the shop. No, I can't see the scorecard because it's um, an Icelandic league, league match and the league isn't turned on. That's why it causes weird stuff like that, unfortunately. Guernseyberry, thank you very much for the followers. Luter win again. Hammer in a three for three. Will they ever end? But Luter are certainly looking solid, if not perhaps the spectacular side we thought they might be. And we've got to play Hibernian as well. We've not actually had an easy start in terms of the fixtures. As it goes. Right, who's actually going to play this one? Who's around? Platt and Guerrero. Are you out of your mind? We'll put Platt in the next game if you want. Afivi, Cespedes, Uilaki, Yatshik and Khalifa and Sunday. Just to keep the movement, I suppose. Actually, if, if we're going to do rotation and movement, I'll bring in Alassas for this game. 
even if he's extremely unhappy. Yes, the Wolves keeper, where Wolves conceded like 100 goals and they just stayed up every year. Well, we've got the... I guess we could play Vidazinia. I do want to keep playing him, I suppose, but... Actually, yeah, we kind of do need a fairly strong side here. What, in fact, what am I thinking? We'll rest the squad for the next game. Makes no sense. We could play Julius Sunday as well. Yeah, we're going to result uh, pretty much everything we can, unless... Other than Europe, obviously. Unless we start to struggle a little bit. Then I also realised Rodriguez was in goal for some reason. Why did he treat that like a rotation match when it's Hibernian? Watch this come back to bite us. Nope. Although, bloody hell, Eric Pafong is a bit goaded, isn't he? Uh, but Guerrero's hat-trick saved the day. That was a bit tighter. It shouldn't have been. We were way better than them. But we have won three out of three, at least. Eight plus eight goal difference. Like the joined the players. It just basically means that they've played together a lot and you've won matches. Still got a lot of injuries. Oh, not to my knowledge. We haven't, I don't think I've had any so far. But admittedly, three-game sample size. Pinch of salt, obviously. But strong start from us there. Puffong already has eight league goals. He's played three matches for Hibernian. <laughs> a strong start, you might say, from the man there. Yeah, he literally only needs one more goal to have his best ever top flight. Oh, he played for Luta. Nice. He's not even that good, is he? He's just solid. Yeah, I suppose it was late goals. When you see the result like that, you kind of get scared, but it's not bad. Yeah, Lua were the ones that actually brought him to the nation, which is dope. See, they're all, they've got our backs. Oh, uh, now nah, all the good players there are 20 or over and would almost certainly never sign for us. Shallow with three assists. Again, Shallow is the assist machine. He must be getting close to double-digit assists already this year. He's got... He has 10 assists and seven goals already in 14 matches. Kamga has also got seven goals and three assists. He's insane. Guerrero's with 12 goals on the board too. Shallow does need to get his goal scoring up a little bit though. Like he's assisting great, but he does need to score a few more, as we've seen. Uh, now then, what's Guerrero on? And what's his contract situation like? He's got three years left. What the fuck? Look at the value. I really don't want to give him a new contract right now. We'll just ask him to sack his agent. He's got three years on his deal. Oh. Well, we don't seem like all goes. It's just that once we start getting a bit more traction in Europe and stuff and can actually start to get the league going a little bit more, it make, there we go. It makes sense for us to get through the save a little bit more because otherwise we're just playing league games that we're probably going to win very easily every single time. We're 42 league games unbeaten. Any tips on simulating? Uh, I'm not sure really what tips I can give you other than just push the button, right? Really stupid. Yeah. Um. The values are all over the place. Bear in mind, if I, even if I tried to sell him right now, no one would actually pay that amount of money. It's just the way that the values are. Remember as well, once we hit 2031, get used to seeing players being worth 200k again. Match plans. Oh, I never use match plans. No. I would love to get more involved and actually look at match plans a bit more, but I don't know if match plans even work for instant result games, do they? I know it says they do. I'd love to do some experiments with that exact thing and figure that out because it would be quite... It feels like a part of the game that I've kind of just ignored forever and I would like to do a bit more... Inf get more information on it, right? Need to have a play against... Instead of Sim. Um... The plan coming into this year was actually we were going to see him against bottom half. But then I figured to myself, you know what? If we can beat the top half teams, we may as well just do both. We're still going to play Hamrun. Like, and maybe even Looter. Those games we probably will have to still watch just in case. Uh, you'll, you scout sub teams to hire talent, right? Uh, sub teams. Um, this is probably a language barrier thing. So, yes, I suppose. Uh, we scout other teams, yeah. Uh, any of these guys got the scout? Oh, wait, just him. That's fine. Have a look at the rest of them. You'll also note that some of those guys we scouted earlier have now fallen off after a second scout report, which is why we do it. It just leaves you with less players to actually have to bother about. Uh, still a few amount of guys in here, though. And also, I noticed a few... Like, this guy is Stjarn and actually has a thing to talk to us. Under-19 teams. Yes, under-19 teams, yeah. Sorry, yeah, that's what I was trying to, trying to work out. Uh, I might just honestly... Wait, he would... Oh, no, that's the goalkeeper. Where was that guy that would... It's another goalkeeper. It, was, it wasn't a keeper, was it? It was someone else that would talk to us. These, I think, are our players from their squads. Playing time off of them. Um... Well, so this is the thing. We're no longer... Our players don't have fringe contracts out on loan now because we figured out a way to get them proper contracts on loan. So there's a method that you can actually get what you want with the loan 
thingy. When a club comes in for the loan and they say fringe player, there is a method to get them either regular starter or important player. On the note, it's it's a, one of my favorite things that Slugs found this year. He's very cheap, this guy, actually. But he's another goalkeeper and it's like... He's also a, a 19 eccentricity goalkeeper. Yeah, not for me. Another DLP, anybody? 20, though. Yeah, I mean, Slugs, mate, seriously. That's like one of the best things that's been discovered this year for me. Is it fixed? Oh, really? Okay, but it's good that at least there's a way around it in saves that don't have it. How do you do that? So basically, what you do is hard to show you, like explain without showing you because we don't have a loan option. But basically, what will happen is they'll come in, they'll say fringe player. What you do is you change it to important player, suggest, they'll say no. So that's one. So I tell then the you change it back to important player, suggest, they say no. That's two. On the third attempt, change it back to important player, suggest, they'll either say no again or they'll say regular starter. Then, and this is the key one, on the fourth attempt, Put it back to important player, but leave the money that they put in with regular starter because they'll they'll ask them, they'll give you money if they want regular starter. Then on the fourth attempt, say important player. If they said nothing on the previous one and it was still a fringe player, they'll accept important player. If they ask for regular starter, they'll come back with regular starter again and they'll offer you more money. At that point, accept it because they won't go any more in the negotiations. And you'll either you'll always be able to get one of those two things basically. Vulcan Dynamo, thank you very much for the follow. That's a cool name. Yeah, it's I don't really want those goalkeepers. Uh, Mate Malas. Attack of table. Ooh. Just another DLP. Uh, pretty much, yeah. He's a deep-lying forward. Uh, 19. It's another DLP, any? It? It's cost 400 grand. Like, I'm not seeing anything on these guys that makes me go, ooh, you know? Plus, we've already kind of established that these players probably won't talk to me anyway. Oh, no! That's not what I'm about to do. I've done it again. Control your hands, Matto. Christ. Yeah. I think contracts when they start asking for huge wage increases. Um, Frankly, a lot of the time you're just kind of stuck. But the best thing you can do is make sure that you're... If you don't want to break your wage budget is to avoid things like the high wages. You can sometimes make deal of things like higher signing on fees, higher loyalty bonuses, higher agent fees, as well as things like bonuses and clauses like international cap clauses, stuff like that, relegation release clauses if you're a top side. It, all of those things combined will slowly bring the wage down, but there is a limit to how far you can take it. Sometimes they will just take the piss, right? Stone... It's really stone cold. That's, that's, that's a war crime. I'm telling you. Don't fist my... Apparently it is, yes, according to the Metro, anyway. The key thing is, you don't want to start... If you've got a club... So just take us, for example, right now. Our highest paid player is on 3.3k a week. We can offer up to 5 to 6k if we want to. We just don't. If I now was to bring in a player and somehow gave them £8,000 a week, that would break our wage structure because when players came around for contract renewals, they would use his money as a way of improving their own. Whereas if I sign a new guy and get him on like three to £3,500 a week... You want to slowly bring your wage budget up together across the board rather than getting one guy that's so far out into the future. Because if you get that one guy, everyone else is going to want that contract or at least somewhere that meets you halfway. And you sometimes cannot afford to do that from a wage budget standpoint, really. Uh, Halla Helgeson. Reminds me of Heider Helgeson. What a guy he was. It only cost 20 grand. Significant presence in Malta. We prefer to play for a club that's more recognized in European level. Okay, so we're getting there. I like that this does feel like there's more context in these, at least. At least, I think we might actually have more um, success once it comes to African clubs. He's so expensive. A lot of potential. He's good, but he's not 700 grand good, is he? Like, he's nowhere near as good as Ronnie or Guerrero. And for me, it's cool that he's Costa Rican, but I just don't trust that there's the development there. It's a good song. Whoever requested this, shout out to you, my friend. He's not worth seven. Ten. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and as an advanced forward in our system, you want to be able to pass the ball. I mean, look what Shallow can do, given that he can do that. He would just be too expensive, wouldn't he? And also, we're not going to be able to sign a guy from Victoria Pills, are we? Uh, Alish Blazek. 1.6 million. Yeah. And wow, she possesses derated despite being yeah i can kind of see why honestly what about the other guy fickle personality very aggressive it's that low heading and also very expensive and just not that great we'll get there though 
But this is why I wanted to start this now. So now, we'll, over the course of this year, we'll be able to figure out kind of, wow, top of the table clash in that round. We'll be able to figure out what kind of nations. Oh, nice. So both of the wingers that were complaining. Oh, that was for a different reason, admittedly. But that's why we did that as well. So now he's actually happy again. Which is glorious. What's that? Sub got met, but there wasn't a sub. Twitch, you okay? Twitch is just like, yeah, you met the sub girl. Just, just thought I'd let you know. Thought you'd like to know. What the hell was that about? Unless it's a really, really, really delayed prime. Sometimes they, those do actually happen. Where a prime will come through, but it's just takes like two hours for it to actually show up. Yeah, Twitch has been a bit twitchy lately. The big 582, you know me. I value the, I value the little numbers differently. There it is. That might be it. Maybe that was it. Ragnar Ragnarok, thank you very much for the five months. And would you believe it was a prime? So maybe it literally was that. Right. Ardor should be a, a very easy opponent to play against. So I think letting that squad be the lineup is actually fine by me. If not, a few 600. Exactly. To make money. Oh, in that case, I don't know then. Strange. Oh, 583. That's the big one. It's what we dream about. There we go. That's another one. Matt Cox with the prime now. Who else has got a prime? <laughs> Thank you very much. That's really, really kind. Here we go. San Marino Ooh. saved the gun going to try get tips of you. Feel free. Ask ask away. I'm always happy to help if I can. Upside by me left up. Bro, we're playing against the third tier side on the cup. Do you need to... I mean, I appreciate it, but like, come on. Yeah, so the reason that the numbers are different is because the Twitch sub one counts um, tier one, tier two and tier three subs for more points. And it means that the number gets slightly inflated on that side of things compared to the one under my name, which only counts the number of active subs. Did Cespedes miss a penalty in this game as well? Yes, he did. But he did also score twice, so I can hardly complain. Cool. Any random Gosseton victories in there? I mean, yeah, I mean, to be fair, Ronnie could have... And frankly, were we watching the game, I probably would have put someone like Ronnie in there just to see him fill his boots. But I'm trying to be a bit better at squad rotation this year, given that we do have European football. Uh, in fact, we've got to play against Stad Ream next week. Oh yeah, both of the new scouts, the new scout and the new uh, coach that I brought in, I had to give them an insane bonus just to get their wages low enough that they would actually join us. So they get like twenty grand for us beating a third tier side in the cup. <laughs> so I hope they appreciate that. Ramos is back in action. Balkani, no one there, unfortunately. But that's a scout report. Nice. How are we done in Europe? We got one point where we should have four, and it's annoying because we've actually not been that bad in Europe this season. I'd say it's... We, we've we given everybody a game so far and we should have won the last game. The rep roll. Yeah, we actually weren't talking about us specifically in that. Um, we were talking about how you notice it in certain areas. Oh, RFS. Ah, uh, park benchy boys. Still got nothing for us. Launch reports on that. They're still unhappy about that. It always says quickness training. No matter what it is, they're either happy that there's not enough quickness training or there's too much quickness training. It's like there's never the right amount. Where is the Goldilocks zone for quickness training, I beg of you? Uh, so Lua are playing Tarsheen. Hammer and away at Balsan. They'll probably win again, won't they? Wow, well, Sleemer have also gone three for three. Right, so first team squad back in again because we kind of have to. Because they've had a rest in the last game, so at least we can bring them back in a little bit here. Although, I definitely want a better defense for this game. It's absolutely unhinged that they'd consider playing those two instead. And a bit of Xenia will come back in. Good to see Julius Sunday getting a bit more football, at least. But, oh, Dix the Linja, isn't he? Oh, shit, yeah. In that case, I might start Jonas Ehrlich at left-back here so we can use... No, we can't use Julius Sunday in Europe, can we? So I'll start Sunday here and then bring Ehrlich in for the European game. Which, because we're going to get clarted anyway. Right, 4-4-2 versus a 4-4-2. Intriguing. Assistant for trading. Is there anything useful? Uh, Well, I mean, he's only going to tell me what I already know, isn't he? Because, like... Well, hang on, when you say that, what do you mean? Like, So if I look at... Improved as a footballer, benefit as a footballer, should be put on individual training to improve his endurance. Which is fine, but I'd much rather him work on the things I'm telling him to work on, because, yeah. So he's either going to suggest the things I'm already doing, or he's going to suggest things that are wildly... The pros and cons. Must improve stamina. Yeah, I mean, that's fine and all, but, like... His stamina's 11. It's not that bad. I I'm fine with the way I'm currently doing it. The players are improving. That's what I care about, right? Okay. Instant result. Let's see if we can go 4 for 4 
See if Kamga can get back on the ball again. Oh. I just... We've looked... The, the XG in those matches has looked good. It looks like we're creating stuff. But I feel like we're due... Oh, another 3-0 win. Guerrero and Shallow again. 5.94 XG in that game. Cespedes has hurt himself again. Lua win again. Okay. Interesting. We're creating shitloads. Like, Ronnie's got 18 goal contributions, and so does Guerrero so far. Well, then Europe's the next game. But the thing is, we can't afford to rest too much. Bear on, I'm happy playing back to back matches, provided they've not done too. Oh my god, it's another injury. Is he injury prone? It's actually not, which is very annoying. That's the second one of those now. Lucic was on form, but yet didn't score or assist in that one. Like training rest. Ah, uh, I'd rather keep. The to be fair, when we're doing two matches a week, the training's actually fairly light. So I'm not too concerned, as it's literally. Us, Hamroon, and Sleema, and Luto have also gone three out of four. So they're definitely going to be a prospect this year. And I think they will end up as a top four side. We kind of do need to win every game at this point. I mean, in Europe, actually, we don't need to win as much. It's weird. There's actually weirdly less pressure on the European matches. We can kind of just put out whatever screw. But we're not going to win against Rom. But it probably was lots of key passes or winning headers from corners. Like, RXG this season... Yeah, we're actually at negative one on that, despite the sheer amount of goals we've scored just because we're creating so many chances. John's also got seven goals now. Cespedes has got four assists. That injury is kind of annoying. But oh, hang on. We've lost both Cespedes and Jar Jar now. So we're down to Sousa Santos and the Assassin. Uh, so basically, there's a glitch in FM that's just in all saves that basically aren't in massive leagues that your player values will just absolutely plummet around 2031. Because fuck anyone that doesn't play as Manchester City, I guess. It's very, very annoying. So we're expecting that. So if your players are worth £10 million in 2030, then expect them to be worth like 500 grand in 2021, 2031. For how long? Um, I don't know the ins and outs of it. It does slowly work its way back up again, but it takes a while. Unfortunately. And sometimes, like I said, yeah, sometimes it doesn't ever come back up again. It's absolutely outrageous that that's still in the game. So expect problems there. So make sure you've got some long-term contracts before you come into that point is what I will say. Uh, Vision has to more pleasing progress. God damn. Burned is having a lovely time lately in training, which is pleasing, as is Afifi. Yeah, actually, Afifi, star rating aside, he is an excellent footballer. He's actually not got a goal or an assist this season, which is insane. Still so high. No, no, they won't because the values will be low. So the clubs will bid shit all for them, basically. So if the player was worth... 10 million pounds in 2030 the clubs will bid on that based on what they're worth so no they will suddenly be worth exactly that how long has this been a thing it was definitely in the game last year that much i do know um and i also noticed you remember with mtk and also with treaty where one summer all of our players suddenly had proper values again then a couple of years later they just dropped again and then they never recovered it's super strange and there's just nothing you can do as a player about it very annoying and now john guerrero is out for five weeks okay uh, it's devastated. Managers to blame. I mean, he's not wrong, but you know. In fact, not even you know, he's just not wrong. But he's going to be leaving at the end of the season anyway, so it's okay. That will save us two grand a week on wages too, which is always nice. Uh, get a lot of these guys around again. See if there's anything interesting in those. Uh, you guys have all fallen off the bottom of the list, which is disappointing. Still high rated, but weirdly, those are the ones that would actually talk to us. Smaller bugs. Yeah, it's, well, it's, like I say, it's because it doesn't affect you playing as Manchester City. Um, Like, we, we just use that as a joke, really, to say that basically, if it doesn't affect a casual player and stuff like that, often they're not as asked about it, it seems. Even when it's something that I feel like it will affect a lot of the player base. He's a good player. But I suspect, again, we're not quite at the stage of being able to sign these kind of guys just yet. But that's fine. And by the time we are, they're going to be too old for us to really make much use of it. Just boys. Um, so, it will affect the league you're managing in, Jay, basically. So, if you're buying players from other clubs in your league, then you'll be fine. But if you're trying to buy from abroad, then you'll still be paying premium. <laughs> basically, it's so very strange. Uh, yeah, he's just too expensive for what he is, which is not that much.
But at least we know that it's not something that's specific to the Malta database or anything like that. It's something that is present in virtually any... Se- I don't know where the cutoff point is. It. I think it's in, like, smaller non-licensed leagues especially, but also even in smaller licensed leagues. What are we expected here? Yeah, that, wow, 20%. No chance. If you're not managing in them. Uh, I don't know, honestly. Don't understand for one point. Well, okay, you say it makes sense, but to me, it doesn't make sense because... If the player is valued at £10 million, then that presumably means that the game should be taking into account the fact that he's playing in Malta in that valuation in the first place, right? So unless Malta's reached a level where the players could be realistically worth £20 million or whatever, then it makes no sense. So if the player has a value of £10 million, then the game should be valuing that correctly in the first place, is my point. Yeah, basically outside of top five and branded ones. Crashes in 2031, even if you hit number one of the coefficient. Really? Wow. That's hilarious. Um, so just to sort of sum up my thoughts there. If you have a player in Malta that's worth £8 million, you'd want that to be because the game is valued in that and has decided that Malta's players in that state with that PA and CA range are worth that amount of money. Oh, go, it'll be fine. Both values are wrong to say. No, 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 I'm not saying that at all. I'm saying that the initial value needs to be correct and should be correct, and in theory is correct, because that's the whole reason it's been scaled the way that it has, right? And if the game is decided, then that's the value, right? But then when it massively undervalues those players, it just basically screws your save, is what I mean. I have no funny thing to say. Well, that's useless, Wittercast, but thank you so much for the 24 months. It's very kind. I don't think the first one's wrong at all. I just think that it, for some reason it doesn't... It changes. Like, if you're getting your league up to a point where you're growing it and the reputation's boosted and everything's better, then you're going to expect the players to be worth more money, you know? I suspect you're right, Dark Ice, yeah. Something like that, anyway. Uh, right. Are we actually onto a game again? Finally! There we go. Europa League. Judgment Day. Skendium? Ah, not quite, not quite. Nearly, though. Fitness tests. At least Victor's back. Oh, and Dick's back, too. Wow, didn't miss a single European game. It's always good. Although, that whole left side is going to... Okay. Alassas is in. Dick is not going to play this game because he's just... I mean, he needs someone like Ehrlich today anyway. That oh, that defence... What the hell is going on here? What are you doing? Like, I realise they play midweek, but they are not tired in any way. They are excellent. They're below average on and low on fatigue. Why is my assistant trying to put these guys in? Bro needs to get, get a grip. Afifi and Kamga, Lucic is in. Kassar on the bench. There's one I'm missing here that potentially needs to be in there. I might put Carponti on instead of Kental because we've got... Actually, we don't really have options on the left side. But then would I bring him on anyway? The accountant, yes, very important. Yeah, I'm sure you can slip not in, but I am not messing about with cheat engines. I've had way too many things crash when pissing about with stuff like that and then causing actual corruption in the save files and stuff it's there's a, like um, fmrti i realize does some of that sort of stuff but i feel like with cheat engines it takes you to another level with the way where you're e editing the memory addresses and stuff and i'm i i would certainly never use that on my save that i actually want to do long term especially with content just because i can't take that kind of risk on it uh right let's this is a game we're watching isn't it let's go replacement worked out so far oh uh, well the dick replacement hasn't signed for us yet so no <laughs> he hasn't actually joined the club but I feel like he will, particularly if we move ta if we move tactics, which we're thinking of doing. I think he'd be more effective as a wing back. I thought I'd frozen then. Wow, what the fuck, FM was that? It was an enormous frame rate dump there. Oh, good. Hopefully, I can turn them back around. No, okay, they're confused. Why would confused be an answer to that? Anti fuck every merges. Yeah, indeed. Right, what have we got up for ground? No regens in there, team. Really. Oh, we'll still, still there. Yeah, it was a random trip to the stuttery, which now seems to have completely evaporated and is fine again. Really odd there. But maybe something in the background. The song name? Uh, well, this is the Europa League theme tune, my friend. Unless you mean like the, the song that's playing. If you just do exclamation mark song in chat, you'll get whatever song's playing at that this moment. This is a fanboy stream notification. Ah. There are no bugs. There are only features. It's true. There are no bugs. There are only features. SI might acknowledge these features as unintended and attempt to change them. SI might acknowledge these features as bugs that need fixing. I can hear this coming this out like a incorrect. megaphone across the street. There are no bugs. There Please are remain only in your features. Home. Minimize travel. Me, chat. There are no bugs. 
There are only features. It's true. Millie speaks the truth. Thank you very much for the 100 bits, Millie. Uh, and off we go. There are no bugs. There are only features. Evil Nekniar's chat. As we nearly go behind it immediately. I'll see you later, Hadrian. There are no features. There are only bugs. Wouldn't it be hilarious if we suddenly came here and actually took something from this game now after all of that? Possession's a little on the low side, but again, that sort of worked against um, Feral Costanza. But R Rama are just a completely different kettle of fish. This feels like the kind of game where we'll get a random red card. That sort of feels like what this game is chefing up for us here. Because they're just a much better team than us. Come on, get a touch in. How has that ended up with their player? How has that ended up at the foot of their player? Right. Is Teddy Tumor there? Ah, uh, mm. Irritating. I thought we actually had that. Like, when this is knotted down, there's two of them there, and then another one there. How on earth did we not clear the lines there? Classic ring job, yeah. Right, 1-0. Uh, did he get the assist as well? Great. He'll be gloating in the group chat. Here we go. Shallow. It's a dreadful first touch. Uh, an absolutely unnecessarily bad first touch there. I think we're getting a bit fucked on the uh, touches today, it seems. Right. They're just a much better team. That's a good pass. He must be offside, though, surely. He's actually not. Wow. Is it like the... um? Was it all the Spaniards being called Oscar in that one guy's save? That's awarded, apparently. I, I assume one of our left... Maybe our left back dropped too deep? Because he looked miles offside to me. Oh, that was tight. That was tight. The left centre-back was definitely... Oh, was it Ivan? Yeah, you're right. It was Ivan, wasn't it? Fuck, I'm turning off workboard of the box. We're going to go a bit more gung-ho. What's the worst that could happen, eh? We are missing a couple of quite important players there, which is not helping. Uh, Lucic is also struggling massively. That Guerrero kind of impetus that he gives us is not... It's pretty good. We're still not bottom, though. That extra point could really help. I know it is active. I don't know. I can't speak for other people, really. Um, I guess people just... People's priorities are slightly different. Um... Like, okay, if I look at this from a completely uh, pragmatic viewpoint, right? There is more money on YouTube than there is on Twitch, I would say, especially in the football manager space, right? But I really enjoy doing Twitch, so I just have so much fun doing it that it's absolutely fine. So, like, yes, if I stopped streaming and spent those extra days making YouTube videos instead, I would make more money, but I... You know, I just, I want to enjoy my job as well as be successful on a financial scale, I suppose, right? Um, but again, this isn't saying that they don't enjoy the job or anything like that. It's more about like priorities of where you like. Maybe they just enjoy that way more. Some people don't enjoy streaming as much as they do making videos. You know, it's, yeah, exactly. Just some daily uploads. That, I couldn't do that. It's it's mad. But uh, everyone's priorities are different, right? Um but that, that's what it, I don't know what it actually comes down to. But you're right, there does seem to be less um, streamers this year, perhaps. I just, it's just good for my mental health. I really enjoy the stream side of things. And in the background, obviously, I'm still working on Premier League years. We've, we've got fucking, I think I've done 80 matches now of capture and also scripting. Uh, so the voiceover script at the moment is 23 pages long. So that's going to be a, a hell of a recording session. We're getting there slowly but surely. Maybe we want to change on YouTube. Yes, uh, something changed was I changed my YouTube content. Basically, I started, I stopped doing Let's Plays. Uh, I stopped doing Let's Plays and started making the kind of content I make now where I just kind of make whatever I want to make. And now it's the other way around, basically. Twitch hasn't got worse. It's just YouTube went from being nothing to now being way more than Twitch. We are not playing well here, are we? Oh, absolutely, we're to cast. But the, if they weren't, then there's no way that it would be able to be daily uploads, right? Um, his grind is absolutely mad. Um, bear in mind, it's not even like just because Jack does stuff on other channels too, does he not? Um, as well as like F1 content too. So it's it's insane. The, the, I, I respect the workload. It's ridiculous. Same for you. Oh, yeah, of course, he, but I wasn't saying that. Um, I was just commenting on the situation as is, you know? Um, I've always liked finding new streamers. That's why I like doing raids because we get to do exactly that as a group. Uh, oh, we are. I mean, Jack's the first YouTuber I watched with FM. 
Uh, back, I think it was Jack's Peterborough United save. And there was a player he signed in that save who I saw on like a random highlight for football the other day. And I went, oh, Christ. Wait, did he just Penenka that? I love that. A Penenka penalty happens and we're talking about something completely irrelevant. Well, not irrelevant. Something completely different. Just ignore it. <laughs> That's very us. I'm just gonna make a lot of changes here. This game is gone. Making up no, the streams, there's no income from the streams uploading at all. Uh the second channel isn't monetized. So no. Uh the, the VOD channel makes no money. Like literally no money, not like the equivalent of no money. Uh, I just don't have that channel monetized. That's why there's no ads on it. Uh well, there shouldn't be anyway. <laughs> but it's, it would be a small amount and like I said before I'd rather sort of make the experience for the viewer slightly better in that situation because if I don't need to I won't you know uh, this looks like it's going to be another penalty do you know what actually that looked like it might have been I was expecting a penalty there because I'm so used to seeing those be given as penalties but it was a good tackle ah, everybody does what they like right um I play the game the way I do, and other people do the things the way they want. That's a great ball through for Ronnie. Shallow and again. This man would be the best converter in rugby history. Every single shot he takes goes right between the posts, but right over the bar. Every single time. He's... Get him on the field. He could be a kicker for an NFL team with that kind of finishing. It's absolutely wild. Surprised we're only 2-0 down here, actually. We've not even been awful. Yeah, man's all over the field goals. His finishing has been very wayward lately in those particular areas weirdly just constantly over the bar specifically never wide always over the bar he seems to rush his shot a lot of the time <sighs> yeah i mean i feel like given that i've been doing this for so long i've sort of evolved as a content creator from one thing to the other right like plus as you grow do you want to do different things and i think for a while i'd been feeling like i wasn't doing stuff i felt was super creative on youtube and i know i was worried that the existing audience i had wouldn't take to anything i did that was slightly different and how wrong i was with that let's be, let's go there for a start like i was massively wrong about that um that's three nil ah. vods on, no the vods on youtube are not monetized like I just like i said um the, the whole channel isn't monetized so yeah Doing club saves. Um, I mean, to be fair, it wasn't just Jack I watched back then. It was Evolving Nick, What a Guy, um, Just Another Guy HD, Get Scout Report, obviously Golden FM, because Paul was still making content back then. Map sure does like. Oh, as if that's gone in. Wow. Yeah, if you see an ad on the VOD, it's more likely that because one of the songs in the VOD. Oh, there's no songs in the VOD. Oh no, sometimes they do still get claimed because of hyperdrive at the start. So sometimes you will see one on because of that. Because obviously that's you hear hyperdrive on the VOD and I don't have a license for the song on that channel. <laughs> yeah, Paul and Paul is just the loveliest guy. Everyone had HD. It's back when that was a YouTube thing. Do you remember when every YouTuber, particularly in like the FIFA space as well, had like 720p in their title or something like that? Retired? No, Ben's not retired, I don't think. He's just doing his own thing right uh we don't talk that often really um we should do really he's like i've known him longer than anyone else in the fm space <laughs> but, but it's just like i saw him in june but because it was so many people there and so busy we didn't really get a chance to catch up the way we normally would do <laughs> hello there <laughs> my scout will just find regardless and then you stretch hang on sorry I, I, what are we talking about have I just stepped into a different conversation? Uh, also, red card. Uh, so there's the red card. Uh, we can't do anything about it because we've got no one else. We've got all we've used all our substitutes. So I guess we're just going with that. We're four nil down anyway. Always with the same values. Uh, depends on what save you're doing and what like what league you're managing in, whose database you're using. In this save, yes, because we've specifically set the save up so that the values are dynamic and will move with time. But in a default save in a lower league, then no, because the game just doesn't like that. You've got two yellow cards in eight minutes, which is very annoying. I don't know if uh, well, we had Cespedes who's injured, and we have um, Jar Jar who's injured. Oh, yeah, you're right. We've got no left winger. Atrimal, oh, okay. Yeah, sorry. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I always play with Atrimal asking off because that's just how I enjoy the game, right? I like the challenge of the fog of war. As I've never been able to go back from calling it that ever since someone called it that. 
it's just how I enjoy it. I like that challenge. Sc but that's probably just because scouting is my favorite thing to do in FM. So I want it to be as difficult as possible to create more of a challenge for myself. Uh, yeah, we are getting absolute. We're going to lose. Oh, we can't lose every game at least. But it's it's not great. I have no idea who the hell is going to play left side for us in the next game though. Because all three of us. We have three. I registered three starting wingers for the left side. And <laughs> somehow all of them are out now. Look at attributes. Well, I mean, I do both, right? Um, I am manually looking at attributes, but based on the things that my scouts bring me. At least we've got... Oh, it's two days for Tarshin as well. Christ. At least you can play in that game, I suppose. Uh, oh, hello. Wait, he's an amateur. If you talk to us... Uh, 700... Okay, I'm going to scout him further. That's a lot of money for a random amateur player didn't think we'd get a crossover of these two scouting methods so I, I know bloody wingers just can't catch a break can you no idea to play yeah and i think we'd just be punished way too much luckily in the league game we'll just play alasas as for the european match we'll just see who's there oh 200 games in charge you'd love to see it uh vizhnevsky got this i feel like they've been adam lawrence has been saying this about vizhnevsky after like every single week which is good it's good to know. Oh, Hamrin versus Luta. Here we go. Can Luta take some points off the top team? Dick's back in training, at least. Ru it's time for Rule Player. I mean, Rule Player is in the squad, I think. Oh! Absolute fucking scenes. Hamrun 1, Luta 2. They've done it. They've won at Hamrun. Oh, that's massive for us as well. Because that gives us a chance to get a three-point lead after five matches. And it shows that Luta, are, they mean business. That's four wins out of five. And they've beaten the second best side in the league oh they've looted them a red card as well an own goal they scored they did it all what was the match like oh zoran Sturm's injured though that's not good oh shit it's one of our loanees as well i don't know i feel like luka could be that first team that really does something in europe the fact that they're already on that kind of level means that if we were to get them into europe next year they and hamrun could actually do something because if they're already capable of better, being better than hamrun who are improving that's good. Yeah, it's true. They do have a lot of central midfield cover. That's a good point. <laughs> I thought about that. We, I think this means that, well, currently, touch wood, this season might be a year where we can finally fuck around with tactics and build that back five loveliness that we've craved. Also, Sleema are losing too. Right. It's hammering in six days. That's actually not too bad. Five day gap there. It gets a bit tight in there, but that's all right. Okay. Platt and Ramos. No. I'll start Ramos, but... Alasas will have to play. Kasama's going to be in... I didn't say Afghanistan. I meant Kazakhstan soon. Uh, Dick... Okay, my assistant's obsession with playing two... We're playing Mabchur. And why is he not playing these two horror just simply better? Who wants Ronnie? Oh, good question. Altai. Oh, God. That's the sort of team that could actually put really re they're, they're the only sort of team in this save that could actually pay the amount of money that ronnie's worth uh cam is a bit knackered actually isn't he i'll put ronaldo hines in i'd like to think we've got enough to beat tarsheen but i'm not sure uh Vitazinho at least seems to does he have really good uh stamina yeah he's not that's why he was so able to recover so easily there is that oh is that the worst saudi team let's have a look Alta oh yeah, you might be right actually, yeah. Who have they got? Fucking nobody. <laughs> they have nobody I recognize anyway. Let's have a look at the contracts. Yeah, I think they're just like they're the one poor Saudi team. I mean they've got fifty five million in the bank or whatever, but compared to the others, they are not on my level. So I don't think they're gonna drop eight million pounds. I was expecting to see, like, you know, the sort of players we'd seen before at these teams here when we look at the others, for example. Right. Got to make sure I do that. Wow, their morale is absolutely awful. Hopefully, we can make it worse. And hopefully, we can actually play to our XG for once because in the league so far, we're still underperforming it. Whereas last year, we were plus 17, I think, on XG. And it's a home game too, I think. So we should be in a good spot. Oh, it's a away game and it's 5-0. Ronnie's found how to score goals again. 
Uh, 5-0 win. That's more like it. Okay, I think we can probably get away with instering basically every game except for Hamrun and Luta now, which is going to speed this season up tremendously. Still only a two-point gap, though, as Slima found an equaliser. And it was it was Talent Beck that got the goal, but Shallow's now got... He's already got double digits in goals back. and assists. Contracted simple. It's just two blocks That's insane here. that he's managed to do that already. So he's got 11 goals, 11 assists. Yeah, he's doing all right. And he got an assist in that game as well. Hmm. Maybe he only scores goals in the games where we're not watching because I keep taking the piss out of him putting it straight over the, t over the crossbar every time. Oh, that I'll stop you. They sometimes have players. Not on this occasion. Although that was their first team squad, I think. He's camera shy, yeah. As if that game wasn't televised. I don't think it was, actually. Oh, no, it was a Sunday game, wasn't it? So it was. Shallow shines again. Goob's not found. Thank you very much for the follow. Yeah. <laughs> he just does it in the match engine, it seems. Uh, so he's injured for a while. Vladislav shit. Scored his first single layer goal of the season. Good old Vladislav shit. He needs to get a new contract at some point. Ooh, Larn. So now, now we know we're onto the Northern Ireland section of the scouting. Yeah, that's true. For all we know, we had like a thousand shots and he still hit the other 997 over the bar. Papadopoulos' loan agreement. I will ask him. I'm not going to put a promise in there too. I'm worried that might auto-recall him. Gornick? Oh, oh, Darius. Well, he ain't colorblind. Low determination. That's irritating. Have we got full scouting on him already? Yep. A transfer interest, none. I expect that... Uh, no point, really. Is that, I mean, we'll scout him anyway, so he's in the system, but he has no interest in joining us. I wonder if... Oh, hang on a minute. I've got an idea. Does this column exist? Oh, wait. Agent fee. Wait. Does this not work unless you've talked to their agent? What I'm looking for... Maybe it'll be in here. So basically what I'm looking for is... I, that's... On that scouting screen, the... Well, I thought it might be under scouting. You're right, but like... Best position, tactical duty, minimal asking price, wage demands, player style... Doesn't appear to be in there. So I thought it might be in transfer. Actual playing time, agreed playing time, asking price, fee, last club... I was hoping that maybe there'd be something in there that allowed us to have that appear in here as an option so we could actually see their interest since it clearly knows that information otherwise it wouldn't have it on that screen. Sometimes I just say things just for me, Hickman, right? Uh, it doesn't appear that that's possible in the game which is frustrating because I believe this only shows if you actually ask their... If your rep is higher than the players... Oh, okay. Interesting thought. Certainly no harm to have that in there anyway. Mm. So I'm immediately suspicious of that logic then, because we have better world rep than any of these players. To be fair, I didn't actually try to approach him, so for all I know, he would actually talk to us. But we'll keep that in there anyway. Would wage demands show interest? No, so wage demands... Um, well, we could try. I think that would just be blank. Uh, Wait, that's scouting, isn't it? NA. Oh, interesting. Hmm, okay. Interesting. I mean, it's worth having these columns in this screen anyway, because there's no downside to it. We'll try this when we get when we get a report on someone that actually has an agent. So it's a little bit easier for us to see whether the where the way the information is represented. Get rid of Wow. Lots of guys that... Well, it's not a lot of uh, fully scattered players yet. Okay, anyone interesting in here? What the fuck? Hello. That was not a combination I was expecting today. Meet Argentine, Georgian Argentinian Raul Bucachava, who plays for Sol de Mayo in Argentina. Why am I... Why do I know about him? Was he a recruitment-focused player? Either way... That's an interesting combination. Where was he born? Born in Vidma, but can speak fluent Georgian and Aziri. Well, not fluent, but like... 
I discarded the guy from Iceland. Shit. Oh well. This guy's kind of fun. Oh, he's in there as well, but we already got him scouted more. I mean, he's not very good. He actually can't cross the ball to save his life, but it's just an interesting combination. Uh, your Blonitz player here. Oh, wow. He is more of a striker, but he's got really bad anticipation. Only 16, I suppose. Which means he's never going to talk to us, is he? Right, so there's Hammer Room next. George Argentino. <laughs> no! Wait, hang on. That means he's going to become a staff member, though, right? He has staff attributes. They are absolutely woeful. Hopefully the board will actually let him go on a coaching course this time. Right, here we go. So minimum wage demands are NA on all those guys. But that might just be because of lack of knowledge. It's a shame you can't display the scouting knowledge in this screen as well. Or can you? <laughs> now I'm curious. Current focus. Best position. Nah. Oh, from a staff contract. I could do, actually, yeah. Or is it in general by any... Is it recommendation? I think there's a special view that you have to use to get access to that. Because FM's weird like that. Hire us to make players become coaches. Um, So there's something set on the individual players themselves, I believe, that actually control stuff like that. Which is where the problem lies. Have some knowledge next to... Oh, yeah! You're right. For some reason, I don't know why I didn't... So that shows it. Actually, yeah. So that's why these guys have got nothing there. But this is extensive, but the minimum wage demands are blank. So the reason those are NA is not because they won't join us, it's because we don't know, which is annoying. Which means I'm not going to scout these guys because we already have knowledge of them. Although, actually, no, I think I will because otherwise they won't show up in the scout box. I don't really see as much chance of getting any of these players, but it's always worth to have a look. A couple of years, this will be an absolute gold mine for us. That's a hell of a youth intake they've got there. Want to join? It's hard to say because when we look at it from the main screen on the transfer inbox, sometimes it will show their wage. Oh, sorry. Sometimes it won't show their wage and then they will still want to join, which is annoying. It's funny who joined us. Yes. Yeah, exactly. The great having more qualified coaches at the club will be beneficial to the club. They will find a coaching course from Drea Kassar. Scenes. That's what we needed. Our boy is getting it. Now I should be able to offer him a contract for a staff role. There we go. Uh, what is he? He's just a straight-up coach, isn't he? And not a good one at that. But that's fine. We'll just make him a coach. I'll make him an under-19s coach for the moment so we can train and train with the younger players and get them trained up. Wow, hello, Decius. He's intriguing. That might be doable. Probably not still. We're just not on that level, right? The 30 plus. Like, yeah, I mean, at least he's got that. And he's on his coaching course. Because he's... Yeah, they only get him a national B license. So there's still plenty of improvement to have. But soon wants to go to Saudi. What, 425 grand? That's an insane amount. Surely that would make him by, by far the highest paid player at Tottenham. Actually, I don't know what Spurs' wage structure's like. But that seems excessively high. Uh, wow, we got 18,000 for the Travson Sport game. Botashani. Wow! He might be 20 years old, but he's a centre back that has no technical ability. But he's got great medals, great physicals. He's just got nothing technically. Or not nothing technically, but he's very lacking in the technicals. Try that. Couldn't teach him none how to play. Uh, play? Pray. Right, Sirens. Obviously. Hamroon. No, not but think of it, you make decent money out of that. Just sell him to Saudi. You'll get, well, you probably get a reasonably high fee. I would have thought. Get those guys as well. Damn, he's 15 and already has that sort of level of potential. I do like how slowly we just started adding more and more stuff to this view, but you can never have enough stuff on the view. Uh, Luto win again. Slima lose, which means it's, it is a, Jesus Christ. They are very good, aren't they? Right. Okay. It's still going to have to be Victor, isn't it? Because our boy is not back yet. I like that Khalifa's getting a bit more football, but I can't afford to put him in against Hamroon. 
Actually, tell you what, he's not bad, is he? I still think Jorgensen's better, though. Wait, hang on. Is that just because of the game in Europe? Oh. I meant to click on Vitazinia. It's weird that they've got a poor link there. Considering it was literally the opposite before. I mean, who, who knows? Oh, so 600k a week. That is insane. Yeah, Rodriguez... Does he really? Oh my god, he does. <laughs> that would explain... Yeah, because he was in goal for that game against Birkikara because my assistant accidentally... I say accidentally. My assistant rotated him without my permission. As if I couldn't have just fixed it, but I didn't realise at the time. Yes, that's a big one. Yes, I am. Uh, Sonic Surfer. Yeah, the, uh, the Nugan thing. I nearly instant resolved that game. That would have gone poorly for us. Right, here we go. First actual league game of the day. Messi meant to be good. Nah, rubbish. Not Sunday when there's one. Um, because I wasn't paying attention when we were selecting it. Truthfully. Actually, I don't know if he is in the Europa League squad. I think he might just be able to play because he's under 21. I suspect that's more likely what it is. I don't think I actually put him in the squad. I just think that he can play in Europe because he's got the under 21 designation. So he's always going to appear as if he is in the squad. I've generated faces on each youth intake time. Uh, well, yeah, you, you have to generate the faces. Well, you can do it whenever you like. Uh, I don't tend to do it every year. But in fact, we've actually only run it once in this save. Hence why you're now going to start to see some like regen faces creeping back in again. But I'll sort it. I sort it every couple of years. You can't download it. Really? I managed to download it just fine. I actually updated it because there was like a high res version for this year. Or whenever it was released. Um, and that wasn't an issue. I'm trying to think where I downloaded it from. I think it was just a straight up media file, wasn't it? Uh, what is this? Oh, okay. Right. Be weird if we just went and randomly lost to Hamroon now after all this. Blimp. And wow, that probably should have been 1-0, honestly. Now we got a chance for a breakaway, at least they would lose it. It's a dreadful first touch. But last year we beat them comfortably in both the home and away games, at least. So we should be much, much better than them. Oh, that's poor as well. 61 million is, yeah, it's a decent amount. Plus you get his current wages off the bill, which I imagine are nowhere near the uh, 400k. Oh god. Well, that's unfortunate. Mo May makes it 1-0 to Hamroon. Please don't give us another title race. We actually have to try to, like, get our heads down a little bit this season. Hamroon, stop it. Stop being competent at football. How did that ball end up even end? Did that deflect off of our... It did. The ball deflected off of our defender. <sighs> standard we've started really poorly in this game as well which is not helpful and now all of a sudden we'd all be tied on 15 points again except now that all we've done this year is to somehow invent a, a third title contender that we're going to have to contend with this season <laughs> but we are still better than we were last year just with the additions especially of Vidazinia, Jorgensen and obviously the man himself Kamga who I must admit in the league hasn't sort of flattered to deceive a little bit. Maybe he only gets up for the big occasions. That's a pass. Speaking of, Shallow over the bar. Oh, wow, he actually can score. Ronnie Shallow's 12th goal of the season. Kamga with a nice little assist and we're back level again. Nice. Oh, that's right. Yeah, you're right. It was GitHub that I downloaded it from. Not... Actually, no, I think I still downloaded it from Mediafire because I think it just linked off of GitHub to Mediafire for the actual face pack download. But the, the actual file itself was there, yeah. Yeah, we still have the link in chat from the... Um, the FM base one originally. I haven't updated that since the Zgen thing became a thing. Okay, that's better. Barker. Yeah, has that situation, because I know that Brighton have been like heavily linked with him. Has that actually gone through or is it just still rumours? Because I saw a lot of links between them a couple of days ago. I say, It was like a week ago by now, actually. Being heavily linked with Valentin Barco. It would be a very Brighton signing. Oh, Christ. Please, not another goal. Oh, what a save, Bernd Vizhnevsky. Confirmed it himself. Oh, that's really interesting. Yeah, I, I saw it. Here we go. So I just assumed, right? Billy, thank you for the 100 bits. Matt, come on, other Maltese teams. We need you doing well so we can get our coefficient up. Maltese teams, challenge Sirens for the league title by playing really well. Matt, no, not like that. Exactly. I'm a hypocrite. Naturally. Hmm. Uh, that was an average as fuck first half from us there. We should really be doing better than that. Kamka does not seem to like my team talks. I think he's just got to get used to be shouting. Right. 
Okay. A one I mean, a draw wouldn't be the end of the world because it doesn't actually cost us ground against Hamru, which is the main thing. I think over the course of the season, we'll eventually just get it. But, but this is the home game after all. Oh, look at the space for, for Lucic. He's got to find him. I think he's offside, or at least... What on earth was that? We do love a good squandering of a chance like that. Aren't you glad we watched this game, chat? Tell me you're glad we watched this game. Hammer and engaged in a bit of max fixing. Andrea Kassar would never. I need a rest after that. I, I need to sit down, which is ironically the exact thing I was already doing. I, I just, I can't believe that's just happened. <laughs> that might be the worst stone goal I've seen in ages. <laughs> that's just straight up match fixing. It's not even a... <laughs> I'll push the button myself, chat. What the f*** was that? Good point. That is how you'd go about getting a 4.9 as a keeper. So if you missed what just happened, uh, if you're listening right now and you have access to a screen, I, I would advise you to... um Look, basically, because you're going to see a highlight of one of the worst I've got. He's gone through the net! Bro's a magician. So, yeah, I almost <laughs> want to sit in a different chair. So the keeper picks the ball up after our player overruns it, throws it out to his player, who just passes it into the goal. <laughs> Obviously, definitely not match fixing in any way. Superb. Yeah, I do like our guys celebrating. It's. I mean, yeah. Uh, let me clip that as well. Oh, that, that's going on TikTok. Good Lord. How's his passing? I mean, it, unless it's minus a thousand. He's actually got reasonable passing too. Decisions. 14. Doubt. Could happen to, happen to the best of us. I feel for the goalkeeper, yeah. It's like, what's the keeper supposed to do? Oh... I mean, we got a little bit of spare money. Might as well pay off the boys. He really is not fit to be playing at this level, no. Right, we'll get Rodriguez in for a little bit. Ramos has struggled, but the only other option is, I guess, Sanchez. And Afifi does seem to get tired faster than other players in the squad. I wonder if he just has slightly lower, um, like, stamina and natural fitness. Oh... Yeah, uh, Lou are, are newly promoted, yes. But they also have seven players on loan from us and were ranked as the number two favourite for the league as a result of taking all those loans from us. <laughs> so they've become a newly promoted side that I'm very much expecting to play in Europe next season and actually be decent at it as well. We've basically created a second hammer in. Oh, Rodriguez, come on. Oh, it's a great finish from our... Oh, that's nice. Omar Aga Esgabe Sanchez makes it 3-1. At least we've scored a proper goal. Oh, lovely. That's Now it's officially 2-1. We can count that now. It's like whenever I'm playing Rocket League with my mate. If if it's an own goal, we're just like, ah, we don't count them. We've got to get a proper one. Oh, nice. That is very... It, that might be the most build -a nation thing that's happened in this save so far is Luta getting promoted and taking seven players on loan from us and immediately being a title challenger. Uh, yeah, the fact they've kept him on the pitch is absolutely unhinged. Kamga's just... Wow, weird that we had everyone back there. He's had a good game again, though. Keepers go and walk about. Like, bro, have you not learned anything here? Bear in mind as well, not that that was the goalkeeper's fault, of course. This is the goalkeeper that had back-to-back -back Man of the Match awards in um, to get Hammer to where he got them to. He was unbelievable. There's nothing he could do about that goal. It's all... I thought they were going to combine for some more shenanigans there as well. They were all over the place at the back. Kampuare. Pierce, that must be offside, surely. Momay's through, and he scored, and he's offside. Come on. Yeah, I was going to say, if I didn't constantly own goal and had terrible mechanics, I would definitely be SSL by now. Whew. Well, it surely was a mistake on the player, right? Hang on. Yeah. Udom's on a six, which means he definitely got a mistake leading to goal for that. Can't go through to spend their money, man. Yeah, they... These transfers can often be a massive issue 
uh, with the other teams. One of the things we did in this save was it can often be down to things like transfer preferences and that there's only a select number of leagues they'll want to sign players from. And if those players don't exist or aren't good, they just won't sign anybody. It's very annoying. What's a strike from Roko Piercer? This is not an easy game. Yeah, he's the keeper that kept clean sheets at home and away against Sturm's Gazette. I think it was home and away, wasn't it? Did they take him off? Nah, he's still there. To be fair, they've actually played bloody well against us today and are probably value for more than a draw. Uh, sorry, more than a, a defeat, but we get it. And that goal was the difference. Ekaret Udon, sir, I thank you. You might have just allowed us to build a nice fun tactic later in uh, the season. Oh, that's a moment. I'm glad we were hit. That's, I think that might be the worst own goal I've seen. Not even... I don't think we had one as bad as that last year. Uh, Luto won 3-0. Though we, oh, they didn't know about that, did we? Yeah, so they're on to 15 points now, but we now do have a three point gap and hammer him down to fourth in the league. That goal difference being as high as it is, as well, is really helping us too. We're just sticking to our marks. Um, with, and we didn't underperform in that game for once, we actually overperformed, which is about time. 20 wins in a row in the league as well. Oh dear, Chief oh, Theo, oh, sorry, right. Chief Chef Theo, Mank shirts, and Caprice Boy. Thank you very much for the follows. So a trio of follows immediately there. It's just, just need to score some more own goals. Well, not us, but someone. Right, cool. So yeah, Goodger, bear in mind, Goodyear also took a couple of loanies from us. And you'll see that they're actually predicted to be top half as well. That's the power of the uh, the sirens. Take a couple of loans and you'll be absolutely sweet. I wonder who how the second tier is going. Figures. Although, saying layer, they could maybe be the next lot. Oh, hello, mate. How's it going? How's it already? Uh, so we basically, we've lost two of our European matches. Drew another one that we should have won because we were 2-0 up. We should have got a draw in the first one. And we just had scored against us in is in for us technically the best own goal i've seen in genuinely mo over a year i believe you caused it caprizi boy if you could like unfollow and then refollow in the next game so that we can score that exact same goal against trabs and small that would be sensational uh so nash i'll lose floriana are bottom of the league they're a weird one like in terms of their progress uh, look at this <laughs> They have a year off and a year on. It's like they're doing farming. They've got a, they have a fallow year followed by the year where they actually like grow crops. <laughs> what is this? They win the league, come twelfth. Wait, what? yeah. Oh, that was because of COVID, probably. Um, second, eighth, second, tenth. Then a little blip there, up to eighth. Then back to third, and then back down to ninth again. They should be having a good year this year. Like, so it looks like it's catching up with them finally. Wait, I don't think I saw the training out there. No. Oh, God, we're playing Man United. I forgot about that. Yeah, manager's not having a good time. University. Wow. Maybe Romania will be the gold mine it has been. Wasn't last year, but was the year before. But then again, I suppose every league is like a gold mine when you're, a, when you're Maltese at this stage, right? Youth among the world's best. One day I hope to see Sirens in there. I don't think it's going to be anytime soon, though. All right, that's Champions League. Andrea Kassar accepts... Oh, look at that. Well-travelled goalkeeper. He's travelled all the way from Malta to Malta. Via Malta. And that is quite the path. Oh, God. This is going to be an absolute minefield, isn't it? Look at the state of this. Because Shrevenus Vesta never let me down. There's always someone you can take from Shrevenus Vesta that's going to be a goat. Ooh, right. Imagine after all this, we somehow go and beat Man United at home. That would be a very us thing to do, wouldn't it? Right, take a couple of those guys. Is that guy? Oh, AP, oh, he's, oh that's the uh, Macedonian guy, isn't it? In the Europa League, uh, we are currently, I think, not bottom, but basically bottom. We've only got one point. Uh, these guys I've already scouted. So I'll send those guys around again, because for some reason... Wait, were you... No, you weren't. You are, right. So these guys can go around again. You guys can all drop off. Some of them are older anyway. Uh, you're 24, which is not really what we're looking for right now. Uh, a lot of these guys are a bit older too, actually. Right, what about you? You're extensively scouted now. I just don't think I'd want to pay him £700 a week, honestly. Wait, is this a different dude? Oh, wait, he wants way more. This is a different free player from North Macedonia who also wants absurd money. Okay. Consider me confused. Mm, Cheap-ish. Actually... Depends on what he'd want 
in terms of his squad status. Break into the first team in the coming years. I wonder if I can knock that down a bit. Uh, develop at a slower rate. I, I'd say that he actually might be doable. So yeah. Oh yeah, a Siren's BTTS in every game is pretty much the dream. The league reputation, like, uh, well, we you don't really know because that's a, that's a number that you can't see because it's under the hood. But the the leagues, oh, sorry, where we rank at least as reputation wise is sixty ninth. Nice, but bear in mind we started in like the late eighties or early nineties, I think. Ten pound on a Fifi red card, true. Yeah, actually, I'm not so sure about him now. Then again, he is. No, actually, no, he's cheap. Mm. 72k yeah i think 72k i'm actually it's a bit much but i want to sign someone uh you are not that expensive but also 20 although he's very good it's just another bloody dlp and it's just an area that he was stacked at some point we will have to find a new one but i just don't think it's him Mladenovic, he would want large wages but if he's an amazing goal oh he's a real player rubbish in fact, so are you, aren't you? That's annoying. What about you? Italian Uruguayan, left side. I believe it is, JTS, yeah. I saw it in the chat. And I guess we're up to that point yet. Gavin Sheriff. Just a bit expensive. In fact, yeah. They're just a bit eh. But Mateta is going to come in. No, our youth intakes have been absolutely gopping. Um, we have now at least managed to upgrade our youth recruitment to be the best in Malta, which now means that in theory, if there is going to be a decent Maltese player coming through, they will at the very least come through with us because of the way the drafting situation works with the youth intakes. But I'm not expecting that to happen because Malta's youth rating is so unbelievably low. Oh yeah, I was going to remove the loan promise. Sorry, I didn't see that in there. I'm so used to that being a good thing that I forgot that we were going to try and stop doing it. I mean, I'm still going to be able to fulfill the promise because he's just going to constantly get off and out for loan anyway. So it's not the end of the world. Amateur non-contract status, not sharp in contract status. Ah, no. So, right. This is the key thing. Um, th there's a method that we found later that makes it much easier. So here's what you do. Um, it does show up. It's actually here where it says contract status. So there's amateur there. There's non-contract. However, if you want to find both at the same time, because the game won't let you. Well, it will, but just not in the easy way. Uh, I have a filter that you can ins uh, you can use called Amdram, which uh, Inferno's just put in chat. So what it does, uh, if I just don't do that, it builds this out here, which allows you to have both of them at the same time. And then you can just select whichever country you want in there and it will show you the players from that league. But that's basically what you do. Now, it would depend on your database if there's any players available, of course. It will vary. Uh, Hamid. Oh, Diamando, that's a blast from the past. Didn't he play for whole city at one point? I'm assuming it's not him. It's the... Oh, no, it was... Mo I was Wait. No, it was D-Army. It was D-Army. I was thinking of... Ooh. Amdram. Yeah, that... Yeah. Jesus Christ, James. But yeah, that is uh, Mohamed Diamanda. Yeah, he's very good, isn't he? Was he one of the... Oh, he was one of the RTD guys. He clearly has mad potential. He's kind of... In fact, who's he wanted by? Oh... Yeah, it looks like he's maybe not had the career in this save that you'd want to. I mean, he'd get into it. Oh, yeah, of course he would. <laughs> a guy on £20,000 a week would absolutely get in our... Oh, that's not true. There's probably some guys in the Saudi clubs that are on more than that that wouldn't get in our team now. It's actually kind of crazy. Right. Oh, that's that could have been Hamrun right now, you know it. Any gems today? We haven't really been looking at gem players today. We've been mostly focusing on the European games for once. I mean, the scouting's been doing, but we're doing team report scouting again now. So we're just trying to find the level where we can actually sign players from it. And we haven't really found it yet. I might need to take a slightly deeper look. We might not even be quite ready for team report scouting, truthfully. But we might as well get a head start because I feel like we're going to be ready very soon. And we might as well get some knowledge on some of these guys ahead. Oh, yeah, the the, the, the African guy. Yes, true. The guy from... was He, he was Cote d'Ivoire, wasn't he? Our January signings are actually looking really strong. Um, wait. Oh, yeah. Thank you very much, lads. I'll take the £400,000, please. And Carrera, another two. Yeah, it's just free money. Yeah, it's just, just half a million there. 
as Pez. Still got seven million in the bank, which makes up some of the cash we lost for the uh, extending the youth facilities again. We did get a point in Europe, yes, but it was in a game that we should have won, where we absolutely battered them. We were 2-0 up, missed every chance under the sun, and then they scored two late goals, and it was very annoying. And then we should have got a draw in the first European game as well, but didn't. And now we're going to get just absolutely high, just get hidings after hidings for the rest of the tournament now, because they're all massive teams, which is annoying. RTD. Oh yeah, I probably should do RTD, actually. Because they actually have players, and I don't have a team report on them. Fuck it, we'll add that to the back of the list. Good shout. I just did the part as I want, I think. I'm almost certain I did. In fact, I specifically remember doing it, right? I can't look, go and look for this for every single one. I'm certain I did it. Yeah. It's going to take me a while to get back into the swing of, like, automatically doing it. Auto for... Do you want to stop getting older players from the team reports auto forward to your scout reports? That would be lovely. Do you know a way to make that happen? That would be sick. Just, I mean, I, there are some methods where that's actually kind of useful, but right now it's a little bit irritating because we're just not looking. I don't want to sign the real players, basically. And the, the threshold for that's about 21 right now. Having queue, I've got a, I've got 200 in the queue right now, which is a, a reasonable start from us because obviously there's a lot of nations whose clubs we simply can't be asked to scout right now because we'd never be able to sign their players anyway. It turns out a lot of the clubs that I did scout also are in that same boat. Rex in the League One, fair play. How's it going? I seen you've just started playing FM this year. That is going to be a baptism of fire, my friend. But I hope you have a good time doing it. Right, who's playing left side? Oh God, it is Roll Platt. <laughs> Chat help. At least Al Assas will be back from Man United. Guerrero's nearly fit again. Oh, we're in danger. Lone target. Oh, is that what it is? That is a beautiful suggestion. That makes so much sense as well. Dick is at least fit. Right, okay, let's try this. That's such a good idea. Um, blah, 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 blah. Also, I'm super excited because Pog's going to a gig with her brother. She's going to bring me the Horizon at the weekend, which means obviously Saturday night for myself. And it turns out the Avalanche Philadelphia Flyers game starts at 6 p.m. UK time on Saturday night. And I am in heaven because I get to sit there and watch hockey all evening. And that for me is a good night. And let me tell you. Kentar might honestly be better than Platt, particularly in that role. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I'll have a look at that in a sec. Uh, what was I checking? Oh, yeah, the team, the scouting thing. Uh, where is that? In, is that in Scouting Center and then in Preferences? Hang on. To loan targets from... I'm sure it's here. I'm just being an idiot. under advance oh i see oh right good point loan from feeder club i'm sure it's in here because it's not feeder club is it because we're not a feeder club ah t report loan nice great interesting that's fascinating I just want to have a little look through these just in case there are any that we want to just kind of get, just ignore. No, I think I'm kind of good with what we've got, honestly. Reminder about previously scouted player. That's actually kind of useful sometimes, but that might be something I potentially could turn off. Oh, McKinnon's been on an absolute tear lately. St I think as of yesterday after the uh, win against the Canadians. Was it Canadians? No, it was Ottawa. He's still tied on top with uh, Kucherov. Oh. So the whole reason that occurred to me is because um, when Bay Hudson said, unless you're a Wrexham fan, Maple, and my brain went, Maple? Maple Leafs? Hockey. Oh, Race 100, I know. McKinnon, he's just, I think he's still on a point streak, isn't he? McKinnon's been insane. It sucks about uh, Valentuskin, though, because he's entered like the NHLPA's like player assistance program, and I don't believe they've actually said why, but that's not ideal, particularly that's already been missing Landy for God knows how long. Right, cool, we're back. Also, last night, Pog was having a bath, and I was just chilling on the bed. Um, I was watching TikTok for a bit, but I was wearing, because it was kind of cold, I was wearing a Corgi Snuggie. And 
I had my headphones under the hood so she couldn't even like you couldn't see that I even had headphones in and I was just vibing to some music in the end just listening to some music vibing along with my legs just sort of flapping around and she comes out of the bath and I had my eyes shut and she's just standing in the corner just grinning at me like what are you doing I was just like I'm just vibing mate no problem with that at all and she was like that's very very cute and adorable she's just like what were you listening to and she was I assume expecting me to be like oh this pop song that I was vibing along to I was like oh, I was just listening to the ghost inside and she just couldn't get her head around the fact that I was just sort of happy dancing to it but that's just the kind of guy I am right we move five back three okay this could work couldn't be me Oof. ah but on the plus side potentially a chance of getting celebrini so you know obviously you have to win the lottery but celebrini would be particularly with him Ah, oh, isn't he hasn't he got some connection to like california or san jose or something his dad works for the golden state warriors i think or something and so celebrini going to san jose would be quite interesting right you know the first two f1 races on a saturday oh fair one it doesn't really matter as far as like r r really is that because of like time differences and stuff or are they just doing them random on a saturday it's weird that alex is still here actually i forgot that he's not going to leave until the summer uh till the uh, january transfer window right Cool, cool, cool. It does suck with the abs that I can almost never... Because I'm not staying up at like 2 in the morning to watch hockey. Like, I love hockey, but I also enjoy sleep. Um, so with them playing the Flyers on Saturday at 6pm is just sensational scenes for me. Oh, shit. I forgot to put fucking Kental in. We were screwed either way, let's be honest. But <laughs> that hasn't helped. Also, Seifert's on the wrong foot. My brain is like... Right. Cool. Is it? I don't think it is because of that. I think it's just that um, sometimes there are matinee games on Saturdays and Sundays, and this just happens to be one of them. And because the game's in Philly, it's East Coast, which means it's even earlier, whereas a lot of the Avs games, because they're often... Like, they are. Yeah. Yeah, Platt's going to put in a... Just you watch. He's going to score a hatchet from left side as we win 4-3 because we wouldn't just win 1-0 now, would we? That'd be silly. Shallow. Oh my God, we lead in Turkey. No, we don't. Please tell me we do. Yes, we do. Travis and Sport 0. Sirens 1. Ronnie Shallow has finally got one under the crossbar. You love to see it. We lead. Ronnie scores again. That was really nice play. You're good to, I, I also love that he's got an Alice band. He's got an interesting hit. That was great. Look at this pass from Lusic. First time as well, just sweeps across it. That's a great strike. He can do it when it's needed. We need a big performance today out of Kamga as well. But we do lead. In Turkey, against a much better side than either of the two other teams we've played so far. Platt, that's a foul, surely. Disgusting. That has to be a foul. Oh, Christ. Erson's in and off the post. Oh, God. That's not ideal. It's Dick versus Svensson here. Pull across. That's going to be cleared away. The fact is, we are leading in a match away from home in the Europa League group stage against Trabzonsport. We are leading. And we'll always have that. Even if we lose this game 5-1 now, we led. We made something happen. And we don't look completely outclassed here. The spaces. Lusic. Oh, it's nearly in. Oh my god, that should have been 2. That should have been 2-0. Complete chaos in the box there. Actually not that good. Well, you say that, but they're better than the teams we've played against so far by a considerable margin. Oh my god. Bear in mind, the two teams we've played in this group stage so far are Farrell Costanza and Aruka. And Travis and Spore, I would say, are definitely better than both of those two. Um, maybe I'm also getting my head a bit confused with the Travis and Spore from the previous save, because they were actually ridiculous. They would like be regular la latter stages of the Champions League, Travis and Spore, in that save. Oh, oh wow, that's very, very fortunate. <laughs> But again, if you can find the pass, shallow. Run the stuff for Roll Platt. Roll Platt has made it 2 1. <laughs> it's 2 0 to Sirens, and Roll Platt has scored in the Europa League. <laughs> of course he fucking has. Roll Platt Masterclass. Oh, he'll be diamond. Look at that little touchback from Platt that was definitely on purpose. What a pass this is, though. From Ronnie Shallow yet again. The assists this man is getting this year is actually unhinged. He's got 12 assists and 12 goals already this year, and we're only in November. And we're 2-0 up in Turkey. And I still don't think we're going to do anything other than draw or lose this game. But just getting 2-0 up is once again proving that we can compete more at this level. We're yet again showing 
that we can actually give teams a game up at this level now. Plat again. He's got an overlap. It's a nice build up, you know. Vidazinia, loads of bodies forward. We've just got to make the most of it now. Lusic. Kamga. Oh, wow. Hey, Kim. Yes, um, the, the crest is especially something. I, I'm not going to pretend that it's the entire reason that we chose the team when our first choice was not allowed. But it's certainly up there as Shallow makes it three, and that has to be offside, right? Oh my god, it's 3 0. It is Trabs and Spawn nil, Sirene's three. That's onside. Lucic has provided another perfect assist for Ronnie Shallow. We're 3 0 up in Turkey. What is going on? What a. Where was the defending? Did Trabs and Spawn think of actually defending that at any point? We're still not going to win this game. I could just feel. No, he's actually come to me onside. What is this defending from Trabs? Why do they have, like, five guys in the wall, but then just no one actually doing any defending? This is insane. 3-0 up away from home in the Europa League. This would be the biggest scalp of the save by a considerable margin. Sure, there isn't more. Well, that was just awful. But luckily, we've got the ball back again. I could still see this game ending 3-3, or even 4-3 to them. There's still so much time left for it to all go wrong for us. But we've got Kamga, who hasn't done anything yet in this game, which means he's due to do something... Okay, that wasn't it, hopefully. Please tell me that wasn't it. A red card, maybe, for him? <laughs> Seems about right. I think they're going to get a goal back real soon now. They're starting to throw some more bodies forward. Oh, have you moved, Kim? Or you just decided less to live the the DGN lifestyle? Because if that's the case, I respect it. Ramos. Well, that's a pass. Rule Platz in again. Rule Platz in again. Can he make it four? Oh, my God, it's four. It's four nil. Travis and Spawn nil. Sirens four. <laughs> and Rule Platz. <laughs> <laughs> to give you an idea he's like our sixth choice striker and at the moment he's also our fifth choice winger and he's coming to this match against traps and sport and scored a brace in the first half what is going on i don't know oh who was it was it you with that said plat like plat masterclass incoming and here we are it's four nil We've defended, actually, extremely well in that game so far. Not a single shot on target for Travis's four. Do you know what? Now I'm starting to think that we might actually not lose this game. Just barely. Did Ronnie assist both of the goals as well? Surely he didn't. Oh my god, he did. Ronnie's scored both goals and assisted... Sorry, he scored two and he's assisted the other two. He is on a 10 out of 10 at half time. This is why he's so important to this team. His ability to link up play is second to none in this save. No one gets close to being able to do what he does as a creative player up front for us. And that's why it's going to take some serious players to replace him at some point. He's going to provide another assist, isn't he? He nearly did. Kamga. Off the bar. Lucic on the rebound. Can't get there. This could get worse. <laughs> the gang lose 5-4. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, given some of our second half performances in this save so far, that is completely not off the cards yet. That was good from Burnt. I think you're right. It's because Platt is a striker, right? Um, so... The fact that he can play there means that he has sort of the... He has tendencies of a striker with his PPMs. His attribute makeup is quite striker-like as well, because well, he's literally a striker. So it does make sense that he would make those runs. It just means that on the defensive side of things, if we wanted him to be tracking back today, it was unlikely to happen. In your own time, bud. What is Dick playing at? He's just going to let them... They're going to score off this, aren't they? What a save. What a save from Vizniewski. How on earth has he kept that out? That's unbelievable. Vitazinha's ball in. Cleared away. That was like... Those are normally like nailed on goals. And I can't believe he's actually kept that out. He's having one of those games. Ramos. All the way through. Platt again. Oh my god. It's a Platt trick. It's 5-0 and Platt scored a hat trick. <laughs> um, chat, I don't know what to say. We're winning 5 0 into. We've never won a group stage game. Sorry, that's not true. We've not won in our last 10 group stage games in the Europa League, and now we're 5 0 up at Trabzonspor, who are actually decent. I, I, words. I, I've lost them. That's insane. The thing is, he's still not even going to be man of the match at the moment because Shallow's got a 10 out of 10 rating so far in this game. Platt could score a hat trick and still not be man of the match, but he's to be the man of the match in our hearts. Aruka are winning at Ludogorets now. So maybe they are actually just better than we thought. Oh. More like Bads and Spore. Tex-Mex, Tex-Mex V2, imagine. FC Taruka to you. <laughs> Starting next game. Well, where's this guy going? I mean, he might not have a choice, honestly. I don't know who would have fit at that point. Shallow with a great time. Oh, surely not. 
Good effort again. He's just been on it today. Like the way he just gets the ball straight out of his feet, in he goes. He's just looking for a pass or a shot at every p possible occasion. Platt's coming in again here. Oh my god. <laughs> wow. I really want a clean sheet in this game. I just don't think we're going to get a chance to get it because we will give up an opening to them at some point in this match. What? Is, oh my god. Travis and Spore have been like historically awful in this game as well, I must say. Ramos has been a bit anonymous. Here's Platt again. Can he get an assist now, perhaps? Oh, a Fifi from the edge of the box nearly? Vidazinia in there as well. Oh, and now here we go. I mean, we doubted him and he's come up clutch. I think this might only be his second appearance of the season. I think he played in that cup match. Didn't help as well. I accidentally forgot to... Pr I didn't praise the team after... Ah, oh, there's the goal. That's just a goal, isn't it? Yeah, fair enough. We'll give them that. Although, there's still 20 minutes left. There's time. I've seen this movie before. Every time I try to pause it to have a look at the league table... <laughs> Just go to another highlight. Camp has actually been kind of poor. I wonder if Ronaldo Hines might be the good move right now. Dick's tired, but we're going to go to Air League this time, not Mabchur, based on the logic from last time. Lucic as well. We're going to go for Rodriguez instead. Oh. Right. I, I can feel a 6-5 coming along. They found a goal in this game eventually. And we're getting another highlight. This is This game is not done yet. There's still time for Platt to score more. That's the kind of, uh, that's the mentality we need. There is more room for Platy to score more goals. Dick's in a bit of a blind alley here. He needs to, Afifi needs to be offering, there we go. Just to open the play up a little bit. Now there's no one to offer for Afifi either. That's more like it. Just spread it over. We've got room now. Vitazinia can have a little run. Have a little dangle. Nice. That's a pass. That is a pass. That's, oh my God, it's nearly six. This is not going to work if Guerrero isn't back. Um, maybe? Ramos doesn't, I mean... Oh. Oh, he should have scored there. Kamga has to score that. <laughs> that has to be six. But that was his last action on the pitch. Well, let's have a look. I think it's though. I feel like Platt is way more... I wouldn't want to put him up front because I don't think he's played very well as a striker for us. Platt's best games have all come off the off the left. So I feel like it'd be a waste to just put him... Oh, hello. It's Heinz. It's should have been. <laughs> it should have been six. This is one of these games that doesn't come along very often where it's like a lightning in a bottle where we're just creating so many chances against them that it's almost impossible not to score goals. And we have five goals. Although it looked... Oh, it should have been. But the round order, Interesting. You've actually got a round order to work. It's been my dream for many years. Yeah, I would be tempted to start him off the left against United because it's not like El Assas has done much in his time so far this season. I'd be willing, I think Rule Platt has to play against Man United. I think I'll play him off the left again. And just stay... Because I think by then, Guerrero might be back in anyway. Fair play. God, th that pass has caught us out a few times today. With the left back not be... Oh, great work from Afifi. Like, Shallow's... Oh, oh, he's got it! How's he got the ball here? Fair enough. Can come and die with a gifted sub to Bingle Bongle Dingle Dangle. <laughs> Thank you, mate. That's very kind. I kind of do want one more. Because the result at the moment... That's offside. Surely. Surely. Okay, apparently not. I, how was that not offside? Was it defect off my defender? It might come off my defender instead of there. Oh no, the right back was just really deep. There's still time for us to throw this away. Like three more goals in the last 10 minutes is not beyond our ability to be crap. But to be fair, it could have been worse. Like Burton has made some absolutely astonishing saves in this game. To keep us in this match when it was like 1-0. Yeah, I think you might be right. But now, honestly, I feel like this is one of these games where we can afford to just stay on plan A and just see it out because it might be kind of cool to score a sixth goal. <laughs> That's not something we normally get to say. 5-3 would be kind of underwhelming, though, if we were to somehow win 5-3 here after big 5-0 up. But what happened was took a couple of key players off and just wanted to rest a few legs when you're that far ahead in a game. At the very least, we're going to be guaranteed a win away from home in the, in the Europa League groups against a, a really decent team which is fantastic what a pass is there a return ball rodriguez oh it's six traps and sport two sirens six F what a time you join us twigs what a time to join us as we get our first europa league win of the season traps and sport two sirens six what a finish this is from rodriguez just skies it bang oh the keeper gets a touch on it this will be brilliant for the coefficients that's sensational scenes 
and thoroughly deserved. What a win. I mean, 6-2 is massively ahead of where we should be in that game. The hat trick from Platt. Yeah, we're on four points. We've bettered our tally of last year. We've definitely... Not last year, the time before. That's fantastic. And the, th the most annoying thing is we should be on seven points by now. We should have actually got seven points on the board. But we're showing qualities that we didn't have before. Their keepers had a mare there, but it's all about Roll Platt. Except it's not because Ronnie Shallow was man of the match. Sensational. A hat-trick from Roll Platt in Europe. Shallow with two goals and two assists. I wish you could give individual kisses. I really do. Pro W Dino is continuing the gifted sub they got from the car park. Uh, wait, hang on. Is that two things are the same thing? Oh, it is. It's two different events. And also with the gifted sub to Twigs. Thank you, friend. Where were Travis for before this? Watch them be winless. Ah, you're right. Yeah, we went above them with that win. Maybe they're not as good as we thought. <laughs> I'm still stuck in the brain state of them being good like they were last year. Yeah, we were. We were outclassed. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I forgot about the Ream game. Yeah, we were completely outclassed by them, yeah. Without a shadow of a doubt. 540 grand for that. Yeah, Celtic have been huge so far. Oh, that's Conference League. Plus six. They just beat someone like 6 0, didn't they? Yeah, they beat um, Dino Batumi 6 0. And also beat Besiktas 6 0. Holy shit! <laughs> Fair play. Twigs with the gifted sub now to Homie Shampono. No, Shampno. They beat Besiktas 6 0 in Turkey. That would have gone down well. Bournemouth 4 0, which is genuinely a shock. And Drew with right. Wow. Celtic are goaded in this save, apparently. Uh, St. Pat's being rubbish. Oh, why couldn't we have drawn St. Pat's? That would have been so much fun. I keep doing the conference thing instead of the UEL. What's the situation with St. Pat's? Oh. Well, we're definitely not coming bottom this time. What's left? Because you need about nine points to get through. I mean, we've got Man United next, so that's irrelevant. But then after that, Slobodan Bratislava, Braga and FC Copenhagen. I don't know. I feel like we could maybe get a point or two in there. Oh, no worries, Twigs. Please don't feel the need to do anything like that at all. I'm just glad you're here. Right. I want to look at his actual stats for the season so far. 14 goals, 13 assists in 19 games. He's got 27 goal contributions this season already. Ronnie is having a season. Pierre's actually not done a lot since that initial jump, but still. I think Slova and Bratislava are a decent side. I, it's weirdly, it's the sort of game that we'd look at and think, oh, actually, maybe that's winnable. And then you just get clapped by them. Whereas Travis was the kind of game where actually you look at it and go, that's quite difficult. And then we've gone there and very well. Pass five goals, he does, yeah. I think he must have scored in that cup match. Well, he's played a few games off the bench. Yeah, he played in the cup. And also in the super cup too, off the bench. But his attributes aren't even awful. I might just start. Wow. I think the fact that he's got that finishing and dribbling ability and his composure, he's not the quickest, admittedly, but he's actually got some okay mentals, in fairness. He's just, he's, yeah. So, Floriana, then Man United. Nice and easy. Shallow's training report, glad to see it. Heads up about Diaz. Um, Actual playing time youngster, good lord. That means he's not playing at all, is he? Fuck it. Uh, we'll see what we can do. We'll win him round eventually. He might be a bit of a failed one anyway. But, oh, we're getting Mateta. Nice. That'll do. Uh, Ruzan Berok. Have they got anyone we want? Maybe one dude. 17. We're nearly done with the European ones already just from today. Obviously, they'll come back around again, but I'll start adding more and more. Oh, for God's sake. There we go. Got them in the end. Yeah, I feel like he could be a January sale potentially. But he's nice to have that depth, but we've got depth in the wide right positions, really. And he's only, he'd be a third choice. And honestly, worst case scenario, I could play Vidazinia on the right, wide right spot. Yeah, and like Cam goes, was so good in those first few matches, but he has fallen off a little bit. But still, plenty of time for him to come back. Wow, he's already on the verge of an assist landmark and we're in bloody November. The record currently is 15 and he's got 13 on the 4th of November. He's having... And he's a striker with 13 assists. Our top creative player on the team is our striker. We're also, and Sleema, yeah, they won again. Wow, they've come out of nowhere this year. With Tarbo and Talent back, as per. Right, Looter away at Nashar. Let's see. Slo oh, speaking of Slova and Bratislava. Yeah, they've got some players. There is a couple of guys in there that look pretty solid. Ah, he's 19, shit. 
uh, get rid of that. So which is training report. Cool. Lucic now showing some progress. Okay. At least it means the trade is working. Uh, how do you train? Right, cool. It seems like every centre back is just on aerial training because some of them have got such poor heading. Um, we might, we could probably get away with resting. I'm going to drop Rolney Shallow for this one. Bring Alassas back in. Bring Heinz in. Like we're away at bottom card, which is a risk I realise, but I feel like it'd be good to just have a little bit more stability and just rest for the Man United game. Because you never know, right? Just show business. Thank you very much for the 25 bits. Thank you, friend. Yeah, we'll, um, we know we're not getting another Europa League win. Well, not immediately anyway. Yeah, that'll do. Like they're in horrible form. They're on a bit of a slide. We're in great form. The, the stuff is good. This should lead to, even with instant result, I know we're away from home, which isn't going to help, but we should have the strong enough side to beat this. And Heinz, I probably could have done, but Ah, that's right. Longello is a mez. So. Oh, wait, yeah. Oh, good. Yeah, good point. Oh, well. Hopefully we win anyway. Yep, we won. <laughs> we did all right in that one. Um, missed a penalty as well. It could have been even more. Luto with a draw, which is good. It's more drop points. Gives us a five point gap to them now, which even if Hamroon win. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course we beat them, didn't we? And Platt came off the bench to score. <laughs> He cannot be contained. I didn't realise he was on the bench in that game. He's got six in six. He's in he's unstoppable. Rodriguez was very good there. Nice to see him actually scoring a few goals. I suspect that you can keep your money, cold player, because we are not taking anything from Man United. There's just no way in a million years. Like, us winning at Travis's Four was a shock and a half, and that took a bit of a lightning in a bottle as well. If we don't lose 7-0 to Man United, I'll be amazed. Has developing concerns, but he, we always knew that he would do. Uh, should we start more games? What is it? Your squad status, squad player. That makes sense. God, if you could just hold on a little bit more, Frederick, because you truly are an important player. But not until we get a new tag. You're the halfback, bro, or one of the many halfbacks. Right, many. I want to see what the gate receipts for this game are, and I wonder what sort of attendance we're going to get because we're playing in the national team stadium, obviously in Europe, because we don't have a big enough stadium. So I'll be curious to see how that goes. I wonder if we could sell it out. you think you would, really. It's Man United in Malta. Damn. Trenchin have got some players, too. Have they changed their badge? I seem to remember Trenchin having a different badge a couple of years ago. It might have been a while ago, to be fair. Man United scout report. What have they got? Hmm. Okay. Predicted lineup. So they've got Dusan, Vla Dusan Vlahovic through the middle. Jaden Sancho off the left. Um... Gerben Vandenberg, Hannibal Mabry, who's that? Jack Fletcher, Shorky, who's a regen, Hiroki Ito, obviously Lazaro Martinez. I opened Wait. my own. Hotel. Yeah, sorry, Lissandro Martinez. Wamba Saka, and then this guy Shuras, and then Jordan Pickford in goal. Okay, Liam Williamson, thank you very much for the follow. Maybe they're going to rest, but to be fair, I mean, we played Spurs once and look how that went when they rested their team, when that like third or fourth choice Spurs squad absolutely annihilated us in the Champions League. The fact that they've got Jordan Pickford in goal, though, does give us hope. Had to leave. Uh, we just went and won 6-2 um, at Trabzonspor. That's the big thing. Or did you see, did we play Hamron? Have we, had we played Hamron yet, Don? Because if not, there was a goal in the Hamron game that is one of the best own goals I've ever seen. Banksy, thank you very much for the nine months. How was your Thursday, my friend? That's Happy annoying. Twitch, baby, Matt. How Thank bad you. was the United result? Uh, we're about to play it. So you can get to, you get to find out with us. Hey, Clay. We're doing surprisingly well, actually. We're feeling a lot more competent in Europe this year. Although we are about to play Manchester United. So prepare for me to say the opposite of that after the game. Uh, a few reasonables in there. The guy's on the shortlist. Oh, he's probably from the amateur days, right? Wait, 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 what? Free? Oh, it's 25. God damn it. I saw Afghan Sweden and thought, ooh, but then, yeah, free and 25. He'd actually talk to us. Oh, he's being scouted again. Damn it. I might just send these guys around again, honestly, at the moment, just so we can save some time. We'll, we'll revisit that another time. That way we don't lose them. 
Yeah, if we, if we somehow kept a nil-nil draw against United, given the amount of goals that we concede, admittedly in the league, we've actually been fairly tight this season, for the most part. In fact, hang on. Oh, no, we have conceded a goal against Hamroon, of course, and obviously against um, uh, Shabba. Getting a few of these now. Surplus requirements. Oh, that's a good joke. Ah, we'll leave it for now. Right, well, at least we've already, after five games, have pulled out. Sorry, after seven games, we've already got a five-point lead on the league. That is... That's the sort of progression I want to see. Because that implies to me, at, like, the 15 to 14 match point, which is sort of as we get towards Christmas, we should be 10 clear then, and then we can start to disappear and start to um, experiment with finally building a new tactic. Wait, are we actually seriously 20... Just to clarify, we were more favourited... We were less favourites against Ream in the away game than we are in the home game against Man United. We were at 22% to win at Ream away. I guess the draw might have been a bit lower, uh, higher as well, but that's wild. Surprising. We've also scored a decent amount of goals. Created a lot of chances too. Any chance we could qualify? Technically, yeah. But not by beating Man United. That ain't going to happen. But we've got four points. We need another five. And there is technically some games in there that I think if things go our way and we actually play our very best, there's a chance. But really, if we were going to do that, we needed to get that point, that win against uh, Farrell Costanza. We win that. I'm actually all aboard the we're qualifying train. But by drawing that game when we should have won, it just ain't it. Oh, I'll refund your points for that. Also, we've got some coefficient points for that, didn't we? So that pushes us to seven. This is the best. Yeah, so this is now... Oh, no, it's not officially the best. One more win would equal the best season we've had so far in the save. Unfortunately, I think Finland would have massive... Oh, they still haven't overtaken us. No, we are still officially ahead. It's Kazakhstan. We're actually miles ahead. I really don't see us being caught by anyone. The only thing that could happen is maybe, with the right results, we could overtake Slovenia and Azerbaijan, which would be quite something. But I don't think that's going to happen. But I'd settle for the huge jump we've made this year anyway. Key changes just make songs better, don't they? Just in general. Anything surprising in here? Lucas Safer and the Austria under-21s. A little concerning. Should have been a loss draw away. Uh, winning game should have lost. When? Because we lost to Aruka, when that one possibly could have been a draw. Um... We drew this one when we should have won. We should have easily lost to Ream than we did. And then we should have beat Travis and Spore. Not by the same margin, but we should have won. We were the better side of the night. Created more than them. So we should have won, just not by such amount. Oh, I think we're in Algeria now. Wow. Mother of God, that's a lot of players. Oliver J. Reed, thank you very much for the 16 months. How's it going, Fred? Uh, wait, what are we doing here? Uh, wait, report. There we go. What was I doing? Rep boost from winning the league increased. I believe it does, yes. Um, which is why the FA Cup, sorry, not the FA Cup, the Hungarian Cup became the number one cup in world football on my last save. The league didn't get there, but the, the, the cup did. And I suspect that's because after a while, our rep was like world class and we just kept winning the cup. So it just kept bumping and bumping and bumping the rep of the cup every single time. So after a while, we started throwing the cup to other teams to boost their reps up as well. Right. Shallow Ramos, because we've got no choice. Alasas is not starting this game, because you know who's starting this game. Platy boy. Safer and Jorgos. Hang on, did he pick the team I wanted? Well, I never. Maybe it's just because we didn't have... Um, so it's basically the same lineup, except without uh, Vidazinia. Everybody's good to go. Everybody's fresh. Multi's cup doing. It has been growing, at the same, but around about the same rate as the league. What I suspect will happen is once the league stalls out, as you know that it always does, that's when... Yeah. Is John... Nah, John ain't ready. He's on the bench, but he's got no match fitness, no match sharpness. There's no point in starting him. Make a difference. Nope. You get one scout report. You get one team report per day, no matter how many you assign to the same scout. The game doesn't care. That's why I don't... I just click randomly. If I was being proper like min maxi, I'd set them to the same best scout. Oh, yeah, Kassar. Unfortunately, our best scout is right at the very bottom of the list, and the, just the extra seconds that cost me every single time over doing like like a thousand times, it's quite lengthy. Right, okay, Man United at home. So what's the actual lineup? So they actually, oh no, they've got Anton Stach in the midfield, who is a real player. Okay, twenty-nine year old German midfielder. 
Hiroki Ito in there, Alessandro Martinez, Per Shores, Angelo Mito in goal. Sorry, Mito, who is a, a Jamaican goalkeeper. Love that. Oh, no, he's not. He's English with Jamaican session national. Okay. This doesn't feel like a um a full strength Man United side, would you believe? Fire. I mean, that's true, yeah. Wait, he, hang on. He's 16. They've put a 16 year old goalkeeper in. No, I actually tried that last year, changing the scout's name. It doesn't reorder the list for some reason. Gerben, he's a region as well. Gerben Vandenberg, he's 20 year old. I think he's region. Now then, I wonder if the goalkeeper's just bad. And I think after. We'll be able to tell very quickly if we'll be able to. I think the plan here is turn off work, one of the box, and just have some shots at some point. Just try and, like force shots against this young goalkeeper and see if he can stand up to it that being said their 16 year old goalkeeper at man united is probably still better than burnt is just because it's united okay biggest game we've ever played in the save short sight i probably don't want to do that just yet because i don't know how much of an effect it'll really have that crowd is looking pretty packed yeah they've actually got three regions in the scene with vandenberg um Shorty, and obviously mito any names I recognise off the bench? Oh, Kobe might may lose in there. But other than that... Yeah, I mean, Vlahovic is going to give Seifert and Jorgensen an absolutely torrid time in the air. That's for sure. What's the attempt? 17,000 in attendance for a Maltese football... A match in Malta. Nearly a sellout here at the stadium for this game. This is massive. Possession's almost non-existent, I think. No, oh, actually, no. Trust the tactics. We got the result against Travis with the tactic. Why not trust it in the home game against United as well? Possession is heavily on their side, obviously. But we expect that. But the fact that we've survived the first 15 minutes of this match without conceding even a chance, really, is interesting. They seem to be limited to long shots over the first few moments. Burnt is making those saves with ease, but they are being made. They seem to be shooting a lot from range. But half an hour into the game, and we've not conceded a goal against Manchester United with Sirens. We're in the table. Uh, we are 27th. Oh, here we go. Oh, no. It was a non-highlight. We've actually kept them fairly quiet in this. The, the second half, they will just burn through us because they'll have the the physical ability to do so. Oh, no. I was going to say we've survived a half of football without conceding against Manchester United. But at the moment, it looks like they're going to get the goal directly on half time. Please don't let it be a penalty or something. Just let it be a normal goal. Bloody hell, that was very nearly a penalty. And it is a goal. Anton Statch with the goal. Sirens nil. Man United won on half time. United get the breakthrough. If we could have just survived for 30 more seconds, got to half time at nil nil. Oh, that's disappointing, man. I thought that tackle as well was really good, but Statch is just left all alone. How does that go through those two there? Nothing Burnt can do about that. I think I might turn off work one of the box in the second half and just try to open up a little bit. Ah... Uh... I'm still impressed with how much we've kept them quiet. Like, they've not had a lot of chances, as you'd expect them to. They're Man United. They should be destroying us. I'm going to turn that off and just try to... So they're actually taking off wan -Bissaka. Please don't let them just score set-piece goals against us. If they're going to score against us, at least oh, there it is. And the guy that they've just brought off the bench, Nikola Milinkovic, makes it 2-0. Ah... Uh... I mean, I can't be too annoyed. It's Man United, right? We're, we're not at this level. He's outjumped three of our guys there, but he's very, very tall. Look at the size of him. They've brought on a beanstalk. How tall is he? Six foot five. Yeah, and it shows. Bloody hell. He's a tall man. Where's our 18 jumping reach guy gone? It's weird. They've had 10 shots on target, but haven't really accounted for a lot of XG yet. I just want to see us create a chance against them. That's all I want to see out of this game. It's just one moment where we can believe that we're going to score against Manchester United with, with sirens. Platt's ball in. Come on. Oh, God. Right, come on, get across to it, Dick. Nice. Keep that rotate. Oh, what a shocking pass. Dick is getting a little bit worse. Uh, I'm noticing he does this a lot. Like, he has a pass on into the midfield there where we've got completely free players, and he just tries to play it to the other fullback. Where there's such a nice little... Just slip it in the midfield. Give it to a Fifi. He can work with it there. And we actually had a chance to keep the pressure on them there for a second. That's a lovely ball as well. Jaden Sancho. It's a good save from Vizhnevsky. Whoa. They are starting to cut through us a little bit more. Now. They're getting so many shots. You know, I, I am tempted now to turn it on to shoot. Um, to 
play for set pieces and shoot on sight just to try and have a couple of shots i want to see us actually test their keeper oh as if this happened again they've just they've literally just gone to exploit corners haven't they <laughs> and to be fair if you've got a guy like that why wouldn't you 3-0 manchester united and it's another corner goal ah disappointing yeah they just they've got an ex they've got a broken corner tactic what are we supposed to do about that Platts had an absolutely awful day. Yeah, Dick has been shocking as well, but we've really got... Other than air leg. Not that anyone was really going to do that well in this game, let's be honest. I've got, I'm going to leave the strikers as they are. It won't make any difference. Um, get Hines on for a little bit. Get C-Rod on. Maybe even Diaz for a thief. Uh, that's a silly idea. Don't really want to put them as that. Uh, well, yeah, exactly. Why score Oello? Rodriguez. Delivers the ball. Cleared away. Maybe we can show them that two can play at that game. Cross Rodriguez. Cleared away again. We're actually putting pressure on Manchester United here. Jorgensen on the right side. Oh, it's a shocking first touch. Wait. Hang on. No. No, it's going to be... They're going to score off this play now. Wait, they are... Are they trying to make a substitute or something? Because they keep, keep trying to kick the ball out. What a cross. What a cross and we've scored. Sirens won... Yep, Sirens 1, Manchester United 3. Christian Rodriguez has just scored a goal for against Manchester United for a Maltese club. Have it. Back in it, baby. What a cross that was. Who was that? Was that Ehrlich? This here is an unbelievable cross. Look at this, just sort of scoops it all the way to the back post. Rodriguez out jumps two players and gets his head on it. Come on. 3 1. This would be a, a massively respectable result if we lost like 3-1 to Manchester United. I suspect we'll lose 5-1 in the end, though. VFRD, thank you very much for the prime. That could come, not come at a more perfect time there as they make some more changes. We've kept them way closer than I was expecting, frankly, with the XG, the statistics on that side of things especially. We've not made it easy for them. Team out of our ground. Well, I think it will do potentially when Palacio joins us because I feel like he will end up becoming the first choice. Very, very quickly, in fact. But for the moment, we need Dick. Oh, hello. Ramos. Now, expect for the shoot on sight thing to catch us out here, I suspect. But look at the bodies in the box. Oh, my God. How have you not scored? Unhealthy Flax, thank you very much for the 15 months. That's so damn nice of you. How have we not just made it 3-2 there? We had about five players on the end of that, and somehow it's gone wide. Any touch there, and it's a goal. Rodriguez delivers again. Cleared away. We're doing what we did against Rangers, where all of a sudden, later in the game, we just find something. Hines. Oh, just loses the ball. We've actually given Man United a game here. God, 3-2 would have been amazing. But honestly, a 3-1 home defeat to Manchester United is nothing to be complaining about. We could have had more, but they were very quiet in that game. Every goal. The second two were both... Oh, look at that. Nine minutes. Two corner goals. Another one that was like a second phase of a corner, if I recall correctly. Hey, I think we can be proud of that performance. It's, as you say, it went about as well as we could have imagined. I'm actually going to give it your best. They did. They they genuinely did. We've definitely taken a step up. We would have got hammered about 9-0 or like 7-1. Actually, we'd normally score, so we'd like 7-1 or something if we'd played them last time we were in Europe. The gap is still only two points to qualification. It's doable. Cold One player, goal, thank you for the 100, 100 bits. 100 bits. Good efforts. Well played, Sirens. Yeah, I think you're right. I think it was. It was a good effort from the guys. That's just going to happen every single time now, unfortunately. we just got too many midfielders for the amount of spots we have available. As a Rooker have got another win, like... They are... Actually, that was only their second win, but still. Other Europa League fixtures. Uh, we've got Braga, FC Copenhagen, and Slovan... Uh, sorry, Slovan Bratislava. Two of them are at home as well. Like... It's it's better. We're looking better in general. I think there's an opportunity for us to win one of those games, given what we showed against Trabs and Sport and the improvements we're showing. Maybe we can pull off another surprise, but two possible wins. I very much doubt it. I think I'll, we. I reckon we need five points, which means we basically have to go unbeaten here. Oh yeah, how much money do we earn? Uh, does it say? Which implies to me that it didn't break it. I suppose it wouldn't have broken the record, would it? Because usually that's the money we get from the away games. Let's check the finances, see if we can figure it out. 
it was a good amount. Have we even played at home this month yet? Uh, no, we haven't. Okay, so yeah. It was about uh, £450,000 we got in terms of the gate receipts for that one game against Manchester United, which is always good news. Goal 50, it'll be, I don't know, Holland and Mbappe. Yeah, Mbappe, Foden, Saka, Holland, Bellingham. Good Lord. Joshua Kimmich in there too. Erdegaard. There's not going to be a regen on this for at least another five or so years, I would have suspected. They take so long here because it's all done on rep. Gives last remedy. Oh, does it really? Oh, hang on. So, last. Uh, well, it says last month. I, I, that's the same as the other thing, isn't it? Sorry, that's this month. It doesn't actually show the last match, but still. Hey, that's still great. That's the exact same thing. But yeah, point being, we got a lot of money, which is the key. Also, last year, we'll be pleased to know we finally started gaining social media followers. Uh, he's been called up. Ooh, El Shazley in the under 23s. Not that he's even here at the moment. Adel Sarrat. All right, cool, 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 cool. Nashar Lions. Okay. So you used to. Ah, oh, fair play. Enjoy. Norseland is be an interesting one. Um,. That would be a tough one, actually, doing it with Nordland because obviously Nordland are already a massive side in Denmark, so you're going to struggle a little bit because you've taken a side that already is decent and are trying to make them better, whereas you want to kind of rely on a club like that to help you in Europe. Uh, oh, dear. Play them or lose him. Yeah, well, it's funny you should all say that as you're all in the same boat. Uzbekistan just scored. My God! I was on tenter hooks before that, but now I know. Uh, I didn't realise Uzbekistan were playing. Uh, another one of those. Cool. It's another international break after. Oh, no, there is a game here. It's Hammering. Oh, that's a big one at the top. Hammering and Sleema. If Sleema could do us a favor there and, like, just get a draw or something, that would be delightful. Just the more points those guys take off each other at the moment would be fantastic. Uh, Hammering get the win. But that. Yeah, actually, it would actually give us an opportunity to stretch the lead to six because Luta lost at Balsan News, which means if we do win, we would now go six points clear at the top, which is actually good. Draw leaves the away games. I feel like the home advantage in FM is still very pronounced. I mean, like Max, Max's research showed that it was a 9% advantage in home matches on average. And obviously, that's going to vary differently in Europe as well. Well, not very different in Europe. The quality of opposition is going to be so much more varied in Europe that you'll probably notice it more. But it's definitely there, is what I mean. Right, Nash are at home. Look at us, by the way, chat. We've got through five Europa League games in today's stream. And we're deep into the leagues. Well, not deep into the leagues. We're going to be eight matches into that as well. That's good progress. Unlike us. Sanchez and Ramos. Do we really... Uh, I feel like we should be able to get through this with those guys, but I'm... A bit, I do want to let my assistant pick the, pick the team he wants occasionally, but I'm a bit worried that that might not be enough. But then I've been wrong before, so let's take the risk. We've got an international break afterwards anyway, which should allow us to get the full complement of players back and fit and firing after that. I am impressed with myself, yeah. We've made some good progress, though. 2 0. Yeah, that could have been a bit. Wow, look at the XG again. But at least uh, the Cam has got another one. And Victor Ramos has finally scored a goal. So, yeah, the gap's now six points after eight games. That's better. That's the kind of record we need to be doing. Oh, India. Oh, I see. Okay. I thought, because it's the Asian Cup, isn't it? 22 straight wins in the league is actually... If we get four more straight wins, we'd have done an entire season's worth of wins. Not all of the same season, of course, but that's mad. No one there. Ramos is a... Wait, why would he not have a call-up? He's great. I think it's just because now that we're instering the uh, the league matches, or trying to at least, other than we did play Ham... We did watch Hammer, didn't we? It's a nice little chunk of league games here, actually, as well. I don't know if I'll get a chance to get to the Slovan Bratislava game before the end of stream, but we'll see. You never know. Uh, there's a friendly definitely needed in there. Will it let me do it on a Saturday? Yeah, we'll play against Arur. Whole team meeting. What for? Sorry. A team meet? We we're top of the league. With eight. We've won every. I know it's because. I know there's a couple of players that are a bit unhappy, but a team meeting? That seems like an absolutely disastrous idea. Yeah, here. We've just. <laughs> Won every game so far this season in the league. But no, let's just have a team meeting, shall we? Uh, anyway, at three o'clock. 
Yeah, I think it's because we've got a couple of players that are unhappy and there's just enough of them that's triggered something to do that. Yeah, don't ever do that. <laughs> you will come out of it with a much worse squad um, dynamic than you went into it with, which is the most important thing there. Nakasama, you, my friend, are definitely going to Kazakhstan in January. Who's our best player? Probably... There's a few options. Ronnie Shallow is certainly up there. Um, but I feel like someone like potentially Pierre Camgun Lend is also up there because he's a bit younger as well. And he's just insane. Football moral moralgia. I like it. Whew. Yeah, it's just the game's way of saying, hey, look at this lovely mouse trap. Wouldn't you like to step on it in the night while you are trying to get milk? Okay, team reports. And we've got uh, 200 and something at the moment is what the way i've set it up for the moment for the time being i'll increase it once we once we get time basically we'll just start randomly increasing it whenever we see random teams booty's gonna be upset with me in a minute too and penza can't get any oh did i accidentally scout their beat oh no that is their b team uh looks like that's not worth it we'll do the first team next year then yeah team meetings are just an absolute joke there's i'm trying to think the only time i will ever do a team meeting in fm is when you are on a bad losing streak and like horrendous form of morale and only then will i do it when your assistant comes up and says we could do with the team meeting then i'll do it because at that point it actually will have a positive effect any other time not worth it there's just no scenario in which i wanted to wow hang on he would actually talk to us jesus we don't need more left wingers but if we did he'd be one of them alex marku oh, he's weak technically weak determination weak a lot of things honestly yeah but the thing is we, he would cost us like a couple of million quid and would be on actually his wages would be fine but for in our position right now exactly he would take important game time away from Platt now you, now you get it and we simply cannot allow such a things to happen yeah I've heard Astano is lovely in January uh, Recreativo not quite so that's anyone random I mean, that being said, yeah, the amount of injuries we get for our wingers, it wouldn't be worth... It would make sense for us to have about seven of them in the side panel just in case. Just in the pocket. Vizniewski, wow. It literally is every single time. And by the way, apparently, from what I remember from the video, every time you get this email, it means there has been a a, a centidecimal or something, centi, a centi attribute upgrade to something, basically, which means something has changed to trigger the arrows every time you get that. So it means they have improved at they have genuinely improved ever so slightly. We lost 3-1 Povey Povey against Man United, which ain't bad, honestly. And yeah, lots and lots of green arrows. They're training amazingly now. Those two especially. In fact, those three, I mean, they're all training superbly for the most part, but those guys are going on a different... Are they against... Yeah, of course they're on my side. Oh, interesting that Kamga's also on my side, but I suppose he would be because he's a midfielder. And almost every player we have is a midfielder. With Shallow. We actually showed it earlier in stream. Uh, we were looking through their... Um, up oh, actually, I did show Shallow, did I? I'll show Shallow again. We were looking through some of those exact things earlier in stream. Um, particularly on Vizhnevsky, but also on someone else. But I'll show Shallow's one. Now, bear in mind, we've only been using this new training setup since the start of last season. So there's going to be limited development, but it's getting there. Particularly on the mentals. But bear in mind, his mentals are improving because that's what I'm training him on. So I've been... Shallow has been on... Firstly, he was on attacking movement, which is why his off the ball and his anticipation and decisions have gone up. Now he's on final third, which works on composure and... Uh, fuck, what is it? Composure and decisions as well. Um, not that I want his decisions to be any more. Well, I mean, it'd be nice, but I'm, I want that composure up a little bit more. To hopefully stop him bleeding over the bar every time he shoots. Oh, yeah, no, I know you can moan at them, but it's more a case of um, oh, yes, assigning my time yeah, correctly when not. we're on stream. And if I was playing a save normally, I'd be going through and praising them on training every single week, but I just don't have the time and patience to spend, like, a good 10, 15 minutes chunks of a stream doing that time every, that every time. It's just not, it's not like, a time effective, I suppose. Anyway, it's going to training. Uh, yeah, these, if you do Express Mark training in chat, you'll get uh, RDS training schedules, uh, which is the ones I use. And if you do uh, Xmas... Exclamation mark scouting in chat. You'll get my sort of scouting video that discusses all of that sort of stuff. So Shazley on loan has got six appearances for the pyramids. Oh, and I'd very much like it if they would buy him off of us at the end. They're going to pay us. What are they paying us? Like It's like a million pounds to loan him, which is actually outrageous. And long may it continue. 
Yeah, as I say, if he can get his decision making up a little bit and his composure, he will stop playing rugby. Correct, yeah. Praising one by two down the list. What, hang on, you can bulk praise? I swear you couldn't do that. Also, look at the, all these new... I swear you can't bulk do it. One by one. Oh, yeah, no, one by one is not happening, like I said, because it takes too long to do. Um, if you could do it in bulk, I'd be well on board because that'd be super easy to do, but I can't do it one by one every single week. Uh... Yeah, we're getting this a lot lately, but... Oh, well. That's the problem when you sign one player before another one, and then someone just usurps it. Wait. <laughs> Rule Platt enjoys Unite once again. Um, head of youth development encouraged by Platt's development. Left midfielder Rule Platt has shown a remarkable improvement in his attitude lately. I feel the player has changed his attitude as a result of off-field events that is now more ambitious than ever. That's wild. He suddenly just started becoming absolutely unbelievable. <laughs> what a strain. You know, he's actually starting to look a little bit all right. Shit shines again. Wait, does it actually say that? Where did it say that? Is that in the loan report? I have to find that. Or is it in the... Uh... He has a girlfriend now, isn't it? I want to find shit shines again. Didn't come up. Ah, oh, that sucks. It would be, oh, you know, it would be a massive game change. I suppose that's why they don't do it. But Rule Platt is... He's going to be one of those guys that I feel like just ends up sticking around longer than you'd expect. Uh, Wait, oh, it's a friendly. For, for some reason, I thought that was like a, a cup match and I just accidentally picked the wrong squad for it. Okay, 4-0. Platt didn't score. At some point, it might, yeah. Uh, can Yawande or go on? Yes. 19-20, uh, and 20, but possibly still worth a look. Just because potential of them being cheap. Maybe. Oh, we actually do have a cup game in there too. And then it's Balsan as well. Should get us nicely clubbed. Yeah, we're not going to get to the uh, next Europa League game. But we're certainly better finish things off next year, which should be good. On Sundat. Cotton Sport. Oh, yes. Holy shit. Hmm. I'm a let down by that, but still. I hate as well. For some reason. This is a weird thing about the sort of guy song. What a great name. When you're on the first team squad, it doesn't always make it easy to select all the players at once. When you, you could have to, like, I normally just select it, but for some reason, when you go to the senior squad, sometimes when you try to do that, it will imply that you're trying to move the player in some way, and it's a little bit glitchy. Never really understand why that. Yeah, Cotton Sport, I think we got a guy from, oh, that was Brass Series, wasn't it? That, um, was it Awono? That Cameroonian striker we have from Brass Series, which was insane. The one whose CA we accidentally saw because of that glitch where there used to be a glitch in FM22, I think it was, where you could actually see a player's CA, like the number itself, in the game without the editor turned on. It was bizarre. Blames Toth for not meeting player target. That's fine. Uh, I can accept that. Oh, Regan. We just got to get him through to the end of the season. He'll be fine then. How's the second tier shaping up? Second layer, I tell you what. They're making a go of it. Uh, click top player and then shift click to the last player you want on the list and highlight all players in between. Oh, yeah, no, I know. I, I'm aware of how a keyboard works and, like, shift click. I'm just saying that that wasn't what I was saying. I was saying that on these screens, if it's the first team squad, notice how, look, when I click it, it doesn't let you select it the same way I was selecting before. You have to actually collect... You have to shift select it. Whereas if it's a youth team team, then you can just literally... Sc literally just click and drag and it will just drag the whole lot that's what i mean um I i'm aware of what shift clicked that's what i've been doing the entire time um but yeah i just don't understand why it does it on the senior team it's really strange because like what does it think i'm trying to do exactly another injury please that should yeah they'll, they'll be fine on those we're okay <laughs> Sorry, that was extra sassy, wasn't it? It wasn't my intention. <laughs> but you can't see my hands. You don't know what I'm pressing. Uh, <laughs> I'm a dick. I don't mean to be. Uh, uh, let's see. I mean, sometimes I do, but very rarely. I'm re I'm rarely ever intentionally trying to be a... Uh, I'm rarely ever intentionally trying to be a dick. Sometimes, but, but you'll know when that is. Trust me. Uh, speaking of dick, it's Dickus. Yeah. Well, yeah, you got to press the button somehow. Uh, fuck, I'll, just, I'll save these guys for next time. 
we'll get through a few more of these. Two damage creatures. Jesus, was it the same guy? I have to sell them because they become unhappy. Yeah, they become happy, but then they want to leave. <laughs> I mean, admittedly, they wanted to leave anyway. Sometimes, admittedly, you can call their bluff and just be like, fine, I'll sell you. And they'll be like, no, I want to stay, boss. I was only joking. You know, but and maybe I should try that next time. But unfortunately, there's certain options in there that even if it doesn't highlight it as a promise, will then make a promise to the player that you're going to let them leave. And then, well, there's a lot of water under that bridge, as you know. Uh, right. I quit. This is I, a cup game, so this should be straightforward. John Wolves, thank you very much for the follow. Um, what's the schedule looking like? Yeah, actually, we probably do want those guys for the league game. Makes sense. We've got at least striker options available, right? So, shame we can't see like the uh, nationality badges on the screen. Also, hang on a minute. Their goalkeeper is called Espaghetti, or as I just read that in my head, Espaghetti. Well, damn. He's actually a uh, Saltoan. From that so far this year. Interesting. Maybe that's the new meta. I'll try that next time because it's going to happen again. And very soon, I suspect. <laughs> As it always does. They scored again. Good for Uzbekistan. Up the Bobby Abd... Up, up Bobby Abdul Holigov and the boys. Asparagus. Uh, maybe asparagus. I don't know why my brain went to spaghetti. But my brain do not be working that well. I'm good, John. How are you, man? Watch us now go out the cup randomly to a third tier side now that I've done that. That's true. I rarely ever spill it on the keyboard itself. It's usually on the mouse and mouse mat. Is that... F okay. Good performance. Cheeky little 8-1 there. We take those. Could go and die with a gifted sub to a spaghetti. <laughs> Thank you very much, mate. That's very kind of you. And I'm sure e-spaghetti will enjoy that sub very much, Lee. Hatching for guys. <laughs> He's off to the MLS in a bit. Had to be done. If we don't sell them to an MLS side at some point, I'll be very disappointed. Oh. Right. Well, yeah, particularly as I've got one of those, like, big-ass mouse mats, the ones that have, like, the the keyboard and everything sits on the giant mouse mat because Cyberpower gave me one, and I was like, oh, that's very nice of them. So I've just been using that. Which does, of course, mean that this whole side is utterly stained with, like, coffee and various accoutrement of bodily functions <laughs> you know how it goes i think i actually have a keyboard from them as well which i don't use right i'm gonna do some yoga because life is good ah pardon you heard <laughs> don't pretend you didn't hear me i won't have any of this i mean maybe i, I don't know there's loads of stuff i think it's just because often i'll balance my drink there as well the forbidden potion indeed Check your desk. No, I'll do what I want. Get your own desk. Then you can do what you like with it. <laughs> Favorite bodily function. Mine's running. No, breathing. I'm good at breathing. Average. I'm average at breathing. Big, Big mouse mats are sick, though. It just stops everything from moving around. Like, my keyboard would, like, as I was typing on it, because it wasn't particularly heavy, it would just sort of start sliding back on the desk. There's a train coming anytime soon. Bodily oh, yeah, function. Very soon. That sounded more like yeah, Richard Keyes. It's now. <laughs> bodily function, Andy. Svens, thank you very much for the follow. Right, Alex's training report. I can't imagine it's good, given that he still wants to murder me. To be fair, I do have asthma, and um, it's not always good at breathing. But sometimes, as long as I take my inhaler before I go running, everything will be fine. Yeah, you, you're experienced. You're like level 40 at breathing. That's like dope. You've been on the XP grind, baby. Right, who are we going to get? Oh, Pembroke Athletic. I like their badge, just because, well, I mean, look at it. Fiona! It's got a random dude doing things on it. God, we've got some really good cup draws, like really lucky games against very bad sides. Zizzy Vosk, thank you for the follow. That's like the third straight team from the third tier that we're playing in a cup in a row. One of those deep sea breathers, now you're talking. How we get Slava today? Nah, we won't get to it in time because there's still got two. There's still two more games in between this and that. It just means it'll be the first game of next stream. Uh, cool. Sorry. Yeah. So. It's because most of the time, Chaser, you're not playing against... like Because we had the sellout against Manchester United. That's the first time I've seen the stadium sell out for that. Let's move along. It's telling me something. Right. Balsan, Hamrin are playing Zabar. It's not like... I mean, Zabar are not out of the shit, actually. They've had a quite a solid start. Fine. We just we just take what we get. Balsan should be a winnable match. And particularly as... um. 
What is the next game after that? Oh, it's Luta. And that's not for another week. So we can go full strength here. If... Yeah, I need to get John back into fitness. Uh, we're lucky... Yeah, he's not back yet. I don't know if I like this backline pair, but that'll do. Sure, no, no, no. I stream Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Sundays. Oh, dear. Hey, Lee. Right. This should be winnable based on what we know so far. But at some point, the instant result thing is going to screw us. And the season always says there's no interest. I don't to prevent this. Uh, it depends on how you're extending the loans. Uh, as in, for which method are you using to extend the loans? 5 0. Okay. Kamga scored again. John's back in business. And Afifi's finally done something. Luta lost a. Wait. Isn't he all alone from us? Yes, he is. He's already got six league goals for them. Admittedly, he seems to be a bit of a penalty merchant, but nevertheless, that's a good win as well. Sweetie with the result two helps us out massively. There we go. We're now actually nine points clear and starting to look a little bit more fancy at the top now. I'm, I'm feeling good that we'll actually be able to build a new tactic this year, finally. If you make a profit. Yes. It will The game will literally tell you. It, it will tell you. Uh, you'll get like a thing that says uh, sirens in this case. Hit my tax bill. Could you just remember day that I have time to... <laughs> I'll do your own per for eight billion a month, E Clay. I will be your personal streamer. It's like a personal chef, but somehow much less healthy. Not even somehow, very much not much less healthy. Oh, but yeah. So with the extending loans thing, um, can you extend when you get the notification. Yeah, so you don't want to do that. Um, wait until the if the loans are expiring on the thirtieth of June, which is most leagues. On the second of June, go into your dev center like this and go to the loan screen, right click on the players, go to contract or transfer, I think it's transfer, and an option will say proposed loan extension. It will allow you to do it like three weeks before the game lets you. Malt was tax free. Uh, I don't know. I'm not the Maltese government. Believe it or not, I am not. I know some of you have been confused up to this point, but I am not in fact the Maltese government. Uh, to quote Ashton Kutcher in that 70s show, well damn Jackie, I can't control the weather. Try Oscar Bob. Oh, I would, but he's busy. Hammer and win again. Standard. But yeah, that, that's how, that's the most optional thing for the loans. Uh, in terms of... Now, that doesn't mean you're going to guarantee that they're going to get... You give them more time to sort the loans out, basically. Told me you're a kid. Oh, shit. That sucks, Fens. That sounds extremely painful. How did you manage that? Figure out different... Yeah. Oh, no. It's just to work in Ireland. I think. Oh no, Ireland's a summer league, innit? Oh, Yeah, I don't know about that. Because we didn't discover this thing with the loan extension thing until last year with MTK. But it should still work, but I can't guarantee it. Because I suspect that the reason it works is because there's something crossing over in the background of the game on the first action of the 2nd of June that causes the game to get confused about what season you're in, basically. Still streaming? Yeah, I stream to a 3 on, um, on, on stream days, generally speaking. So Tuesdays and Thursdays I go to a 3, and then Sunday I go to a 2. Because I start earlier on Sundays. Oscar Bob. No, Oscar Bob. Actually, to be fair, we could ask Oscar Bob if he could get the taxes taken off in Malta, to be fair. He would probably have more chance of doing that than I would. What a goal. That, that finish against... um, Was it Newcastle? That that little, like, FIFA... It was almost like a FIFA skill move. It was wild. Second of November. Nice. So, worth giving it a go on the second of November. It may not work. Because I think there's other factors at play, and I don't know what they are yet. And it's going to require a lot of testing to see if it can. Yeah, so it's, for those of you that are new to the content or the streams, perhaps, it's Monday, to, sorry, Tuesday and Thursday, 11 till 3 UK time. On Sunday, it's 10 till 2. Because it doesn't that way it doesn't clash with the football. Tarshin with another, but a very important win, actually, to pull themselves out of the drop zone. This is the kind of, this is the sort of league table I can get used to. Hammer are better than everybody else, kind of, but they're not goated good like they were last season. They've still only lost two games so far this year, but... They have lost to both of their title rivals. TM. Roach has done very well there, though. Yeah, Monday. I I have streamed on a Monday once. James found this graphic that showed, like, all my stream days that ever. And I think I did stream on a Monday one time. And I have no idea what it was. It was po it has to be some kind of PvP competition. Because I've only ever streamed Monday... Sorry, I've done it again. I've only ever streamed Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday. Before I switched over to being a Sunday streamer. Uh, we only lost 3-1, Kitcher. We were 3 0 down and we were good. Like, 3 1 was honestly slightly harsh on us to give you an idea of how good we actually were in that game. I was astonished by us. Oh, we're right. It might have been the chat agent video. 
Yeah, it could have been, actually. Yeah, that might have been it. Although I think it was from a while ago, so maybe not. But I'm pretty certain we also did the ca the, the agent video versus chat on a Monday, true. I'm going to be doing another one of those at some point, maybe in February. So keep your eyes peeled. Winter winter doesn't line up. Yeah, it could be because... That's weird, actually, in Slovenia. Wait, when did Slovenia's loans end? Because I'd have thought they were on the same calendar as everybody else. That actually kind of surprises me. Uh, Fasil Kanima. I thought I'd have a look at some Ethiopian sides, just in case we can get another Muaz Naseru. I think the chances of that happening are slim to none, but you never know, right? If you don't buy a ticket, you never win the lottery. Sunday streamer contest? Maybe, but I don't know if it would... That would never have been on a Monday. Those were always... Um, no, it was a full-on stream jack, uh, jag. Like, a proper, like, stream stream. So I assume it was either... I don't know what it was, honestly. It was probably some kind of PvP draft competition that wasn't Showdown. Showdown has always had a very specific setup. Oh, facilities are up. Nice. I wonder if we can do it again. Yeah, we've done... Um, yeah, I never actually streamed Red Zone. After I did the YouTube video of it and it was the worst video I'd done since I changed my content, I decided that perhaps Red Zone wasn't it. It might still be fun on stream, but the whole point of that was it was sort of based on like making YouTube content around it in the end. And it, I clearly I worked out that it just wasn't going to work. Uh, oh, that's what I was going to do. Ask the board if they can extend the facilities again. No, but they will let me ask that again, surprisingly. Maybe they'll agree to it this time. The bastards. Probably not. Yeah, but the winter window... Oh, he's happy. Good. No! The greatest player of all is injured. Red Zone... Yeah, it was this um, idea I had, basically, where we would basically take over a team that were in relegation trouble and try to save them in one stream, and then it would become one video after that. But I tried a YouTube version of it, and it just... Despite me, like, putting a lot of effort into, like, the editing, it just didn't work. People just weren't interested, which is fine. That's how you learn, right? I'm just really hoping that doesn't happen with Premier League. <laughs> Otherwise, it'll be like, oh, you've wasted a month and a half. Ooh. I don't think that will be the case. I think people seem hyped for that video. So, and I'm excited about it too, which is dope. Because I just think it's a fun idea that will hopefully have some legs. But believe me, I'm like so deep into it right now. It's it's disgusting. Um, and I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get it out by the end of January because there's still so much stuff to do. I've still not even finished capturing the footage for it yet. And then the edit can begin and I've still got to get in all the people to help me and do stuff. And that'd be fun, but it's still going to be mad. Well, that's what I was hoping, Eclair. I think if I was going to do it, that was the time to do it. Well, Roy Galvin slash Roll Platt, anyway. Uh, right, no, we definitely have to play a decent team against Luta. There's just no way around it. We can't really get away with resting players against this. I know we've got the game against Slovan um, Bratislava up next, but this has to be a good lineup. Because otherwise, we will probably get beat. I say that. I mean, they literally can't play against us. Bruno Bridges. Oh. He might be one of my favourite, possibly the first, like, meme player I've had. All right, I have actually got them in the team now. They're just the wrong way around. <laughs> Dick at left back, and we're lucky there. If you're not already subscribed to the YouTube, consider it. Give it a consider for when the agent, for, not the agent, but for when Premier League finally does drop. One day. I'm hoping end of the month, but if not, then early February. Talk about Monday stream in 2023, because if so, a fan Yeah, it was, um, it must have been F23. Basically, there was a Monday stream at some point. I think there was only one. James found this graphic that shows how many times you've done it. Do you find the dotted line partnerships to cause problems? No, because the dotted line, the dotted line doesn't make the partnership worse. It means that you've lost some games heavily while those two were playing together, but the European games kind of mess with that. Youth facilities, none of them youth. Oh, to be fair, the youth and takes uses youth recruitment first. As I, when I was looking through, I noticed that it was using the youth recruitment at, uh, statistic more. So that was what mattered. And we have improved that as well. So we will be first too. We would get to 60k. That's true. Right. Sirens. Good win again. Nine point gap. Tasty. No idea how it works. Yeah. So basically it means the players have played together a lot and it's either going well or badly. But sometimes it can be a bit of a letdown as we now got eight points clear. Yes. Oh, what was the stream title? Hang on. Career Resurrection, Mariba versus Madawake. There you go. That's what it was then. So that definitely was the um, Career Resurrection stream. Oh, they're still not willing to do this for some reason. It's obviously there's something else in the background that's stopping it. Oh, wait, no. Tell a lie. We got it as well. Junior coaching's up as well. Legendary. Cool. Legend. Right, sort. That's lovely. Oh. That's that's a solid stream in terms of progress made. Like, 
league-wise, 10 wins out of 10, exactly what we wanted. Eight-point gap officially finally got one already. This year, we're going to win the league by an absolute m huge margin, which means we can finally work on tactics stuff later. We also got five European games done, which is delightful. So we can finish off the rest of these on Sunday. We basically got... Yeah, we've managed to get basically two more streams, I would say, which means Sunday is going to be like some of that. And then this will basically just be tactics testing. In fact, some of that might be happening here as well, potentially. That's going to be fun as fuck. Right, let me get off of this. Go find someone to raid. FM Super League. Ah, okay. I knew it had to be something like that, right? Let's see. Um, oh, Kev's wearing a hat. Therefore, he has earned the raid. <laughs> That's all you needed to say. Uh, you know, it's City FM. Boom. Oh, so there we go. Also, no pee break today, chat. We didn't even do a whiz quiz. Your boy's bladder is positively bursting at the seams and whatnot and other places you don't want it to burst. So yeah, um, if you're new, drop a follow. I'd appreciate that. I'll be back on Sunday at 10 a.m. And I'll see you guys in the next stream. Thank you very much for joining me. Hold your gun. Capybara. Bye-bye. <laughs>